Breakers, how are we all? Happy Sunday. You might notice, in fact, I'm fairly sure that's the first thing you've noticed, that it's just lit lol me this morning, and I'm ever so sorry about that. But poor Alison's a bit poorly, so sadly she can't join us here in the studio. Um, but we will still, I promise you, still bring you, hopefully, oodles of inspiration. We are going to desperately try and upload the demonstrations. Uh, we're having a few technical issues, I understand, with that, but we will try and sort it. And, of course, we'll bring you your classic jewellery maker deals. So it's just us, just us today and, the, and this fabulous team. So can I ask a favour? Because I'm with you for the foreseeable five hours. Can we have a thoroughly interactive show? How does that sound? Um, yeah, so we can all have a little chat and lots of fun together. As many messages as we can possibly get on screen, we absolutely will do. Let me tell you about what's included in this Sunday show because it is, um, without having the official title, I would say this is a very, very sterling silver heavy show. So for those of you that are looking for um, your precious metal components, we've got precious metal components coming out of our ears today, haven't we? Every, every orifice. <laughs> Why not? Let's go with it. Um, <laughs> that's a good word, isn't it? Don't you think? Orifice. <laughs> um, no, we have. We've got loads to bring you. Um, there's, as promised yesterday, we've got your extender chains. Now, they come in three different designs. Um, you get six in total. And let me just give you a little bit of a heads up of these. I'll point them towards our lovely Michael here. Um, because, look, you can see you've got the hearts, the stars and the moons. These are coming up at nine o'clock today. So you can't pre-order on these as of yet. Um, they'll literally be uh, in, in, in the next hour, effectively. Um, but I know they're going to absolutely fly. And even with the quantity of 300, given the fact that they are going to a true jewellery maker early bird deal, um, yeah, they're going to sell out for sure. Because of the, you know, an extender chain does so much more than extend, doesn't it? It's, it's decorative. It gives you that little finishing touch um, and works as well, of course, with your reels of chains as well as your uh, um, complete necklaces. So they're coming up at nine o'clock this morning. Plus, I'm going to show you this. You've got your paper link chain, which is all the rage at the moment. They're absolutely everywhere. You've got the likes of Gucci. You've got the likes of Miss Soma. You've got the likes of Astley Clark. Um, all the big brands are working with with your paper link chain so um, this is what well, would you class it as unfinished uh, yeah I guess so uh, meaning basically you can customize um, and include in your designs as you see fit so that's coming up today um, also want to give you a little bit of a heads up of a beautiful bracelet that's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour so very uh, 925 sterling silver heavy so that's coming up as well in today's show you've got these which are brand new never been seen before love this design where you have this almost like corkscrew effect and can you see there there's just a slight little there's a little peg which means that you can put your button pearls or um, any of your gemstones well not any but your half drill gemstones literally glue it into place and you create this really beautiful kind of like I don't know quite cosmic like design where you have that lovely luster that circles around um, your beautiful gemstone so they're coming up being launched today as well we've got sterling silver sliders we've got the last remaining quantity of your beautiful and you do get all four of them as well um, very Elsa Peretti inspired you've got natural purple pearls we've got the last remaining quantity of these necklaces like I said you do get four of those they're coming up in today's show and um, you also might notice now we launched these only yesterday and for those of you that were able to tune in yesterday will remember just how good that deal was um, and I was telling you that story about that necklace that my dad bought my mum many moons ago um, they all sold out bar two designs now the deal was so good we thought right well we can't exclude the people that maybe weren't able to tune in yesterday morning these are the only two necklaces so one's monochrome well they're both they're both monochrome aren't they but one's got more colors I think that's right to say yeah looking from here um yeah one has uh, more colors than the other so those are the only two available opportunities of these beautiful culture pearl necklaces now remember first hour as always everything is locked and loaded on the website so all the w's at jewelrymaker.com some of these deals will be going even lower but 
do shop ahead. Um, would encourage that because it does guarantee you success and items do sell out quite often, you know, when we're showing the website, items have already sold out within minutes of them being loaded. So, um, Parade but Tourmaline, anyone? Seriously, £79, how amazing is that? Um, you've got beautiful Amazonite, you've got some beautiful uh, rainbow-coated hematite, you've got moonstone, labradorite, some sterling silver components on there. Beautiful rainbow tiger's eye. I love that. Um, adventuring. Oh, oh, look at the little Buddha. He's cute, isn't he? Um, then you've got your pink amethyst. He was like that then. Mm. Sat like that. He was very cute. Um, so, yeah, do have a little look on the website. Oh, they're lovely. Number 37. I like those. Um, shop ahead. Faceted pearls. Uh, check out your basket to remember that everybody only pays the one postage and packaging all day, irrespective of how many times you actually make your confirmations. Now, shall we get cracking with today's show, shall we? Let's get cracking with the inspiration, your beautiful creations, and hopefully make you lucky in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Spectacles, uh, to do my best to. Uh, I know, I'm trying to get used to them, really. It feels weird, you know, because I. I, do you remember when, like when you first start wearing glasses it takes me it's, it, I feel really fuzzy at the moment but when I look at this I can see um, anyway starting us off this morning wow this is incredible and this is from Jennifer wow Jennifer that's absolutely beautiful um, hello jewelry maker please see my first ever entry to the wall of fame is it I mean Je is it Jen your first ever entry I thought, I, you're a familiar name on our channels. I'm, I'm surprised. Well, good luck to you. Um, it's an Egyptian-inspired necklace, all made with jewelry maker sea beads and gemstone cabochons, hoping for a win. Well, fingers crossed. I'm amazed it's your first entry. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, well, good luck to you. Uh, number 92 is from Denise. Good luck to you, Denise. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week based on Mark's tutorial and kit from a few weeks ago. I've got one of the cat's eye beads left, so I'm looking to make a slightly different design. Um, good luck, everybody. Yeah, those beads are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They have that, yeah, I can see the cat's eye. Those are the little cushion uh, cabochons that you can see embellished at the top of that. Beautiful tassel. Love that, Denise. Good luck. Uh, number 93 is from Frank. Fran. Oh, wonderful Fran. Love that. Again, a very uh, Egyptian vibe, I feel. Uh, good morning. Thanks uh, to... Uh, hang on. Hang on a second. Thanks to the... The, thanks to, I've got, but basically you're saying you won last week. Amazing. Sorry, I don't know if I could, it's, it's my spelling or reading, whichever it is. Um, for the winner the other week, I'm saving it for my jewelry maker birthday. Good call. This week's offering is a necklace and bracelet set, not matching, and two bracelets and earring sets. It's the same, but I can't find out uh, what it is. Um... I'm not sure, not sure, can't really tell by that picture. Uh, with some 11 OC beads, hope you like it and best wishes to all. There's some sun on its way, says Fran. Absolutely, Fran, that's absolutely stunning. Love both of those. Um, number 94 is from Susan. Beautiful, I think that's a venturing, isn't it? Good morning, everybody at Jewelry Maker and fellow Waffers. Here are my latest Waff makes, consisting of green aventurine from a very recent Jewelry Maker kit and other aventurine stones from my JM stash. Uh, with rose gold spaces, chain, uh, a clasp, and some rose gold plated swirly thingies. I love it, That's I love that technical term. Um, everything's from Jewelry Maker. Wishing everybody good luck um, and have a lovely day. Oh, bless you. Well, good luck, everybody. They're absolutely beautiful, as always always and keep those entries coming in if you want to do that you pop us a photograph to the studio and drop us a little message so we can sing your praises about your your wonderful inspiration and designs right then like i said it's just little old me this morning i'm sorry if you're disappointed i know poor alison uh, but do get well alison i know you'll probably be watching get well soon my lovely we're all sending you lots of love let's say hello to our fabulous crew because i'm not alone i've got this amazing team lovely surprise we've got michael this morning how are you doing? Do you like dancing? I love dancing. You love dancing? Okay, love it, love it. Very good. I particularly like the enthusiasm. Sorry, Adam said in my ear that Michael loves to dance. I did, 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 is that a conversation maybe that I wasn't part of? I'm just forced into it. You, yeah, just, yeah. Just yeah. get forced into 
Yeah, I'll do you. So, yeah, that's Adam's fault then. Poor Michael. And then the floor manager extraordinaire. Oh, wonderful. Get ready for it. It's Cowboy Dan. Look at him. <laughs> also, a.k.a. Gorgeous Dan. Um, again, look at that enthusiasm. He has the most smouldering of eyes, does our lovely Dan, don't you? I said you've got smouldering eyes. So you're told, so you're told. And then into the gallery, here's our two. Uh, the, 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 they are the captains of our ship. Um, we have wonderful Adam and our uh, Roscoe. Go on, give it a bit more welly, Roscoe. Go on, welly. <laughs> the man bringing you the deals is Ross. How awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun. I promise you that this Sunday. Lots of fun, lots of amazing deals, lots of interaction. Um, so, 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 should we get cracking? Let's do it. Pop along onto the website, have a little look at the deals that are locked and loaded already so you can start shopping and treating yourself to your wonderful jewellery maker stash. Um, okay, but remember, all items will disappear at nine o'clock if they haven't already sold out. So, uh, Master Ross, what would you like? What would you like me to start with? He says, oh, by the way, before we kick off, have a look at the web because... Ah, uh, yes, as, as, as we mentioned, sellouts already. Blue Jasper, Chinese Amazonite, sold out. Oh, yeah, Moonstone, Agates, Labradorite, Sterling Silver. Yeah, grab the deals. There he is. I love that Buddha. He's really cute. Really, really cute. I like him. Um, Cognac Amber, sold out. That's what happens when you get up nice and early. You get those amazing deals secured. Early bird catches the worm. The early worm, because the worm is early, isn't he? I've had this conversation. I've had this conversation before. The early bird catches the early worm. And they're like, no, well, it's just the early bird catches the worm. I was like, well, no, because the worm's early too. Isn't it? Give the, give the worm his credit. I bet he wishes he wasn't early, you know, bless him. Bessie wishes he was late, but there we go. Anyway, right then, should we get cracking? Should we start with those amazing necklaces? Yesterday's early bird, today, it was that exciting, that good, and literally hundreds of these sold. Um, <laughs> the early bird catches the moon, comes back tomorrow and catches it again, says Ross. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, let me just uh, explain to you how this manifested. Um, Go to Stan, can I just pass? The yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, Ross, the difference is this one's got pink. So this is the multicoloured and this is the monochrome. Should we start with the monochrome first? These are absolute lasting, uh, last in stock. If you weren't uh, watching yesterday morning, you are in for a treat and in for a surprise. Um, basically, how this manifested is uh, um, our amazing pill suppliers, which we have many here at Jewelry Maker all around the world. Um, basically, one of them approached us and said, we've got these amazing necklaces. Um, to them, you know, sort of a 100, 200, whatever the quantity actually was, um, that's last in stock. If you purchase them more, we'll give you the best possible deal. If we get a great deal, of course, you you get a great deal. Um, I mean, I do mean great as well. I love, love, love this inspiration. And we were trying to establish yesterday, Claire and I, how they've actually achieved that undulating, we established was the best word, not wiggly squiggly, like Claire and I were saying. The undulating, beautiful movement of that wire. And then you have these lovely positioned, stationed, genuine cultured pearls. It is a complete necklace. It comes with your bolt ring clasp. It is, or it's, it is finished, effectively, so you could box this up and and gift it or wear it as it is. Um, um, or you could bespoke. Hello, oh, hello, Alison. Morning, all. Sorry, I'm not there. Sending love. Alison, you just get well soon, my lovely. It's absolutely, it's fine. Don't you worry. Um, Alison is watch, watching. Um, hello to you, Miss Janet, saying hi, a gorgeous girl and team. Uh, jewelry maker, hope Alison is feeling better soon. Lovely to see you, though. Well, hugs to all. Oh, bless you, Miss Janet. Yes, we do. We do. I love our Alison. So, uh, morning, Elle. Hello, Susan. Uh, morning, Elle, and all the crew. Get well soon, Alison you're going to smash it out happy sunday thank you well i've got you haven't i i've got you with us i'm not on my own uh be well alison says sue in edinburgh i'm looking into the like look alison 
look at Wazoo. I should just look here, shouldn't I? Oh, bless you. Yeah, no, I hope you do get better, my lovely. We will miss you today, no doubt. But we are trying to sort out your videos at the moment so um, so that we can actually show the demonstrations of the kits as well. Um, technology, eh? Technology. I'm glad I haven't got to deal with any of that. I'm rubbish. I am rubbish. Um, Alison, just a little bit of a message. We have got the files that you sent, my lovely. Um, so we have got them. So don't you worry. Sit back and you just concentrate on getting yourself better. Um, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? Even if we were to stop here at £9.99, it's a beautiful, I think quite a contemporary yet traditional, I know that's a massive contradiction of terms, but you know where I'm coming from, um, uh, design, £9.99, I don't know many, many uh, jewellers or pearl stockists that will be able to bring you genuine culture pearls at a single figure price tag. Um, but if you weren't watching yesterday morning, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that that is actually not the price. Well, I tell you what, in a minute, we're going to half that price. That's why hundreds of these flew yesterday, but there are only 25. Like I said, we had hundreds yesterday. The audience snapped them up, didn't you? Because you realise it was such a great deal. You can bespoke them. You can customise them. You could literally just present it into a nice... Um, I would suggest when storing, by the way, that these be in some kind of flat... Um, rather than buckled, you don't want it to, be, to bend or distort. Um, so if you're thinking about gifting or, um, or selling, then maybe put it into one of the flat boxes so that your wire stays beautiful. Um, you won't believe the deal, though. Well, I've just told you what the deal is. It's, it's, we're halving it. You won't, you won't believe what we're about to do. You won't believe it. Oh, hang on a minute. I did tell you. And yes, it's 16 inches. But do remember, we have also got those um, extender chains as well coming up in today show um, at nine o'clock this morning nine pounds and 99 pence amazing not where we are stopping the difference between the two necklaces that I have before me by the way one is this is the monochrome so you've got your um, peacock color um, and the white pearls genuine culture pearls and the other one actually has got a, an injection of pink pills in there as well four pound 99 how amazing is that claire was saying as well she was talking about the fact that you could easily add this to some of your other necklaces you know claire made that amazing sort of master class that big Taipei black jade item pearl long line necklace, which is just stunning. Um, <clears throat> this is something that you could potentially actually put in there. Um, so it doesn't have to be as it is, you know, as a component. And we had lots of uh, we had lots of messages into the studio talking about the fact that to actually to actually make this piece of jewellery, um, it's not your traditional tiger's tail. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's quite soft. It's a really soft wire, if that makes sense, with an area of rigidity, of course. Um, but to actually make it, you've got to source the pearls, you've got to source the materials, i.e. the glue, you've got to source the bolt ring clasp, you've got to source the ends and the jump rings. That's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done. Let's do the other one then. Um, and of these, that we, we had seven designs yesterday. Um, so it speaks volumes, doesn't it, how popular they actually were. Um, we had the, a couple of these, we called them the wiggly squigglies, but undulating is far more romantic, isn't it? Um, and then we also had um, one which had the triple rows as well. We had some were just straight wires also. Um, but these were too good. The deal was too good not to repeat this morning. It's, it's very unusual for jewellery maker to play an early bird and then repeat it the next day. Um, even if there is stock quantity but like I said these are so lovely but what we, we've thought yeah no we definitely should we should bring them to the audience just in case they couldn't actually tune in um do you think we're stopping there again genuine cultured pearls oh okay there's 40 available on this one last one sold out the only you might be thinking what's the difference well that one was about the peacock and the white pearls this one's got peacock white and pink the only thing that is the same is the price point, says Ross. Ah, yeah. It's very good, isn't it, Ross? And I was, I was talking about, um, we're in the process, this is where I'm actually going straight after the show because we're, uh, um, my mum, bless her heart, has gone into, um, into a home, so we're kind of empty in the house at the moment and, you know, getting 
Oh, you find wonderful memories and things like that, don't you? And, uh, um, and obviously looking after my mum's jewellery, she's got... I, I've got lots of memories coming back from when my dad bought my mum nice pieces at the jewellers that I worked at. Um, one of those pieces was very similar to what is on your screens right now. And I remember the conversation that we had. It was like, I don't want to buy her something that is, you know, traditional. I want it something that's a little bit unusual. Have you got anything in mind? And I directed him to these. And I saw it the other evening, the other day, you know, and it's, it's, it's just nice, fond memories, just little conversations like that. But isn't that wonderful? It, that's what jewellery's about, isn't it? You know, it's not just about sort of the gift. It's memories, even down to the actual a acquisition, if you like, and the moments that, the moments that, that my mum wore that necklace. Four ninety nine. well, I can tell you, pearls are absolutely timeless. It's the kind of necklace that I would wear. I would absolutely wear this. I'm fairly sure my niece, who's uh, doing her GCSEs right now, I'm fairly sure she would wear something like this um, they are timeless aren't they ageless as we've always said um, good morning Karen Sharon hello to you Wiltshire getting four amazing Marilyn hello to you five Rachel multi buying Gail Linda um, hi Lynn in Kent uh, Angus Angus sorry Patricia uh, Berkshire hello to you London Sharon in Lanarkshire nice to see you all yes pop along top drop me a message come and say hello because you have I'm, I'm sorry you're stuck with me well, technically, you're not stuck with me. You can always turn me off if you want to. But don't do that. You won't do that, will you? I hope not anyway. Um, but, yeah, we'll have a lovely interactive show because, like, and, and, and send lots of well wishes to our gorgeous Alison. Um, hello, Trevor. Get well soon. Alison and John love Trevor and Zena. I'll bless you. Oh, is John poorly too? Oh, sending you both lots and lots of love. I didn't realise John was poorly as well. Um, also, oh, okay. Few more messages. Um, sorry. Oh, that's our Alison messaging the studio. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I assume. Uh, can we see the smolderer, smolderer close up to get a full effect of the eyes, please? Certainly. Yes, Sue. Keep watching. Um, I will, you know, let Dan sort of prepare for this moment. Um, hello, Kim. Morning, lovely Alan crew. We need to see these gorgeous eyes of Dan um, as we hear about them every single day. It's true. It's true. OK, Dan, just so you know, work on your smolder. We need to go. So we're going to do straight down the camera, full on smolder. Think about Tangled, you know, when Finn, he does the smolder. You haven't seen Tangled? OK, OK. No problem. He's working on his smolder and we will we will get his gorgeous blue eyes on screen. They are they are they are beautiful. Beautiful blue eyes. Um, amazing. I love that request. And you're not shy, are you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, especially when we're looking right at your face up close, you know, you know. Um, <laughs> no, they, they, we need to see them. I agree with us, Sue. Um, well done, everybody. On the verge of selling out. Amazing. Again, do keep an eye on the face uh, on the work, uh, website. Sorry. Um, here's, a, here's a pointless fact. I was watching a video, like facts that you never really think of. Um, some of them I was like, well, that's a depressing fact, or and some of them are really nice. But it takes you longer to say www dot than it does World Wide Web. It's true though, isn't it? Yeah, it's all the syllables. www dot is World Wide Web much quicker. There you go. There you go. Pointless fact, but there you go. Um, Okie dokie. Where do we go from here then, Roscoe? Uh, culture pearl slider bracelet <laughs> we always say about adjustability don't we and uh, and dan is showing you exactly how adjustable this is i mean that would be too small for my two-year-old i think um, <laughs> um but don't you worry all you need to do is literally glide the slider ball down the sterling silver. Here we go. So, oh, look how beautiful this is. Again, it is a complete finished piece of jewellery. This is absolutely something that I know our sister channel would uh, would bring their amazing audience as well. Um, <clears throat> one size fits all with a slider bracelet and they are all the rage. Um, it was Eddie Levion that announced to the world, um, I forget what year it was. It was round about lockdown time, I think. Um, 
that adjustability is a feature of jewellery and it has kind of maintained that popularity ever since then. Um, basically because it's easier to put on. I find bracelets particularly tricky to actually put on on my own. Um, but a slider bracelet, yeah, literally just pop it over the top of your, uh, over your hand and, and, and tighten effectively. But look how beautiful that is. Genuine cultured pearls. You've got your slider sterling silver and it's a box slider chain. So you've got really lovely luster on this as well. Um, a little bit like the first two, uh, two, two pearl deals that we've brought you. If you don't know the price on these deals, you're going to be completely shocked. You're going to shop ahead on the others. Because, by the way, if I bring them behind, you'll be able to see there. Um, you can get amethyst, citrine and garnet also. You can shop ahead on those. They are all going to the same price point. Wasn't this like a previous deal of the day? <clears throat> a week or two ago, yeah. We brought these as a, as a deal of the day. Now, um, Ross is saying that he can tell by the amount of people that have put it in their baskets that you don't know where it's going to. We're going to do it in one big price crash. How many have we got? Tw less than 20 of each of them. They are limited, hence why they are. I mean, they're not, they're not faux pearls. Pop into your local Marks and Sparks, Debenhams, pop into somewhere like, I don't know, your New Looks or your Top Shops or whatever, whatever. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get, I wouldn't say wouldn't, it's unlikely that you would get synthetic pearls for what's on your screens, but these aren't synthetic, they're genuine. Genuine culture pearls and precious 925 sterling silver. Now, we've already, we've already called it. That means your garnet, your citrine, and your amethyst are all going to the same price. Um, let's do the amethyst one. Look, it's like a little bracelet for a borrower. Look how cute that is. That might fit, fit my tiggy. See, that's a, how amazing is that? So you could gift it to like a two-year-old up to adulthood. You know, I, I, I've got a little... I've got um, a little bracelet that I was gifted on my christening and obviously I can't wear it anymore, obviously. But this, you could. So if it's, particularly if it's their birthstone, look how beautiful that is. If you want to deconstruct it, you absolutely can. You know that's an amazing deal for the sterling silver slider bracelet, but you are getting that amazing, um, I don't want to say strand, but the addition of um, your beautiful rich and regal amethyst rondelles. Look at that amazing intensity of color. Again, I told you there's only, there's less than 20 of each of these bracelets and they are all going to the same price point. When we launched them not that long ago, we were talking about the fact that they are all birthstones as well so this is of course your February babies being the talented jewelry makers that you all are you could go on to embellish it guess what though that sold out amazing um, cit citrine might be my favorite I love the citrine as a gemstone and we don't see it. We, there's 14 available. We don't see it that often. Um, I don't know if there's a, a sort of international global shortage of, of, of citrine. Might well be. It happens. Um, but look at that colour. You're looking for, when it comes to citrine, that really beautiful golden, almost orangey like colour. The difference between lemon quartz and citrine, if you can think about it, because they're both quartz, aren't they? Um, if you consider them like sort of siblings, I suppose, uh, they have got... Uh, they've got the same chemical composition, obviously, but one's got more intensity of saturation. You know we're not stopping at 29.99, though. Brazilian citrine with that wonderful, rich, like liquid sunshine, aren't they? Well done, Genoefa, Sharon, Cynthia, Linda, uh, Linda, sorry, Susan, Gaynor, Essex, Tanya. I've got Sue there, Angus there. I only had 14. So well done to those of you that checked out nice and early. Hi, Amanda. Morning, Elle and crew. Looking forward to a great show. Get well soon, Alison. Oh, Amanda, we will have a great one because we've got loads and loads and loads to bring you. And I, pr I promise, I promise we'll deliver on the amazing Sunday deals as well. Um, have we sorted the demo and everything out? Is that all looking good? Yes, so there we go go we can still show you our lovely Alison's demo um, in the nine o'clock hour and in the in the 12 o'clock as well um, in fact I can show you the show you the kit here it is just here so you're getting the cord you've got your Olmec beautiful Olmec type a jadeite look you've got a parcel of those and you've got the most amazing of course it's a dragon it is a dragon isn't it I can't see from there sorry um, hang on Hang on. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's Alison, it's going to be a dragon, isn't it? 
Yeah, she loves dragons. Um, and one of the Olmec Type A Jadeite dragon carvings. So we can show you the, uh, the necklace that Alison has created. It's coming up in the nine o'clock and you don't need to add to this, do you? You've got everything there straight away. And of course, we've got the demonstration. So don't worry. Don't tune out thinking you're not going to get any demos today because you definitely will. I promise you. Um, we'll try and upload a photograph of, the, um, of Alison's lovely jewellery in a few moments time. Keep an eye on the website, though, everybody, because the items are selling out. This is very fast on its way to be in a sellout also. We only had 14 of them available. I've got one more of those beautiful slider bracelets to bring you in. That is the, um, the garnet. Lovely garnet. You know where it's going to. Beautiful, beautiful sterling silver box chain with that wonderful rich and passionate... Uh, rich and passionate red, highly refractive. So here's a gemstone that I tend to, I always tend to sort of wear more garnet during the spring and summer months because it loves basking in sunshine. Um, you see so much uh, beautiful uh, brilliance internally and it does that completely naturally. Again, of course, it's a birthstone. We know that, don't we? And I know that so many of you can create this yourself. I know it's, you know, the comp as individual components, we bring them to you um, as well. We bring you strands of garnet like this. We bring you beautiful sterling silver slider bracelets and spacer beads like this. But can you, especially when you start factoring in your time as well can you make this piece of jewelry given the price that we're about to bring it to air for you know we're not stopping at 29.99 we've given your price pledge it we're matching the price across all of these beautiful slider bracelets we've got a bigger quantity says um, we had 160 originally 39 left within the vault and there's a clock Whoever thought that the clock was like, you know, it, it, it is, it brings such drama, doesn't it? It is the fabric of jewellery maker, the egg timer. Do you remember when Dave first started coming across to our shows? He was like, what's that? What's that? Yeah, she was, she <laughs> he was like, you've got an egg timer on your screen, but now he loves the egg timer, doesn't he? It's, it does become far, uh, uh, far part that was meant to be. You missed that then. You totally missed that, guys. I meant to say part, but instead I said something else. <laughs> part of the fabric. Do you see where I, where I slipped up there, don't you? <laughs> not, not far to the fabric. <laughs> Part of the fabric. Ooh, dear me. Goodness me. It's it's not even it's not it's half past eight and I'm already <laughs> already tripping up on my words. Uh, 999. Hmm. I tell you what, I went home yesterday after um, after the show and I literally looked I looked in the mirror and my, my makeup was completely down my face from just laughing at the stories that Dave was sharing. Um, particularly the little uh, the little you know Steve Bennett spooning. I thought that was hilarious, don't you? Whilst you're in the middle in the middle of uh, in the middle of Nepal. Um, amazing. Well done everybody and a very good morning to you all. Heather, sorry, snapped up two of these wonderful and again going back to what I was just saying um, before uh, I tripped up all my words. Um, I know that you can make pieces like this. You're the talented, lovely jewellery makers. And even if you're brand new to jewellery maker, you definitely could. We've showed you those techniques before. And we bring you the individual components too as well. But can you do it? Can you source the sterling silver slider bracelet? Can you source the garnet? Um, and of course, the, the spacer beads. And of course, your time, especially if you are a business and you make not just because of your love of jewellery making, but you actually make, uh, um, you, know, to, uh, you know, as an income, whichever it might be 9.99 only well done um hello sue um i love the soggy socks oh saga so we were talking about that sue earlier on and we we're like and i know connor i know <laughs> i can imagine him doing it that's the thing but you, you know do you reckon we're ever going to be like i say we like gemporia do you reckon we're ever going to be invited back to that community i was like oh my goodness me they're probably talking about it that story probably spreads you know, into the depths of nepal <laughs> dear me dear, it was funny wasn't it so i was so funny dave is hilarious you know he's 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 
to, he always has these amazing stories and they're always factually true. Go, I suppose when you go on as many adventures as he does, you're going to pick up these stories along the way. I know, the Soggy Sock Saga. That, that, that could be a book, couldn't it? That could be a book. I think uh, it's certainly a news, uh, um, a magazine article, most definitely. Um, loving that. Yeah, so it was funny. Um, shall we do the Suru inspired pearls? I love these. There are only 10. These were part of a kit. Um, and yeah, absolutely flew. Um, they're double sided. So you've actually got two of your coins um, within these. If I flip it over, you can see there you go. So you've got genuine cultured pearls full of iridescence. And you've got those lovely folds of the nacre. Um, and they are um, encased, that's a good word, isn't it? Encased with beautiful crystals. Um, you'll see just there you've got the drill hole going through. These have been lovely components within lots of different kits. And actually looking across at uh, um, some of Alison's kits that are coming up at 12 o'clock today, there'd be lovely additions alongside all of the lovely sea beads that are coming up as well. Full of sparkle. You've got loads and loads and loads of amazing brilliance. Even if you were to just use these with your early bird, let's not forget, you've got, you've got your paper clip chain that's coming up. Let me just put that down for a moment. Um, you've got the paper clip chain that's coming up within this hour. You can shop ahead on this, can't we, Roscoe? Yeah, so even if you did, you know, kind of like those pearl necklaces that are to my right, even if you kind of, you know, dotted them in between or just had one in the center, um, these are always incredibly popular, always incredibly popular. Um, if you have a little look at Suru, and I, um, I, is anybody watching Succession at the moment? Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. My husband, I'm so... Oh, I might have caught up now, Ross, to be honest, because Tom went out last night. Um, apparently there was boxing on, so we went out. And I was like, listen, I make no apology for this, but I am watch I'm binge watching Succession whilst you're out. So I sat there in my element. And I spotted the daughter. You know the daughter. What's her name again? Shiv. Shiv. Wearing Suru jewellery. Yes! She was wearing some Suru earrings. I should have taken a photo and tagged Suru, shouldn't I? Because I'm, I'm sure that's something that they'd advertise as well. Yeah, Shiv wearing Suru earrings. So very, very, very similar to this. Very, very similar. Oh, we've shown you before, haven't we? Denise Van Outen. We've shown you um, um, Her Royal Highness, uh, the Princess of Wales wearing these as well. Um, is it Her Royal Highness? I always get this wrong, sorry. Yes, it is Her Royal Highness, isn't it? Um, 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 1999, and that gets you all three. This is your beautiful paperclip chain um, that is coming up as well within this hour. Um, amazing. Oh, it's so good. If you've never watched Succession, initially, when I started watching it, I was like, oh, no, I'm not enjoying this because they, I don't, you don't like the characters. Let's just put it that way. You don't, you don't like them. <laughs> is it a comedy? Is it? The writers are the thick of it. No, I've never watched that either. Um, okay, I didn't know it was a comedy, but, but, but it's not very funny if it's a comedy because there's some fairly dark scenes that happens in it. Um, anyway, but I do recommend, give it a, tr give it, give it a try. There. And they filmed it not too far away from the studios, lots of it. Um, okay, well done everybody. There's only two left of those, congratulations. Um, Oh, this bundle, I reckon as bundles go, <laughs> it's a sentence, isn't it? As bundles go, this has to be one of the best that we've done. It's so beautiful. Um, so you get Edison pearls. Let me just tip those out onto the desk. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Here's all your pearls. So you've got this wonderful deep burgundy. You've got a really beautiful silver. You've got this almost like olivine like colour. Um, you've got a lovely peach and then you've got like a dark blue um, but you don't just get that so you've got five of your Edison pearls I think Edison in itself you know they are considered vast, globally really as uh, some of the best pearls in the world um, then you also get these beautiful strands of faceted rounds still not done which includes tanzanite uh, morganite um, natural sapphire 
and also your aquamarine. This is a very high-end bundle. And if you were with Claire and I when we first saw this, and, and it was the first time we'd seen it, we were saying, gosh, you've, well, you just put maybe, I don't know, would you put the pink with the um, morganite? Would you go for one of the silver or the blues with the tanzanite, maybe the red um, with the contrasting with that sapphire? I don't know, but it's an ultra high-end bundle. I love this one. They're four millimeter faceted rounds. This is not the closing price. These absolutely flew because you could, uh, like, genuinely, Claire and I were like, oh, this bundle's gorgeous. You could literally just restrand it, simple beading techniques. $49.99. Is it just me that is thinking that that's unbelievable for the Edison pearls on their own? Or that's unbelievable for the natural sapphire strand. Let's break this down. You know, that strand, never mind comparing outside of these four walls. Let's compare with ourselves here at Jewelry Maker. This strand of tanzanite could be $49.99, couldn't it? This, you know, that morganite could be $49. Succession, brilliant series, isn't it, Lisa? I'm, I, I see. We were, I was quite late to the party, so I'm kind of properly binge watching it. I'm um, in the later stages of series three. It's good. It, it is good. They've just gone for that walk, and one of the one of the um, oh yeah, I can't do any spoilers. Um, and one of the um, yes, yeah, Adrian Brody. Yeah, that, that scene, and unfortunately, he's not, and he's got, starting to get a little bit delusional as well. You know, it's, it's so good, isn't it? You yeah, do recommend that series, it's gripping. But I go to bed far later than I should because of succession. Yeah, I endeavour to be in bed by 10 o'clock when I'm working, and it never happens now. Um, well done, everybody. Um, okay, shall we do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hey, hey, I've got proper dropsies today, haven't I? Um, okay, let's do these. Now, this is actually Dan, gorgeous Dan, smouldering blue eyes Dan. Can I, I'll borrow this one for a second. Can I get another bust? Just because if we were to walk past a luxury jewellers, this is how they would be displayed. I've noticed as well, watching Succession, Lisa, have you noticed how many, um, how many do you would notice the jewellery that they're wearing? So much of the jewellery like, is stuff that we quite often see here at Jewellery Maker, and I mean pieces that you make, um, pieces that we certainly sell. You know, they've got lots of big Baroque pearls. Uh, what's her name? Siobhan. Siobhan um, wears a lot of Baroque pearls, and quite simple designs in actual fact. So, yeah, I always notice the jewellery. Um... Logan's wife has always got some hot rocks, but then you would expect that of a billionaire's wife, wouldn't you? Um, here we go. Now, if you were to walk past those, uh, those, a luxury jeweler and you were to see a window display just like this, it, it wouldn't be unrealistic, would it, to say, and they are complete. Again, let me just show you the, the reverse of one of them. You've got the extender chain with that lovely little heart detail, meaning they can be 18 inches or 20 inches, solid 925 sterling silver. If you were to see these advertised, what do you think? Let's be realistic. What do you think? £100? I think that's more than realistic, £100. It, especially, especially in a jeweler's, they're probably going to be even more. Um, even if we said something like, I don't know, 60 and that would be an absolute giveaway don't you think particularly when we are talking about the natural purple pearls you know um susie our guest designer susie she sells items like this she does and she said on air you know these are one of my biggest sellers um she says she sells them at 150 pounds and they absolutely fly at that price at that price point so yeah well, i tell you what let's be conservative though and say 60 pounds each just to, you know, as a starting point, natural purple pearls, they're not dyed, they're not, uh, they're, they're not bleached, they're natural purple pearls. And that's two of the four necklaces. So even if we were conservative and said, look, £60 per 925 sterling silver, top quality cultured pearl necklace, complete, £60 each, you're, um, in terms of turnover, that's going to make, what, £240. Now, this was... This, 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 this was a deal of the day. And we had 250 of them. I've got 19 of these left. Those, that 19, they don't deserve to be in our vault. They need to be in your stashes. Gifts, if you like. We are going to take the four, yeah, you heard that right, the four beautiful pearl necklaces under 100 pounds. 
if you are happy to pay as little as £25 per complete beautiful 925 sterling silver with natural purple pearls times two then start dialing because there's only 19 of them left though you know uh, like i said guest designer susie who sells she has a uh, she, she does commissions she has um her own little pearl business as well she sells these at 150 pounds each even if you're conservative and sold them at 50 you're you're doubling your money aren't you even if you did that, and I don't think you should sell them at 50, I think they could definitely be more than that. The quality of the pearls. There are only 19 of them left within the vault though, and already we've got collectors getting involved. 33 pounds and 33 pence, 25 pounds per beautiful necklace. No, we didn't go low, lower, did we? Didn't we? I've slept since then. We did just go a little bit lower. I can't remember. Were you... What did we take them to then? No, did we? And I can't, I can't even, I can't even have a little rant saying, well, that's far too low, isn't it? You know, goodness me. Because we did it. Oh, the quantity. We had 250. So it was all about the quantity, which, drew, which drove this price as low as it did. Um, goodness me. No, I'm not questioning Ross. Uh, you're questioning him. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. No, I tell you what, the better the deal. Oh, my goodness. Well, the phone lines have lit up. The final 19, you do need to check them out. We didn't just go a little bit lower than 99.99. I've just heard in my ear how much lower we took this, and it is frankly ridiculous. It's Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. It's flooding back. The memories. The memories. You know, like Celine Dion. Don't ask me to sing Celine Dion. I can't. No, I can't. I definitely can't. 15 pounds, 15 pounds per 925 sterling silver necklace with the heart extender chain. Let's not forget that. With the bolt ring clasp, um, with the cultured pearls and two of those necklaces have natural purple pearls, 15 pounds each. How unbelievable is that deal? Yeah, we had 250 of them. They were a previous deal of the day. It's come, it, it, it's, it's come flooding back to me now, um, the price point that we did. It, it, you could literally just flip these, couldn't you, and make immediate profit if it is your business. Um, if it's not, if you don't have a jewelry maker business like myself, then literally, are you thinking, I say, keep saying literally, sorry. It's because it's just me talking now. Um, um, you, could, you could gift. How lovely would these be as gifts? Just pop them in a nice, beautiful box, decorative, pop them away for a special occasion, maybe, um, maybe sort of weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, Christmas. Hiya, Ricky in Derbyshire saying, uh, the pearls that come from Jewelry Maker are some of the best quality that you can get anywhere and must buy. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. And I totally agree with you. Um, I mean, you've certainly, I know, Ricky, you're a regular customer with us here at Jewelry Maker. You've certainly heard me saying, haven't you, that, I think that's one of our greatest strengths, our pearl buying. And we, we are very fortunate in that we've got pearl suppliers all around the world. Um, and when we do find quality pearls, we will be able, we can buy the quantity. So, um, yeah, I agree. Here, here, Ricky. Look at that price point. Isn't that amazing? We have got, remember, the extenders coming up. Um, so if I just move the board that way a little bit, you'll be able to see them. And they come in the three different designs and you get six of them. So you've got the hearts, the moons and the stars, brand new, and they're launching at nine o'clock today. So um, you can't pre-order on those as of yet, but I will tell you there's a big quantity. We've got 300 of them. So um, just, yeah, be with me for that one. We don't, whenever we bring extender chains, they always sell out, always, because it's, it's so much more than extension. It's actually the finishing touches as well. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is your deal of the day. No, I haven't. You're right there, Adam. You're right there, because it's a bit of a crazy, unconventional day. And like I said, you've only got me. Um, Ross is saying, I tell you what, Elle, I might put the deal of the day on pre-order from nine o'clock. How do you feel about that? I say do it. Let's do it, Ross. Let's do it. Can you see what they are? Can you see? Now, they're magnetic clasps, but... Oh, sorry, bullet clasps. I beg your pardon. But look, I'm running out of space. Let me move these out of the way. Hang on. They're bullet class with a difference because 
They're so, they're, 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 yeah, they do look like old racing cars. I like that. Um, but, so you get this really lovely linear smooth design. Um, but they're a box clasp, can you see? So they are a box clasp, so you slide them out like this. So nice and secure. Um, you get a pack of four of each colour, but they're multi-rows. Um, and in speaking to our sterling silver buyer this week, she was saying um, um, it might be one of the few occasions that we, like, we've actually brought this style of clasp in a multi-row. Um, so we've got them in three different colours. 925 sterling silver. Yeah, they're a box clasp effectively, but they've got that really lovely, I think that's a great description, Roscoe, you know, like a, a traditional old racing car. Creates a really beautiful linear design. I tell you what, we'll put the dealer day on pre-order for you as well from nine o'clock today. Um, not just yet. So you've got, what, ten, just over 10 minutes to wait for that one. Um, keep your messages coming through as well for those of you that have just tuned in maybe you had a little lion on sunday morning uh serpentine oh yes um then Sir allison's a bit poorly bless her so we're going to send her lots and lots of love but don't worry we'll still bring the kits and we'll still bring you the uh demonstration because she very kindly filmed a demonstration for us to watch now we launched this yesterday and i was going completely crazy about how beautiful it is serpentine um often another gemstone that is traditionally carved in china um it has got amazing similarities to that of your jade um, beautiful translucency again you can see most of us would probably misinterpret this for taipei white jade wouldn't we um, because it's got quite a similar luster quite a similar similar translucency as well um, in this beautiful sort of fl uh, floral design again uh, when you consider this is done by hand you know um, to carve any shape is is difficult enough believe me i've had a go at it it's hard um, but then to actually to, to carve something that's in you, you taking out the center of it the risk of fractures is immense we're not stopping anywhere near that we spoke about this yesterday claire and i we were saying just feed that onto a really beautiful chain you know you don't need it to be encased in sterling silver with a bale or anything like that it'd be lovely just on a chain or imagine um, in a pair of beautiful matching earrings launched only yesterday for the very first time pure imperial white you know if this were a jade it would be an imperial white 49 pounds is it a clover though it's not a clover because it says four clover hoop it's a flower it's five <laughs> no it's it's yeah it's more of a daisy really than a clover i tell you what again if you weren't able to tune in yesterday um, I'm going to tell you, in 60 seconds, this is going under £20. It's hand-carved, a complete masterpiece. Um, I'm thinking about all the lovely designers who would maybe use uh, and how they would incorporate it. And you guys at home, of course, um, how you'd incorporate it into your jewellery. Are you going to use it maybe, maybe as a, a lariat style? Um, a lariat style design um, would you maybe use it as an individual pendant um, would you use them in earrings I think all of the above I think there's no right or wrong it, it is going under 20 pounds sorry all of a sudden now this really large piercing screech in my talk back it's gone now though <laughs> it's gone now like a whistle it was very bizarre um, in 17 seconds well done how many do we have of these left then Roscoe can't be many because they flew yesterday didn't they 29 yeah <laughs> oh, have you got a brew going? Lovely. That sounds good. Um, three seconds under £20. Well done and a very good morning to you, London. Lorna, another London Gloria, new customer. Welcome. It's hand carved at £19.99. pence. Beautiful. A genuine gemstone to create that consist. I mean, it's almost mathematically precise, isn't it? The actual each dimension of the petal, that uh, negative space in the centre there as well, which we effectively have to, uh, um, we have to factor in in the cost as well. You know, if you think about your archer rings and you think about your bangles and things like that, just because there is an area sort of removed from the centre of it, you know, that can't be used for another gemstone. Um, 
that area, it's used, uh, they carve it in the same techniques as they do your type A jade, and that's an abrasive manner. So it's not something that they can use for another, um, another piece of jewelry, much like many other gemstones. 1999, well done, and a very good morning. Keep those messages coming through. Again, um, apologies, our poor, poor Alison's not feeling very well this morning. So you're just stuck with little old me and the crew, but I promise we'll have lots of fun. I promise. Um, amazing, well done, well done. Okay, where do we go from here? Let's have a little look. Flying through all the goodies, aren't we? These, okay. Two, what did you just say? Both of these pearls. So you've got, hang on. These are big hole pearls as well, you know that. Um, I just had a funny feeling then. I must, must look at drill hole. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just had a funny feeling there was a big drill hole in the in in these, and they are. So that means you can put them on your wires and your leather. Um, Ross has just said both of these separate auctions. We'll do them back to back, under ten pounds. Under ten pounds, starting with this beautiful silver and white. Even if you just made these into, turn them into little, um, I don't know, stretchy bracelets, something as simple as that. And you put maybe that serpentine that we've just had um, or some of the lovely charm features that we bring to you. We've had lovely ones recently, haven't we? The little elephants and things like that. And I did notice there's a, um, a sterling silver with topaz and pearl pendant on the website right now. Sorry, on, yeah, or at number 10, item number 10. Imagine that suspended um, from this strand. How beautiful would that be as a piece of jewellery? There's 30 available and straight away people on the web um, yeah, it's happening. It's going under £10. You have got the large drill holes, which might seem like an insignificant feature to somebody that's new to jewellery making. Um, those of you that have been making for a longer period of time, it's a big deal. And it's very challenging to, to, um, to actually have a big drill hole because... Again, you lose pearls in that process sometimes um, through breakages, but it opens multiple doors to us as jewelry makers, doesn't it? So you can um, you can use your leather, you can use your wire, you can use your put your macrame through there, you can put chains through there if you wanted to. Um, we had, did you say thirty? Yeah, thirty available. Karen, Christine, London, Tanya, Julie, Hilda, Teresa, Karen, Angela, West Midlands, hello to you, Oxfordshire, Jacqueline, nice to see you, hello to you, uh, Teresa, Karen, Christine, multi-buying on this, amazing, how lovely to see Silver Pills back on our screens, because it has actually been, um, it's, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it, actually, um, again, make sure you check out, under £10, and also the larger pills, the white ones are coming up next, you know where they're going to, under £10, a little bit of a, um, a a heads up on the time I'm just noticing it's what four minutes to nine maybe consider start checking out your baskets if you haven't already done so um, items are flying out on the website of course um, but everything will disappear as soon as we close this hour so if there's anything just loitering around in your basket you still only pay the one postage and packaging irrespective of how many times you make that confirmation at uh, that checkout sorry um, so you know it's not stopping there these are big pearls they're not small you've got big statement pearls maybe you wanted you got hold of um, Claire's kit yesterday and you're looking for additional pills to go alongside that don't forget Alison's kit uh, that's coming up as well at nine o'clock where you have a beautiful spool of black cord you've got a full parcel of Olmec type A jadeite and you've also got your dragon um, master carving so maybe if you wanted to make those gemstones go a little bit further how about some lovely pills as an addition and it's not just $9.99 either, Ross, $7.99. Ah, play, playing your cards close to your chest, I see. $7.99. How many do we have? Uh, just under 30 again. Yeah, they'd be lovely addition alongside Alison's kit. Um, I've got one more auction to squeeze in. Remember, at the end of that auction, 
Everything's going to disappear. Um, you'll be able to, by the way, in the next hour, start uh, um, shopping for your extender chains. They always sell out. Um, there's a big star buy within that hour. And Alison's beautiful on that kit's coming up as well. So do make sure you check out your baskets on all of the goodies that you've shopped with us so far today. One more auction to bring you. $7.99. It's looking like it is going to be an on-screen sellout. Now, I, my only wish when I was prepping for this last night, Roscoe, is that we, did, we had more. That was my only wish. There's not enough of these, are there? Um, we've got less than 100. Um, if you go into any uh, a, a, any professional jewellery workshop, um, they it's unlikely, I'm not going to say never, but they don't often actually have your complete chains because what they tend to do is actually customise them. Um, Claire actually demonstrated yesterday, didn't she? So you can watch that back on YouTube, how to solder um, a bolt ring clasp onto or a jump ring onto your, um, onto your chains. If you're not a solderer, don't let that put you off because you can always use things like your point four wire or your um, featherweight head pins. Um, this is the style of chain that is absolutely everywhere at the moment. They call it a paperclip chain. You've got these really beautiful, um, quite contemporary links. Um, as a jewellery maker, from your perspective, um, there are opportunities, aren't you, for you to attach. You can attach things like charms. You can attach maybe bubble styles, um, little clusters of rondelles, and they're easily separated. So if you wanted to put something like your connectors within there, you definitely can do that as well. Um, in terms of the length, you've got 18 inches. I think many of you might look at this, and this is the joy of being a jewellery maker. Maker, you, you might look at a piece which um, certainly prior to me actually starting here at Jewelry Maker 11 years ago, I would have looked at this and gone, okay, so um, all right, I might put that on a shepherd hook and maybe a pearl at the bottom. You, uh, you've got much more, you're much more visionary than I am. Um, so you might go Elsa Peretti inspiration. That could be beautiful tassels. That can create uh, um, long line necklaces. Like I said, there's just so much potential with something like this. The only downside, it's a big gram weight is that I've got less than 100. That's the only downside. If we had more, if we had 300, 400, then this would potentially be a deal of the day because it is an essential, would you all agree? It's one of the, uh, you know, um, your unfinished chains or your chain spools um, have are, are as important as your featherweights and your jump rings and your clasps and all of those essential components it's because it's what you can achieve at the end of it. We're under 20 pounds for well over two grams of sterling silver. You don't have to be a silversmith to work with chain like this because the links are that much larger. You could probably just open a jump ring onto this directly, couldn't you? I don't even think you need to do like a wrap loop. Yeah, you could just open a jump ring directly onto these links. We're under 20 pounds for all that gram weight of 925 sterling silver you know, a couple of inches in some lovely opera length earrings. How beautiful would that be? Again, going back to succession, sorry. Um, um, Shiv was wearing a really lovely long line, big Baroque pearl necklace the other day. I, 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 do you notice the jewellery on there then? Because I know that Ross, Ross and uh, Adam, they're glued to it as well. You know, keep an eye out on, particularly Siobhan's, uh, Siobhan's next shiv, as they call her. Um, she wears a lot of like long line chains with big Baroque pearls, amazing earrings. And I said, gosh, that's very jewellery maker. We need to hook up actress Siobhan, who I don't know your name. I don't know, but we, well, you need to send uh, succession some of your beautiful jewellery. Um, 19.99, but not your, it is a star buy, but we're just, we've just led straight into it. I wish there was a bigger quantity of these. Wow, twelve ninety nine only. Like I said, I'm not I'm not as talented as uh, as you guys at home, but look, pop that onto some of your luxury sterling silver at Shepherd Hooks. What would you do? A little put a Baroque pearl at the bottom there potentially. Um, you're thinking, oh no, that's too long, L. How about something like that? Just a little bit shorter. That's the joy. That's the thing. You can customise it. You're the, you're the amazing jewellery makers. Anne and Sue have created with these, actually. Um, I've just noticed those. Thank you, Michael. Eagle eyes. Um, so they've just put some of the lovely... Oh, those are the extender chains. Those are the ones that are coming up at nine o'clock. But these 
are from uh, from this chain here so beautiful layering is all the rage at the moment again these have flown out the door um, that necklace you can see has been made uh, by Anne and Sue on this one beautiful absolutely beautiful um, so they've taken the chain round the back to actually make the the back of the uh, of the design you've got your beautiful what looks like clear quartz and then you've they've created that beautiful sort of waterfall like style stunning absolutely stunning 12 pounds and 99 pence only again you can see the gram weight we had a hundred oh are you gonna do it should we sell it should we sell them out today shall we if there was a bigger quantity genuinely these would be uh, they would be a deal of the day because they are as essential as i think any finding um that you could uh, um you could wish for um because you can create with it you know if you missed out on those pearl necklaces earlier on for example um or maybe you've got some other gemstones that you want to use a similar design um then it's opportunities like this that allow you to pop along to places like pandora where you can get a paper link chain you can see it there um 125 pounds there we go should we look another one misoma there we go it's all right it's probably a heavier gram weight but it's the design isn't it 310 pounds doesn't say on there whether it's actually silver um another one 155 pounds yeah oh they are silver they are silver there we go 155 pounds that one in particular is absolutely not dissimilar um monica veneda absolutely selfridges um all right it's in gold 350 pounds and i've seen that bracelet it is tiny the, the picture by the way that one is very deceptive um, it is tiny. £95 for that bracelet. You can create a version of... Not at £95. Goodness me, no. Not even £12.99. You could make that bracelet twice over and a pair of earrings. That's the joy of being a jewellery maker. And, and all you need to do there is what? Attach, at, attach. They haven't even got a jump ring on the end of that bracelet. They've actually attached directly into the chain, which I think is really clever. Um, and a little charm detail. Uh, they've used a lobster claw clasp, really pretty. And they've textured it, which you could texture yours if you wanted to. I know that that one is actually gold plated, but like I said, they'll probably do the silver version as well. Loads of multi buyers on this as well. Oh, my call screen's gone a bit funny again. It keeps going all do lally. And it means I'm looking at the bottom of the screen and I can only see the bottom names when, yeah. Uh, can we, do you know how to flick that, adjust it so it goes back up to the top? But I am seeing quantities of twos, threes, fours. Well done, everybody. Tracy, hello to you. Wendy, Linda, London, Karen, Nikki, uh, Lynn, amazing. Congratulations to you. Um, right, everyone, everybody, we are about to close this hour. So that's not just this auction. It's every item that we've brought you thus far this morning. So anything that you see in your baskets, I would check them out. Remember, you only pay the one post in packaging, regardless of how many times you do check out. There's been lots of sellouts already. This is all about, oh, the Prava, well done, it's gone. Uh, Amazonite, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. If you want to get your extenders, they are coming up at the end of this clock. So be quick, because remember, whilst I might have 300 of them, whenever they're brought to our show, they always sell out. They always do. Um, if it's in your basket, check out as soon as you possibly can. You can hear the panic, can't you, in my voice. Uh, June, well done. Ken in Yorkshire, well done. London, well done. Anne, well done. Carolyn, Jacqueline, Lincolnshire, uh, Mariska, Liz, Lynn, Kathy. I can't keep up with you all. Um, yeah. Everything dis disappearing. This is going to be an on-screen sellout in actual fact. Congratulations. Don't go anywhere because your extender chains in three designs is coming up <gasps> after this. Guess what? Guess what? Can you guess? Can you guess what? Can you guess what, Dan? He's, he's not there. Guess what? Guess. <laughs> guess what, Adam? Guess what? We're going to put the deal of the day on pre-order. I know. I know we are living on the wild side. Totally this Sunday. We never normally do that, but Ross has just said it in my ears, like, I'm going to put the deal of the day on pre-order. And not just the silver ones. He says, I'm going to put the rose 
and the gold. I know, I know, I know. You get four of, they are separate auctions, all deal of the day. We've got big quantity of the silver. Um, I think we've got 50 of each of the rose gold and the yellow gold. Um, but they are a brand new, they're a box clasp, but more of like a, like a torpedo like shape. They're available on pre-order right now. Um, your kit with lovely Alison is coming up in a few moments time and your demonstration. So don't worry, you're not missing out on your demonstrations. Alison has recorded a fantastic demo for you um, that we will dive to um, in a few moments time. But right now, the reality is, look, if you go to the website, uh, all the W's um, at jewelrymaker.com, um, click watch live, scroll down ever so slightly and you can actually see, firstly, your early bird, which is your, um, your extender chains. What's that start price all about? Seriously, you get six pieces, 17.99. Well, I'm guessing you've done it, Ross. Oh, he said, no, no, I don't set the prices. What? That's too low already. Okay. Oh, you're just throwing the buyers under the bus, aren't you? <laughs> to be fair, he's not wrong, though, is he? Seventeen ninety nine. That I mean, that could be that could be a closing price, couldn't it? That could be a closing price for us all. Anyway, go back to. Let's rant over. Rant over. Um, you can shop ahead as well. Um, you can shop ahead on your beautiful bullet class as well, and you do get four um, of each of them. They are not going to be anywhere near the £161.99. pence. So, OK, right then, for your early bird, without even looking at the call screens, if I were a betting person, I would say the call screens are already hotting up. You snuck them on pre-order, yeah. There's 300 available, says Ross, yeah. 36 have already gone. Yeah, I knew it would be the case. Um, 37, 42, they're going up, as you can see. Um, these will fly out the door. 49. That, that's how quickly these are going to go. They, every single time um, that we bring your extender chains to air, they, you know, they sell out. Um, and that's because it's such a simple component, isn't it? But it's actually something that's very difficult for... Um, not difficult, but actually quite... I don't know, it's something that we need. They are essentials, aren't they? Not just because they give that practicality of adjustability, not just because it takes your necklace or your bracelet, if you like, from one length to, uh, to another um, and gives you that option of every, everywhere in between. So it's not, just, it's not just about, okay, well, I want a 16 inch or an 18 inch or, or maybe a 20 or a 22, whichever it might be, because it's a two inch um, length. But you can do the sizes in between because you've got quite nice open links in this as well. Um, but it's not just about the practicality of these. For me, I look at it and I kind of think, well, that's the finishing touch as well. You know, rather than just having a chain just end abruptly, you've got those wonderful little charm details on the bottom. And, and this is why really Ross is kind of having a little rant to himself in the, in, in the gallery. It's because those charms on their own at 1799 is absolutely amazing. Would we agree? You know, if we were to bring you a little bundle of charms, and say, look, there's, oh, look, you get two sterling silver stars, you're getting two sterling silver crescents, you're getting two of the lovely sterling silver hearts, 17 99 It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. But you're not just getting those charms. You are getting as well the extender chain, which is all complete and soldered. Are you ready for your early bird? There are 300 available, but they are all ready. I'm going to guess. I see, how, see how close I can call this now, Ross? Don't tell me, but... I'm going to guess we're pushing a third of the stock. How many? 87. 87 have already gone. It is, well, this is, what, this is what I was just saying, Roscoe. I was saying, like, if they were, we were just talking about the charms, that's a great price for the charms on their own, but you don't just get that, do you? We could have closed at 17.99. And, and Ross was like, look, look, I, I, I wasn't going to. That wasn't his intention. He said, but my first price crash would have been probably, what, £5 per extender chain? Look how amazing that is. But we, we obviously can't because it's already on the website at £17.99. This is precious 925 sterling silver. We're not talking about something that is... Um, um, that is that it's maybe a base metal. These are precious 925. Anne and Sue have used them um, in a slightly less traditional way. 
um, here in these earrings and turn them into beautiful, ah, oh, just looping them onto a jump ring. How gorgeous are they? But if you want to see what an extender chain looks like in its traditional form, it's that finishing touch. Do you see where I'm coming from? Instead of just having a chain that ends abruptly, it's that beautiful, we always say Nicole Kidman-esque, where you, she, cause she, she, I can't remember if it was the Oscars, but she had that lovely necklace that kind of cascaded down her very elegant back. Um, so you kind of get that wonderful finishing feature. How beautiful are these? You know we're not stopping at 17.99. So look, you know that this early bird is gonna be less than 20 pounds. You know that already, don't you? We would have started this, uh, this early bird at 29.99. We can't do that though. Our hands are tied. So I tell you what, first price crash, let's half what? Half 29.99. So 14 99 that's pretty good, isn't it? £2.50 each. £2.50? Let's, let's, let's break this down. How about, for me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For me, there's 12 components in this. Because you've got inch long, uh, was it an inch? Yeah, about an inch and a half. Your chain and then your charm. Chain charm, chain charm. Do you see where I'm coming from? For me, there's 12 components in this. So you're talking about a pound per component, just over £1.25. You know we're not stopping there either. Without doubt, whenever we bring you extender chains to our screens here at Jewelry Maker, they always sell out. That's why our buying team will have bought, well, they did, they've bought 300 of these opportunities. That still probably won't be enough to be truthful. Yes, they could be beautiful earrings. You could just literally loop these onto a, uh, a jump ring and onto your shepherd hooks. The intention, the idea behind the extender chain and charm um, is that it gives you versatility in your bracelets and your necklaces. Like I said, you can wear them. Instead of it being a 16 inch necklace, it can be an 18 um, and so forth. Um, instead of it being a 20, it can be a 22, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also the attention to detail if you look at your big design designer jeweler as well they should do i would i i i i, I would say um, chances are they would have that adjustable chain on there not just because of the practicality of it but because it's beautiful you've got that wonderful movement at the back as well um, are we stopping here then roscoe two pound fifty per, per component that's pretty amazing they're not base metal these are 925 sterling silver how much do you think these earrings would be if you were to go into a luxury jewelers do you think they would be anywhere near hmm let's see they've put all three they've got they've put them all in there would you think they would be what 50 40 50 pounds for 925 sterling silver it is a lot of silver over two grams all, all Anne and sue have actually added is maybe a shepherd hook and a jump ring, that's it. Are you ready? Today, in fact, you're not gonna believe this deal. We're approaching half the stock, two pounds per 925 sterling silver extender chains with your wonderful star, moon and hearts uh, charms as well. That's why I was saying, even if we were to bring, be bringing you right now the charms on their own and we were saying, right, Eleven ninety nine for the six charms. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, but you do get the length of the chain in there as well. The call screens have gone completely bananas. Um, I've got, what, three full rows of names, loads of multi-buyers. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. Um, if you're just tuning in and you're wondering where our lovely Alison is, uh, uh, sorry, you've got, you're stuck with just little old me for now. Um, and get well soon, our Alison. But don't you worry, we'll still bring you the kits. We'll still bring you the amazing demonstrations because Alison kindly recorded those um, so make sure you stick with us for that opportunity also that's what, what did you say two pounds each two pounds per chain stroke charm in your precious metals whenever we have them they sell out they sell out they sell out they sell out and they do make that difference don't you think if I show you the necklace that uh, Anne and Sue have created here they make such a difference to the actual design it is that finishing touch 148 have gone. Oh, are you doing it? 
I'm with you on that, Ross. I'm eleven ninety nine. He's going. Nah, I don't like that price. If and it's not always the case that we can. If we can take it under ten pounds, then we absolutely will. Rascal Ross. Says I can get these under £10 today, Al. And it's we're going to do it. So for those of you that have shopped ahead, well done. <laughs> you can sit back and enjoy. Or you might be thinking, I'll get some more thanks for that. If it's going under £10, might as well stock up on them. We really ever get the extender, uh, the extender chains, particularly the extender chains with the charms. And when we do, that's why I said at the beginning of this uh, opportunity, whenever we do, it is always a case of sellout. 300 might seem like loads. Firstly, 300 isn't a huge quantity, especially not on a Sunday morning. Um, we're going to do another 60 seconds just because I really want to stress that they are going under £10. They feature the six sterling silver charms, the six lengths of sterling silver chain. There's over two grams of 925 sterling silver and... and... It's just a single figure price tag. How awesome is that? Abs I know that you could make these. You need to solder, so you're gonna need your silver paste, I assume, um, and all that equipment. You're gonna need to buy the individual charms. You're gonna need to get the sterling silver chain. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm betting the reason why the call screen has gone as crazy as it has is because you're thinking, well, I probably can't make them for that, Al. I can't make them for that. So I might as well get involved. That's why Janet's got two, Pearl's got two, Candy's got two, Lorna's got two, Maureen's got two, Margaret's got two, Gillian, Essex, Sharon, uh, Neil and Linda, Mary. There's loads of twos, threes and fours being snapped up. Tracy and Norfolk's just got four. Maker's just got four. Because actually to, put, to make them yourself, I don't think that we're going to be able to do that at under £10. These are going to be a one-show wonder, aren't they? They're going to be on. And then we're going to be waiting for the next supply of your extender chains. £9.99. How amazing is that? How amazing. You've got a big gram weight here uh, of precious metal. Um, how awesome. How awesome is that? Um, loads of multi-buyers. And they do make that bit of difference. For me, you know, when I buy jewellery, the first thing I look at is, is, is actually the clasp or the mechanism. Um, and that's because if the clasp or mechanism is complete or finished, you know, well, then I know that there's a quality made piece of jewellery. Um, what was that? Sorry, Roscoe. 170 per charm and extender chain. So if you actually break... Yeah, I was going to say, if you actually break that and split that in half, that's 83. 83p for the charm, 83p for the 925, well, they're both 925, uh, for the chain in itself. I mean, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it? But don't you think it makes a difference? And am I the only person that does that? When, you, uh, you know, when you're looking at jewellery, um, I, always, I always go to the, obviously the first design, the initial design is what's going to attract me, but I will immediately go to the back to make sure that it is com uh, it's complete and finished correctly. Because you, know, you can have clasps, say, uh, let, let's look at this one. Um, if it wasn't as well made as what Anne and Sue have done, it, they can be a bit scratchy, they could maybe break quite easily. You can see the quality in it, can't you? $9.99 only well done so many multi buyers um your beautiful olmec jadeite kit is coming up um in a few moments time um after a very short break let's show you this is very limited though i have to tell you because it is olmec jade the lost treasure of guatemala we do have the demonstration as well from lovely allison we're going to put this kit on pre-order right now even though there's only 24 of them so good luck to you all um also, yes, can I show you? These are coming up at 11 o'clock. These brand new designs where you get this kind of halo. Um, and can you see there's a little peg in the center there so you can put your button pearls in there. Um, I tell you what, we're going to put those on pre-order. Remember your deal of the day is on pre-order and the brand new bracelet is on pre-order. So you can shop ahead on all of these. Going back to that um, Misoma bracelet, very similar to this. Very, very similar. 
Look at all the uh, all the items on pre-order. So you can get your deal of the days. You can get Alison's kit. You can get this brand new bracelet that I'm holding here, and you can get those gorgeous earrings. Um, so you can shop ahead on those uh, on, on each of those. The deal of days are flying out. They are um, like your box class, but they've got this lovely torpedo shape. And you get four of each of those kits coming up next. Then we've got your demonstrations, and we're going to bring you m uh, many, many more deals. Join me after this. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up. This Sunday, we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. I hope you're all well. Congratulations to every single one of you on your treat so far. We've still got so much to bring you. Now, um, for those of you that have just tuned in, have a little look on the website because there's lots of items that are already on pre-order. So you can shop ahead um, on Alison's kit right now. It's not going to be anywhere near the £4,999 that it's locked and loaded at. 
Um, you can also get hold of the three Deal of the Days. Very unusual that you can pre-order on Deal of the Days. And that's the gold-plated, the rose gold-plated, and the 925 sterling silver multi-strand bullet clasp. And they're a box clasp, so really strong. Um, and you do get all four um, of those as well. You can pre-order on that beautiful brand new bracelet. And you can pre-order on those amazing ear, um, earring designs. They almost remind me a little bit, you know, like Neptune, is it, you know, Saturn, sorry. <laughs> get my planets right um well you've got that the, the sort of the, the rings all the way around they remind me a little bit of that can't quite see it on the photograph there but you do see this lovely orbit if you like of precious metal so shop ahead on those right then and your demonstration is happening bless Alison um she has sent us uh sent us the demonstration so you can sit back and enjoy so what's going to happen I'll bring you the kit um, I'll bring you the kit. There is a limited quantity of these. Why is it as limited as it is? Well, we are talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones. So I want to quickly, briefly talk to you about Guatemalan jade because I know so many of you already, uh, are, you know, very knowledgeable about uh, this gemstone, but also we are still learning about it um, here in the West in particular. Guatemalan jade. These aren't my words, this is the GIA, is the only location, um, well, they are my words, I, <laughs> I've never found anywhere else either, um, that actually offers you natural blue jadeite. This is a gemstone that um, the uh, ancient Mayan peoples revered and treasured more than any other gemstone um, in the world. And there's a wonderful story behind it. Can we share that story? Yeah. Um, you, I, I know you've got sort of the, 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 the demonstration and everything, but um, so there's a wonderful story behind it. And I know some of you are familiar with this story, but I never tire of hearing it or, 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 or listening to those words. So there was a wonderful husband and wife team um, and they were the Ridingers. So Jay Ridinger, and you can see them photographed um, uh, in this wonderful image here, was actually longing to uh, rediscover the location of this gemstone. They knew it existed because in the Smithsonian Muse uh, Museum there was um, ancient artifacts, a, a mask in actual fact that we can show you, um, which has this beautiful Olmec blue. They knew it existed, they knew it came um, or potentially came from, uh, from uh, Guatemala. Pieces like this, and you can see the quality, you can see that really distinctive colour, it's very different to that of your, um, of your Burmese jadeite. So they knew there was a location in the world that produced it, uh, produced it, produced uh, um, uh, jadeite um, in its natural form with this beautiful blue, but establishing exactly where was the thing. Gemstone mines can be, uh, can, can run for thousands of years, you know, like the Burmese mine, like your Mogok ruby, for example. Um, and this was a gemstone that certainly dated back to sort of such eras, um, but it had been lost. They called it the lost treasure of Guatemala. So the riding has set out on um, a quest, if you like, to rediscover this amazing source. You were to they knew it was along this area. You can see it on the map itself, right from the Montague ri uh, River. Um, because basically, geologically, there was movements of tectonic plates, occurrences that had happened, which would make sense for this gemstone to occur there. But establishing exactly where. The riding has announced that they had found it, um, found their find to the world, but no one still believed them. They were laughed at, called crazy up until 1987. The National Geographic article, Jade, came out that they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the jade, uh, jade sources were lost because of the reverence the mind showed for jade. Um, Effectively, they, they literally guarded it until their, um, their community, their civilizations actually died out. Some 450 years later, the riding has re-established the jade industry in Guatemala. How amazing is that? You know, 450 years later. And if you imagine if you're in sort of the dense jungle area of Guatemala, it's very easy to lose something under the dense vegetation, etc. Um, and going back to how I opened this opportunity was that the GIA, it was a question uh, that was put to the Gemological Institution of America. Does jade come in pink and blue? Jade eye is available in a wide range of colors. In rare cases, some could, con uh, could be considered pink. However, this material is referred to in the trade as lavender. Rare examples of Guatemalan jadeite in a blue colour do exist. So only in this one location. 
we are talking about here a gemstone that was, you know, the quest, the the, the ambition to source this gemstone, um, the, uh, the, the existence that they knew. Like the mask, we have pieces like this. Jadeite was the most valuable material of ancient Olmecs, Mayans, uh, and Zapotecs, and other Mesoamerican cultures. In the 16th century, century sorry, uh, um, whole of Mesoamerica was conquered by the Spanish. Mayans who controlled the Jadeite mines dispatched guards to guard their treasure. Uh, mines um, of the most valuable material known to them. So, and you can see that really beautiful, distinct blue. You don't get this location from the British Columbia sources. You don't get this, uh, this sorry, this, this color um, from the Burmese location. It was only ever known to, uh, known to exist, if you like, um, in Guatemala. And that is still the case today. Um, some might say, and many of us do actually agree that we think this is one of the most beautiful colours that exists in your jade eye. It's so distinctive, and once you've seen it, especially you know in person, it has this really beautiful, very teal light blue, um, amazing saturation. But this also has the presence of the yellow within. This is one of the most exclusive kits that we've actually brought to you in a very, very long time. So you are getting a full parcel of Type A Guatemalan. Uh, Olmec blue jade eye. Oop, there we go. Stay. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, full parcel bar that one. He doesn't. He, yeah, no, stay. That's how perfectly round they are. Um, that full parcel again. Beautiful, beautiful translucency with this. Um, when it comes to jade eye, irrelevant of the location, it is a strand. That's a strand. Sometimes, you know, we'll strand them for you. Um, sometimes we bring them to you in the parcel, but it is a strand length or the equivalent of. Um, you know, you've got to look at it this way. When we, when we are grading jade eye, whether it be Burmese or whether it be Guatemalan, whether it be um, British Columbia, we always look for the translucency. Translucency is the most important thing. Have a look at the photograph here on this article. I won't bother reading the words, but just have a little look at that cabochon. Now, I can tell you straight away that that cabochon has got quite a coarse texture, and that's why there's zero translucency. It's lovely because you've got a really beautiful blue, but it's not of the same grade and quality that you have in this. Um, in this parcel. There's translucency and there's colour in the ones that you're getting hold of. You've also got this lovely spool, um, this spool of black cord. I'll show you Alison's piece in a few moments time. So for those of you that maybe want to knot, that would be absolutely perfect. I am still not done. There's only a limited quantity of this kit. I can't stress that, emphasize that enough. You have a master carving. And whilst, yes, this formed in Guatemala, the carving itself, the only place in the world that can carve jadeite um, as well as this is China. You want to remember that's part of their, you know, uh, they've been carving this gemstones for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years. So we will send our Guatemala acquisition uh, Guatemalan jade acquisitions over to China where they will carve it for us. The only way to get hold of this beautiful dragon carving, I love, do you, look, I mean, look, look, look at that beautiful presence of almost like a yellow behind in the backdrop, almost like this dragon is riving, uh, rising through the flames. How much do you think this would be on its own? 150, 100, yeah, 149. I think that would be about right. The parcel of rounds launched, I can tell you. These were £99 on the launch. Back in October, we've brought you the same parcel without the carving, without this, the cord, at £99. The, this carving um, with your dragon, which seems to be rising from the flames, absolutely beautiful, £149. You've got beautiful translucency. The difference, and that's why I showed you that cabochon earlier on, it's quite matte, isn't it, that one on that photograph? That one's quite matte. Whereas this one looks like melting ice. We say it all the time, it should look like it's almost melting. It's a darker, beautiful, more desirable teal blue color. Good luck to each and every single one of you. There are, did you say 23? 24 in existence. Remember those price points that I have shared with you. So on that basis, never mind the price of the cord, this could be a this, this should be a 250 kit, shouldn't it? If and, and I'm talking jewelry maker price. Never mind how much it would be outside of these four walls. Are you ready for this opportunity? The graphics are live. 
Guatemalan jade is, some might even say much more historic than your Burmese jade. Kotan, no, probably not. I mean, Kotan, you're talking thousands upon thousands of years. But it's got a fascinating and an exciting story. The ridings, ridingers themselves were literally the inspiration to Indiana Jones. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine such an iconic character actually being thought up, uh, thought up based on yourself and some of the amazing things that you've achieved in your life? beautiful, distinctive, natural Olmec blue. Go back to those ancient artifacts that we saw displayed within the Smithsonian Museum. You know, that wonderful blue. It's, it, again, coarse texture, quite opaque. You've got to remember these are pieces dating right the way back to the 12th century um, and, and would have been carved in the same way that your beautiful master carving has done, literally by hand. You see that wonderful quality of the blue. There are just 24 available opportunities. We launched the parcel. If you were to buy each piece of uh, each parcel, sorry, the parcel of rounds and the carving, never mind the cord, we'll, 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 we'll disregard that. This would be a £250 kit. Would we agree? Would we agree? Look at the beautiful jewellery that's been created. Ah. Oh. You can see the quality of the carving as well in this photograph. That's beautiful, isn't it? Every single one will be slightly unique because they are hand carved. You've got the movement of the dragon. I love the presence of the yellow, natural yellow jade um, within this as well. Jadeite comes in those multiple palettes. Remember what the GIA said. Rare examples will have this beautiful blue. If you were to buy these components individually, the kit price would be what's on your screens, which is absolutely amazing. If you pop along to the Ridingers website, you can source a necklace from there with far lesser grade, inferior grade to what's on your screens right now. Um, I have to say as well, it, it doesn't, I don't want to say it out loud, but I don't know, I'm looking at the clasp and, and I'll leave it there. Look at the clasp. Hmm. I'm not that happy with that piece. Do you know where I'm coming from? But it's a coarser crystal. It's not as good a color. $569 for that necklace. Hello, Alison. Um, hello, my lovely saying, OMG, L. I love this kit. The carving is incredible. Love the touch of yellow that was in my piece. Um, we'll get some photos posted later. I, I assume Alison's saying about on social media there. Oh, it's, I knew you would love it, Alison, because you, you're, you're definitely... You love your dragons, don't you? Um, now, if you were to get, if you were to get the components individually to four nine, which we've only already showed you for master carving, you know the canvas, the most expensive canvas in the world, um, and from one of the rarest and most remote locations in the world, carved in this work of art. Plus, you get the parcel of the rounds at two four nine. That's epic. But we always say, when you purchase your kits you get an even better deal. Are you ready? The parcel of rounds. Goodness me. Wait. Wait. There are only 24 though. You've just got to, I don't even know how to word this. You've got a huge saving on the master carving, huge saving on the master carving, paying less than what we should be bringing this on its own, and you're getting a full parcel of type AJ. This is probably, uh, yeah, I, I, do you know what? 149 sits completely comfortably with me, Roscoe. 100% because it's Olmec Jade. We've got far less master carvings in Olmec Jade than we have any other, than we have um, any of your other jades, if that makes sense. And that's not to sound dismissive, but it is far, far rarer um, to get hold of. Plus, you've got to remember the whole geography of it. I'm useless at geography, but you've got to remember we've got to source the, the old make jadeite. It's then got to be shipped across to China for them to actually to carve it. And you get the parcel of the rounds. What have you just found? Okay, Ross has just said, I found a 15 carat old McJade. What, here? Yeah, jewellery maker. And it closed at 99 pounds. It's 30 carats, this carving. So it should, yeah, the, 149 is absolutely amazing. 
199, I agree. I don't think that's unrealistic. Plus, as Alison said, you get that wonderful warmth of yellow running through. £32.25. If, if we were to plan, and, and, and we can say this knowing that Ross is obviously he uh, hearing what I'm saying. Ross, could we do an Olmec Jadeite master carving exclusive hour? Probably not a whole hour, he said. We have got, we've got, we've got carvings on today's show, about seven of them, he says, but that's about it. <clears throat> we could probably stretch it out a little bit, but, um, but yeah, no, is the answer. We've got far less old Mac Jade in the master carvings because of the geography of it all. It makes sense, doesn't it? Bristol, Linda, Marion, multi-buying, amazing Marion, well done to you. Lorna, Christine, Heather, Kim, Mary, Janice, Margaret, you know... Uh, so to, the reality is, even if you don't want the parcel of rounds, which who, who, who would not want them, to be honest, um, but say you're looking at solely for the master carving, for me, you're getting a saving on the master carving and you're getting everything else for free. How incredible is that? But there was only 24 already. As you can see, we are pushing the single figure quantity. Mariska, you've got yours as well. Amazing. I've got Angela, Alan, Meath, Maker, Sarah, Susan in Essex, still with it in your basket. Um, Alison's going to show us her wonderful piece of jewelry, of course, and she's going to walk us and talk us through her demonstration. I mean, can we just show that image? That's absolutely beautiful. Um, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Stay with us. Make sure you check out your baskets. She's going to do a different, yeah, different to the, the original. I think that was Claire's. I think that one was Claire's. That was on the, yeah, exactly, on Alison's launch. So how amazing are these? Um, make sure, um, make sure you check out your baskets because they are super limited. Um, but sit back and enjoy the wonderful, wonderful demonstration from our gorgeous Alison. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Um, we're going to be doing um, a, a jadeite necklace it's amazing old mac jade one of my favorites so i've got a few techniques here but i'm going to concentrate mainly on the macrame for this demo i'll just run you through the other bits what i've done to attach the um old mac pendant which is incredible by the way this dragon is i've done a little wrapped loop with some 0.4 wire through the whole of the, the pendant up through one of the round old mac jades and a little wrap loop on the top between two knots. So that's the that's the um, pendant attachment. The rounds I've actually just um, knotted because I really, really like them. I did macrame around them, but I didn't like it, so I started again. Um, I thought it detracted from the Olmec Jade, so I've, I've left it plain with just the knots going through. So... Those are techniques we've done quite a bit. So what I want to concentrate on is this part, the macrame. So it's all this has one um, main core running through it, which I've come down one side, knotted, added the pendant on, then knotted up the other side and then carried on the macrame with the same core going all the way through. So I'm going to tell you, go through how to do the macrame part for you. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. There we go, go and play with the other dragons. And I'm using a macrame board. Um, what I've got is I've got three cores, and no, they won't all go through the Olmec uh, rounds, but we'll come to that towards the end. So I've got three cores, which are probably about six inches longer than you want your necklace to be. So you can make this, that's quite a short necklace, um about 16 17 inches so sit quite high if you want it longer line then obviously you make these longer and then add on about three inches at the end so we'll get going we've got our three lengths and then about a meter and a half two separate cords about a meter and a half um these are going to be how we do the main section so we're going to be doing um a bit more unusual, we're going to be doing a square knot, but then also we're going to be doing lark's head knots. So we're going to start off, to join these together, we're going to do square knots, which is, um, we're going to create our figure four, and then we're going to go up underneath the uh, core wires and pull through, or the lazy strands, whichever you want to call them. 
okay then we're going to do it the other side in the reverse feed your cord through underneath them all and pull and that's just a square knot to get your cords in the right place <coughs> we're then going to do a lark's head now traditionally a lark's head would be done at the top people are very used to doing them to to hang on to pendants and everything so these are vertical larks heads so we're going to do first we do one loop so we're going to create that four again and we're going to feed it underneath as we did before this is um very easy pull it up and you want to just pull it up to the top and then repeat so that's your larks head knot go slide that one up that's your last head knot I'm going to secure that underneath just to keep a little bit of tension on it this is beautiful cord it's um, a very nice soft cord so whereas some of the the um, your eslons and things are a little bit grippier this is a little bit more silky but it will lie beautifully soft on your neck so it gives you a really soft finish but it does make it that little bit more sleepy so we're going to do our reverse lark's head. So again, we're going to create that reverse number four. Go underneath your uh, cores and pull it up. So we've jumped from um, the top over the, the traditional, the standard lark's head, and we're going below it. And we create the second part, pulling it through. And pull it up. So there's our two lark's head knots. Now we're going to go all the way down to where you want. So I've sort of put a few marks. You can do it on the other side and um, where you want to go. So I'm just going to do that again. So your standard lark's head is cross it over, go underneath, pull through. Now what you can do if you want to give it a little bit of difference is you can leave a little bit of a loop. This will create a little bit of a frill effect um, and it just gives you a slight difference when you're doing it. So I'm going to put my finger on there just to secure it and then pull up. You can see you get this little bit of a loop and then, but you've got the, the trick is then being consistent with it. So again, on the other side, pull through and up and try and get them consistent and there's not an easy way to do this to keep my fingers out of the way I'm sorry pop that underneath swap my fingers over and pull it up so you can see you're just getting a little bit of a loop on each you can make that bigger you could put seed beads on it um, you could do all sorts of different things so you keep going all the way down till you've got enough now when you've got to the bottom to the length you require I'm going to pop a couple of square a square knot on the end so that's make out four with both sides pull it through and switch it over and do it on the other side with the reverse four but now you're using both of the cords that you used for your your lark's head so pull that through <coughs> and pull it up if it's got too big a loop there like i say this is a lovely silky cord just open up that little bit and pull it through okay once you've done that take your core cords take the middle one out and leave that firmly attached so we're going to re-secure that at the bottom and then I'm going to take the other two and also do whoops a square knot if I can unravel it there we go sorry for jumping all over So I'm just going to take the other two sides, keep that taut, pop this underneath and 
pull and the same in reverse underneath and pull slide those both up keep them secure push them up now I would glue that and trim them but not cut them really close until you're sure your glue is set, settled, settled excuse me <coughs> sorry once you've then threaded on your um, beads um, I'll show you with one we'll just do a quick knot um, and then you can do in reverse the same the other side so I'm going to just thread on one bead just to give you the idea this will not go right because I'm filming this oh look at that first time spot on then we're going to pop a knot in slide it down all the way to the bead and pull there we've got our first knot slide all your other beads on and then when you've got your last bead having popped your pendant in the middle I can never find the holes of these things there we go two for two right so you've got your knot your last one you're then going to come along with your next pieces <coughs> of cord and you're going to take one cord for each side and also you want one cord for the center so your central cord needs to be long enough to go all the way down to match the the um, other core because that's going to go back to your three cores which just gives it a bit of a flatter surface and again you're going to do a square knot to start off with you don't have to do it at the top because you can slide it up so pop your square knot in you might find because this is um, a silky cord <coughs> what you might find easier to do is to just dab a bit of nail varnish or glue, just a tiny bit, just <coughs> <coughs> just to secure that in place so that you now have your three cores again. Then you're going to start with your two cords For your lark's head doing a square knot over all three <coughs> and then continuing down as before when you get to the far end finish as you did up there leaving one cord which you're going to knot to um, a jump ring or onto your clasp and there you have your finished necklace Look at how beautiful that necklace was. Amazing. Alison, I know you're watching right now. Bless your heart. Do get well soon. Absolutely beautiful. If you're lucky enough to uh, be one of the fortunate who've sorted that, uh, have confirmed on that kit, there is still a few, but not many. Um, I think we're down to the final, the final, what, six? Is there six of them left or something? One. Oh, sorry, beg your pardon. There's one of those kits left now. So um, Alexis, Karen, Meath, Maker, Marion, Margaret. No, Margaret, I'm fairly sure you got yours. Rita, I've just seen you on the phone lines. You can get that last one if you if you press your option one and speak to our call centre. Susan in Essex, Sarah in Buckinghamshire. So good luck good luck everybody because there's one of those kits left um now we have a strand of six mils because there was a parcel in that kit but if you wanted to create something a little bit longer line um we're going to do an extra special deal which which are and do you know what this 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this will be perfect if you want it to complement the kit as well because it has got that presence um, of yellow within as well. Um, now, there are only 12 of these available, so I'll make jade eye, uh, all, all jade out to be truthful, whether it be Kotan, whether it be uh, British Columbia, whether it be Burmese, whether it be Guatemalan. It will all be very, very, very limited in its quantity, now more so than, uh, than ever. Look at the quality of this strand. Oh, my goodness me. Um, um, the luster, oh, like I said, it, uh, top quality jade should look physically wet. It should have that amazing surface luster. That indicates a fine crystal. It will give you the most beautiful translucency as well. There's a limited quantity of these. Again, a lovely, we're going to give you a, a, an extra special deal um, if you wanted to add this to your kit. Um, again, big saving, £129. It's a full 38 centimetre strand. If you don't want to add it to your kit and you're thinking, oh, that's like, uh, you know, I'm taking inspiration from um, the Ridinger's website and just to create that really lovely knotted necklace, um, you've got enough to actually do that also. Straight away, we've got collectors with it in their baskets and on the phone lines. Good morning, everybody. Hello to you, Valerie. Hello to you, Maker, Janice and Swansea. Um, make your confirmations because remember, we only have 13. And straight away we're down to the final four. Multi buyers getting involved on this as well. Hiya, Kim in Bristol. Nice to see you also. Your classic six millimeter rounds. You know, it, it is, and I know we say it repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again. It is our go to size, really, because you can wear it around the neckline, you can wear it on the wrist. It's, you know, it's not too heavy a carry, uh, carrot weight to wear within the ear as well. But always, as is Jadeite, extremely uh, limited. I've got one more. Um, this is a shorter strand, um, lovely colour on this one. This is, for those of you that want the exclusive, look at that, that beautiful internationally recognised, um, internationally recognised teal blue that only comes from this one location. This is textbook Guatemalan jadeite blue. You know, if you were to look within the publications, if you were to look in the Smithsonian Museum, if you were to look, and I'm going to say it, come on, it's better, it's better than that necklace that I showed you a few moments ago, you know, which had, which has quite a coarse crystal, you know, um, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, but it hasn't got the best colour, um, particularly the, 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 the beads around about the middle of that necklace, you can see the actual texture, can't you? So the quality of this strand is textbook, absolute textbook. I tell you what we're going to do. Some of the finest Olmec jadeite that we've ever seen, we're all saying. I agree. I totally, totally agree with that. In 60 seconds, we're going to introduce your amazing price point. Who wants premium grade? You know, you know, like you put your quad A to your tanzanite, you put, you know, the, 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 the four C's to your diamonds. This is premium grade Olmec blue jadeite, and it is totally and utterly natural. We're going to take this under £100 for you today which is absolutely astonishing when we're talking about, quite literally, one of the world's rarest gemstones. It's in the top 10 rarest gemstones. And I would imagine if you were to sort of be more specific about its rarity and location, I got it's going to be right up there, right up there in terms of desirability and rarity. In 16 seconds, going to a double figure price tag. This is the these are the gemstones that you know we should um, expect to see in the likes of your Sotheby's, your Bonhams, your Christie's, all of those big auction houses. Um, we are very fortunate and, uh, here at Jewelry Maker, and I am talking sort of collectively, obviously, to be able to source this gemstone because most of your even your prestigious jewelry houses don't get the opportunity to source all make jade out do they want to absolutely Aspreys of london uh, it's, it's all about jade at the moment but they, even they, might not get the opportunities with your Olmec. £99, or check out that split payment, £24.75. Not only are we all saying that this is quite possibly one of the best grades of Olmec jade, um, yeah, the best quality, because of, of the translucency, because of that Olmec blue, if you compare it to that Rainforest necklace, you can absolutely see that. Um, to be at a double-figure price tag is just amazing, isn't it? Lanarkshire, you've got yours. Tanya, you've got yours. I've got Cumbria there and I've got an anonymous maker I've got less than 20 of these so it is it, it is limited and it is always going to be limited Swansea I can see you there um, another Nottingham mature collector on the web as well uh, you know yes it's shorter but what we're talking about here is a better grade 
you know, if we were to buy, well done for multi-buying on this, Tanya. Um, if, 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 if we were to go and say, look, I want the best po possible diamonds, most of us, myself absolutely included in this conversation, would have to sort of downsize the carrot weight to actually source that premium grade. Um, you are getting, like I said, we're very lucky to experience this gemstone in this very short window that Jadeite, Olmec Jadeite is going to be. And yes, it's operational. It's not like the Burmese mine where it's actually ceased operation, um, but we're still producing producing this is the only place in the world that brings you that blue so we should expect to have to invest in it all the more heather i can see you in hertfordshire swansea you've just got yours on the phone line as well um congratulations to you i've got another telephone call i can't see your name as of yet but good luck to you i'm going to bring you another just a couple of olmec jadi but can i also just point out that we're at 10 o'clock and your deal of the day is on pre-order so um we very rarely ever put your deal of the day on pre-order um because we're quite cautious of the fact that they will sell out. However, we have got a big quantity of these. Um, these are your described, they're described as bullet class, but they're actually a box class. Does that make sense? You've got the kind of lever mechanism um, in that really beautiful torpedo shape, but they're multi-strandable. Does that make sense? So you can actually put multi strands of your gemstones on there as well, which is, we don't often do those. And when we do, they're very popular. Shop ahead and pre-order on those. Um, okay. Six and a half millimeters coming up next. Oh, I like this strand. Um, is, is smoldering down there? Smoldering down. We've still got to do your face to camera, by the way. Um, can I have a tall bust? Because I'm looking at this. Oh, my goodness, the color is unbelievable. Have you... Look at... Sorry, let me just get the white background behind it. Look at that blue. Even from what, two, two and a half meters? Plus, it's 70 centimeters. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Dan's just handed in one of our larger busts. I can only speak personally. For me, that would just be knotted. And the same technique that Alison has just shown. Look at how beautiful. Oh, my word. We rarely ever see, firstly, six and a half millimetres. Look how perfectly co uh, colour match they are. Wonderfully uniform strand. Again, fine texture, beautiful translucency, that amazing rare colour that is your Olmec blue. Have we got quantity of these? Oh, I thought you were going to say that as a quantity then. I was going, what? 20. OK, that's more than I thought you were going to say. So imagine one of your master carvings on the bottom there, or if that doesn't float your boat, just imagine them knotted. This, this could be, at that length, it could literally be something that you put over the top of your head. You don't even need a clasp with this. Um, again, it, it, it puts the rainforest necklace, it's in the shadows, isn't it? The quality of this, you can't see any coarse textures. You might like the textures. You know, we celebrate it in many gemstones, don't we? Um, it's all down to what you know, what what you find most beautiful. But in gemologically, the more sought after is this beautiful fine texture where it doesn't look coarse, it doesn't look opaque, where it almost looks like a liquid. They are certified completely and utterly natural. 285 carats on this in these six millimeter six and a half sorry uh, millimeter sizes imagine this was like a pink silk running through it how pretty would that be or a red i mean that's not unrealistic outside of our jewelry maker bubble and we always call it the bubble because it's this wonderful little world that we all live in here at jewelry maker which is just so different from what most high-end jewelers uh, uh sort of operate in you know we bring you those high-end gemstones but we bring it in in our jewelry maker bubble deals don't we as long as we never lose sight of that 1,999 pounds is not unrealistic. It's not. We've shown you locations where the jadeite has been more um, obtainable, you know, where more abundant, more accessible, at, at more than what's on your screens right now. This was lost for 450 years. The lost treasure of Guatemala. The story behind it is absolutely beautiful. And it certainly is one of the most distinctive. So even here, I don't think it's unrealistic. Is it considered? Yes, of course, but it's not where we're stopping. Don't you worry. 
There are 20 available. It's one of the longest strands we do in Olmec. And we're going to take it to the best possible price point. Look at that uniformity of colour. Do you notice how they're perfectly, perfectly colour matched from end to end? Wow, that's considerably lower than I was expecting it to be. I, I thought this, I've never brought this to air before. I thought this strand was going to be something like four nine uh, four nine nine maybe five nine nine three hundred and ninety nine pounds you can get it home on your naught percent interest um for ninety nine pounds and seventy five pence yeah that color is absolutely beautiful but for me what's exciting about this strand is the fact that they are so uniformed they are so beautifully color matched you know that's a kind of uh, it's, it's in addition to the five virtues of your pearls, if you like, is uniformity. You know, it's one of the things that you grade on a, um, on a stranded necklace. That's what's re really floating my boat about this one, is they're so beautifully uniformed in their wonderful Olmec blue. I've got three of you there, I can see. Some of you multi-buying. I have got traders shopping. I don't blame you at all. They get the same opportunities as we do. Um, like I said, you might use these sparingly. You might use them in between other gemstones, or you might go all out and commission that amazing over the head knotted style necklace we cannot go any lower than what's on your screens this is one of the best strands that we've ever sourced and we've said that um, internally um, hello to you Margot saying that strand of Olmec blue is jaw-droppingly stunning absolutely Margot I love it get better soon Alison yeah lots and lots and lots of love for our Alison um, I didn't realize John was poorly too so get get well soon both bless you um, an amazing demonstration. Loved it. And we could literally just sit back and enjoy, couldn't we? Sit back and enjoy that demo. So maybe um, you wanted to use this as an alternative or as an addition um, to, uh, to Alison's demonstration. Maybe you're thinking, I'm just going to knot that. I'm not going to put any precious metal additions or um, I'm just going to knot it and it's going to be that over the, top, uh, over the top neckline piece. The quality is absolutely unbelievable. Can I just show you? I'm going to put this down to the desk for one second just to just just to so you consider and fully appreciate look at that blue um how unbelievable that price point is i'm going to get that other strand back okay is that the one you said sorry yeah no because that's what we normally do isn't it so look this is our normal length so let's get that that's the strand we've just played straight away you can see the difference in the size can't you yeah just to highlight just how much you're getting. Obviously, I know it's a higher price point, but you're getting what? I can't double that, but it's probably going to come, yeah, about three and a half times that more. More. And these are actually larger as well. These are six and a half millimetres, as a, so half a millimetre more. So you are... Most jewellery collectors won't own one of those, but you're getting a full 70 centimetres. How unbelievable. How unbelievable is that? Thank you, Margot, for messaging in. And, and if you disagree with myself or Margot or any of the lovely... I assume if, you're, if you've made your confirmations, you're not disagreeing, obviously. But look at that uniformity of blue. Um, like I said, we're very lucky. We're blessed, aren't we, to be able to see this gemstone in real, in real life. But to have that distinctive, idyllic textbook blue with that fine texture in a full 70 centimetres is amazing. Now, I've got four left, so good luck, Sharon, Alexis, Maker, Karen, Lanarkshire, and another anonymous collector who wants three. Look at the quantity, so I would recommend checking out sooner rather than later. There's only three remaining within the vault. Um, sorry, two, two, two. So I'll leave that with you. Congratulations. Now, we have got some others. They'll all be limited. We'll never have a massive quantity. These are... Without doubt, the biggest old make jades I've ever seen in, in rounds. I didn't know we, did, we, we had old make in 10 mils. Let me just confirm. Con con I've never brought these to air, have I? What? Apparently I have. I don't, I, I don't remember that at all. How, oh my goodness me, they're stunning. Oh my goodness me. 10 millimeters in their size. So hang on, imagine I de-stranded this and I took, I don't know, I'm gonna close my eyes and just point. Does this one here, 
Is it perfectly colour matched to this one? Does this one here match this one here? They are perfectly colour matched and they're 10 mil. Whether it be Guatemalan, whether it be Burmese, what, whatever the location, jade is still carved into those slices. That's why the larger rounds are so much rarer to get hold of because they're carved into slices. Rounds are wasteful because you're effectively cutting so much of it away. The slices tend to be 12 mil in, in, in terms of their thickness. That's why you rarely see your eight, nine, 10 and above. What did we take it to then, Russ? Let's take a thousand pounds off, he says. And it is still nowhere near. Really? Apparently I launched this strand. I'm so sorry, I've got. How many have we got then? 14. 10, it's, it's the only 10 mil strand then that I've seen. It's the only 10 mil strand that I've got on my tea bar. Look at that colour though. It's insane. It's at, not just colour. Novices talk about colour. We also talk about the, tre, you know, the, the translucency, you know, how fine that texture is. Look at the quality. This is absolutely off the chart, isn't it? £499. If I, I get, you know, this is a bit of an indulgence. However, can you imagine this alongside those seven, that 70 centimetre strand? Can you imagine that long line necklace, how beautiful that's going to be? And I know it's an indulgence, but my goodness me, what an amazing legacy piece of jewellery that would become. In eight seconds, we are, I can't remember what we took it to. Apparently it was me that launched it. Gosh. Something as beautiful as this. We never see 10 mils. You've seen the price before me. Oh, I didn't do that, did I? So, oh, it was the show that, look, we can't, no, I'm, I, I'll, I'll say it, but we're not passing blame here. Um, one of our managers from, from Sewing Street came and we, we launched, I was there, I was there, I'm not throwing her under the bus here, I was there. Um, <laughs> it was Hayley and I that launched this, the guy's like, no, do it, do it. No, because I was part of that as well. What, what on earth? £199 for 10 millimetre rounds. How unbelievable. Look at the split payment. Look at the split payment. For the, is this the only 10, 10 mil strand that we have in Olmec J-Dye? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. And there's zero on order, by the way, in speaking to our gem buyers. Tanya, well done. Judith Lanarkshire, Karen Ann Maker. How beautiful. Can I, can I, look, I'm no guest designer. I haven't got the talents that you guys do um, or our lovely uh, designers here at Jewelry Maker. But this is what I'm visualising. Um, what do we take the, se what, the 70 centimetre strand to? 399. So wait a second. And I know it's a considerable amount of money, but if you break it down into your split payment, can you imagine that knotted in a beautiful necklace with just some little pops of colour in the silk maybe or you might put some precious metal in there as well oh oh yeah there's the big tassels that Hannah was demonstrating on Friday how beautiful would that be but with precious metal for me, all, something of this grade needs to be, I always gravitate to gold. I would go with gold and I know it's more expensive and you probably have to source it from somewhere else, but it's worthy of it. Do you agree? Do you agree? So you could make this piece of jewellery for what is that, 600 pounds? 600 pounds. How beautiful is that strand? Multi buyers getting involved. Absolutely unbelievable quality. I'm going to leave that with you because again, there's loads of you there. Um, okay, let's... Oh. This has to be from the same parcel. Yeah, I thought so. You can see because um, if I was, you know, or well, we just did, we laid, the, we laid them out alongside one another and you can see that beautiful quality, can't you? Um, this strand, they're eight millimetres. Ah, oh, oh my goodness me. 
It doesn't get it any, any better than this parcel of Olmec J, does it? Um, I don't know the acquisition. I don't, I, I sometimes I'm, I'm lucky enough to hear the sort of backstory, if you like, of some of the gem buying, but um, this parcel, whoever was responsible for it, whether it have been Wayne, whether it have been Dave, I don't know, whether it have been maybe uh, Jake Thompson, I'm not sure, but whoever it was needs to give themselves a giant pat on the back. Don't you agree? Because look at that quality. It's that wonderful, deep, distinct teal blue. That is one of the rarest colors on this planet. Not just one of the rarest colors in your gemstones, which is fact, by the way. Um, granted, your right's got this color. Indicolite's maybe a bit tealy, but uh, different in its translucency. But also think of flowers. Think about the animal kingdom. Very few things exist on this planet with this natural colour, and I am talking about natural. In three seconds, how many do we have, Roscoe? There's less than 20 available. Oh, even our graphics was hesitant then, weren't they? £37.25. We should... This is a gemstone most of us would, I, I don't know... Like things like your diamond tennis uh, t tennis bracelet or a pair of diamond earrings, you know, these are pieces of jewellery that maybe we dream of owning. You know, Guatemalan jadeite is a gemstone that we dream of owning. You know, your collectors and your connoisseurs, uh, and Ross said this in my ear a few moments ago, most, most of us could only long to own such treasures. The rarity of this gemstone. It was quite literally lost for 450 years. Remember, the ancient Mayan peoples regarded this gemstone with higher um, regard than any other precious material, any other gemstone um, on this planet. And, you know, with jade fever, that is a global thing that's going on right now. Now, you know, the West has massively opened, opened their eyes and, uh, and we're celebrating the beauty of this joyous gemstone. It is an investment, though, isn't it? It's one of those stones that normally, gemstones that most of us couldn't afford. And I am talking personally as well. 149, though, is, is, is accessible, especially if you're using your 0% interest payments as well. And by the way, that's not, and this is something that, 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 that one of my friends actually asked me. She tuned into Jewel Maker. She shops with us from time to time. And she was like, but I've got to pay. She never used split payment before. She said, so I've got to pay the four split payments before I get the strander, right? And I was like, no, you get it. You get, you get it. You can work with it. Um, so you'll have that within however long it is, a week or whatever it is, £37.25. And then the next month you pay the same again until it's all paid. How fabulous is that? You're talking about ultra rare gemstones. We are over allocated. Good luck, Jane, on the phone lines. I can see you there. Sarah, Karen, Lancashire, Alexis, Maker and Elaine. Again, there's people with multiples in their baskets this is the only eight mil strand that i actually have to bring you and there's only four remaining we're over allocated julie you can still do it though i can see julie's just joined us on the website um if you check out nice and early Every item still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. But, yeah, unfortunately, some of you will be unsuccessful now. So good luck. Good luck. Melanie in Scottish Borders, I can see you there. Stella in Devon, I can see you there. Um, unbelievable, aren't they? This parcel is just, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's the best grade I've seen. I need to find... We need to ask the question about this parcel, because whoever did... It's unbelievable. Same parcel in the six and a half millimetres. Uh, this one. Here we go. Same parcel. You can see that quality. Wow. Oh. Can you imagine that with some pearls? Imagine that with some Macoya. Like, you know, you can get different colours of Akoyas. You can get the golden colours. You can get the sort of more steely, like with a bluish overtone. Imagine this with an Akoya. Or, or, I don't know, some of your um, Tahitian pills. I know I'm talking about luxury high-end here, but that's what these justify. What's that price point? Sorry, Ross, I know you said in my ear, we're going straight to it, but £129. £129. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Goodness me, from that same parcel. Congratulations. Um, okay, we are going to bring you one of the few Guatemalan jadeite carvings. Um, bit of a heads up, though. All your sterling silver deals coming up at, at 11 o'clock. We're launching those amazing earrings. We're launching this beautiful bracelet. Let's show you that. Um, 
you'll be able to make comparisons if you like to different silver um, uh, trade or jewelers like you know Tiffany's and Co or Masoma or something like that. Um, but it won't be anywhere near the price point that we're going to be launching this today. You can shop ahead and pre-order on each of those. They're coming up. Your dealer day is coming up. Granted, we're a little bit late, but it's all good. Um, it's on available on pre-order. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, if you click watch live and scroll down, you'll see the latest deals. So you can get the gold plated, the rose gold plated and the 925. They're all precious metal, obviously. Um, if you shop ahead, don't worry. You're not going to be paying the £161.99 that's on the website. Everybody will get their deal of the de day. Deal of the day. Uh, deal, of the day. <laughs> deal of the day price point and saving. Right, one of the few Guatemalan jadeite carvings that we have. This one is beautiful bamboo. I love it. Absolutely love it. You can see you've got your bamboo canes coming up the side. You've got that wonderful landscape behind. Can you see the birds in flight in the center there as well? Floral. Um, we're going to do a one-time deal, says Ross. Please, okay, please know this is a one-off opportunity because I need to buy this, don't I? With my little and my little one's called Willow. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Do you know the uh, the Willow tree is symbolic of being able to adapt to situations, you know, because it bends, doesn't it, and sways. So beautiful. But then you have those birds as well. Birds are, um, in Chinese culture, symbolic of, uh, of love, in particular, young love. You've got your beautiful mountain terrain that you can see in the distance. We are going to do a one-time deal. If you see this piece in the future, which I doubt you will, how many have we got? 16, okay, yeah, probably not then. Um, it's not going to be at the price that you're about to see. A beautiful hand carved one of the most expensive canvases that any artist could work on though the techniques are the same techniques that they used thousands upon thousands of years ago literally carving in abrasive manner polish polishing with wet bamboo what is on your screens is not your price point imagine this suspended from that beautiful 70 centimeter strand or one of the shorter strands as well this is a break from the norm. It is not usual. Uh, listen, I don't know why we're doing it. It's just we've had, we've had approval. Your deal of the day is around the corner, but right now for this absolutely beautiful master carving in one of the rarest gemstones that exists, we've half that price for you, double figures. You can get it home for 49 pounds and 50 pence. I love the fact that this is that little bit smaller, so it's not too intrusive in terms of its wear. You've got all the meaning, willow itself. You've got the meaning of the willow plant. You've got these lovely, can you see all that lovely foliage? You've got the two birds, like I said earlier on, which is symbolic of, uh, of love. Love, in particular young love and then you have that wonderful mountain terrain in the reverse if you get your light source behind this and you don't need to use a physical torch you'll notice it when you've got it in your hand and you hold it up to um, hold it up to the light you'll see that beautiful translucency as well these are flying out the door um, I could probably count on on my digits how many Olmec jadeite carvings we've got in our vault um, they are very 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 limited multi buyers well done Alison well done to Elaine Linda London Marish Marishka um, Cumbria, Elizabeth, Kim, Sue um, and Susan. Now we are about to dive into a little break. We have got some last of stock and we do mean ones and twos um, of your Olmec Jadeite. What we're going to do is load them onto the website um, so you can actually shop ahead. If there's anything that you do want us to bring to air, then met, drop us a message um, and we can do that. But the price on the web is the price that they're going to be. So we're going to already, you know, uh, take them to your live show deals. After the break, you've got your amazing deal of the day. They are available on pre-order right now. So that's your bullet class that are launching today. And we've got them in the three different colors. Just to give you a heads up, the yellow gold and the rose gold are more limited. Um, we've got a big quantity of the silver. Um, they're not just, they're described as bullet class and I get that that's referring to the shape but they're also a box class because you've kind of got that um, almost uh, um, wedge like mechanism and also you've got the multi rows opportunity so shop ahead on those loads of sterling silver components still to bring you um, the old neck bangle we've just loaded to the website if you've always wanted to own there's about two I think available within the vault um, don't go anywhere join me after this
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up. This Sunday, we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I'm laughing because we're all talking about Sunday dinner. Um, Adam's like, what, what, what are you cooking now? Because he knows I, I do a roast dinner most Sundays. And I was like, oh, nothing, I'm going down to Wales. Um, and it's, uh, my husband doesn't, he's not really that taken by Sunday roast. I was like, what, what? So talking about lovely, how delicious your Sunday roast is. Um, what are you having for dinner? So it's not for everyone, is it? For me, it's the best meal, favorite meal. Anyway, anyway. Oh, um, goodness me, how amazing were those Olmec Jadeite opportunities. Now, let's bring you the luxury to complete. Whether you choose a clasp, um, you know, there's different varieties, aren't there? And I said it earlier on in the show, and that wasn't an intentional statement, but whenever I choose jewellery, when I look at jewellery, obviously the design's going to be what attracts me to it. But then the first thing that I, I personally will look at is the composition then you know i'll look at um you know maybe the loops that are connecting it the clasp that it's completed with and the reason for that is because if i know that there is a quality clasp on there then i know it's a quality piece of jewelry ultimately and i know i'm stating uh, stating facts that you've already considered you know this as well and i'm not teaching you how to suck eggs but um a clasp is imperative, really. A quality clasp is imperative because you spend, as, as the creators and the artists that you all are, you spend time, you spend your, your, your commitment, your dedication, your passion creating these pieces of jewellery. To then cut corners, I think, on a clasp would be a real shame because... Um, that's why I've, you know, for example, you've heard me on my soapbox talking about some of the pearls that we bring. I'm like, like this should go on, and it, it should go on a gold clasp. And the reason why I think it should go on a gold clasp is sometimes I think even your silver might, well, I don't know, maybe devalue that that strand ever so slightly. Um, but 
So when we're looking for luxury class, what are the options? You can get a toggle, you can get a bolt ring, you can get a lobster claw, you can get magnetic. Historically though, the most luxurious is the box clasp. We've referenced it lots of times previously, you know, when quite jokingly actually, we always break into song. If you go, if you watch Antiques Roadshow, when they're talking about your, the, the, you know, the vintage or antique pieces of jewelry that they might have on, 99% of the time, they've probably got a box clasp. This is actually one of the more difficult clasps to make because there's a whole engineering behind it. I'm not an engineer, but you've got to have the perfect tension. And let me show you that in this one here. Um, you have to have the perfect tension in the box itself, which is probably, it doesn't really describe how, how it works, but this is the box mechanism. So do you see that little catch there? It's easier to get hold of, by the way, when it's in a complete finished piece of jewelry. So if I just press it down and not pull it out just yet, can you see there's like a little wedge, almost like a doorstop? That is what holds it into place. If I show you down into this kind of torpedo-like shape, you literally push it in, it should have a good, strong click. Here we are. There we go. And then you have secured that beautiful clasp again. It is amazing craftsmanship, but they look beautiful, don't they? Really beautiful. You've got that lovely linear shape. Um, they are going to add the value, uh, add value to your designs. But, and when I was speaking to, um, to our buying team, ahead of this weekend shows. Um, they were saying, El, it, the, our, one of our sterling silver buyers actually said, I don't think we've ever done box class like this with the multi attachments. And I, I don't know if that's true, but we very rarely get them. We very, very, very rarely get them. Normally they tend to be um, with a lobster claw, don't they? Well, you've got that kind of bar and then you've got the multiple attachments just there as well. All of this is precious metal. Everything that you see in this clasp is precious metal from the jump rings to the jump rings attached to that kind of uh, that torpedo like shape, even down to let's open it again, that mechanism. It's all precious gold plated 925 sterling silver. And you know that with something like this, in a multi-row, it's difficult because they can twist, they can tangle. If you were to put it on um, a, a box clasp, for example, no, sorry, if you were to put this on a lobster claw clasp, for example, it can roll, can't it, on the back of your neck and it's not necessarily going to hold them in place. Not necessarily. Whereas this will position them. It's going to space the, the lengths of necklace. So I'm saying necklace, it could be bracelet as well, of course. Um, it's going to help you with your positioning. Now be warned, much like your early bird where we brought you the essential extender chains, when our deal of the day or star buy or whatever, whenever we bring you something like this, because they are so desirable and essential, you know, you've got beautiful gemstones within your stash, you've got the inspiration in your mind, but you need the luxury components to complete them. These will fly. There are 50. I'm going to start with the gold plated 925 sterling silver. There are 50 of the gold, 50 of the rose, and then we've got a bigger quantity of the silver. You don't just get one. You get four in total. And even with saying that, people will multi-buy because it's the kind of class that you want to have in your stash. Straight away, can I tell you a stock update? Almost half has gone on pre-order. Good luck. Well done. This beautiful design. That is the bullet class. It's like a torpedo-like shape. It's really beautiful. Um, what people have been shopping ahead and pre-ordering that, don't worry, they're not paying this. Everybody pays the final low. But just to get us started somewhere is £161.99. Last night, you know, that's why half the quantity has already flown out. Last night, and... and, and uh, I was like, no, I don't, I don't think I need to show the price comparisons. I think I, our audience know how amazing this deal is going to be. But yeah, I was looking elsewhere and they, yeah, for four of your bullet class with the multi-strand, firstly, it was difficult to find anything like that. And when I did, they weren't anywhere near what your deal of the day price is. 
Um, there is only 50. So for those of you that have already shopped ahead, I gravitate towards the gold color. I gravitate towards this. It's all down to personal preference. We're talking 20 pounds per beautiful bullet clasp. Remember that absolutely every single minute millimeter of these class is precious 925. There's no additional springs. There's no additional stainless steel mechanisms. It's all precious metals. At 79.99, we're so close to selling out already. Remember, you can shop ahead on the other colors, and I would encourage you doing that, uh, particularly in the silver. Are you happy at 20 pounds each? It's nowhere near. That's not where we're stopping. £39.99 only. That's £10 per beautiful class. Like I said, look, there's, there's always absolutely a place for your bolt rings, your toggle class, your trigger class, your, uh, let's think, which other, magnetic class, of course. But for me, this is the most luxurious. In this image, don't they look like little carriages? Can you see that? They look like little carriages. Race cars, you said earlier on. I love that. Absolutely love that. Um, beautiful. And it's one of the most luxurious class that we've ever offered because it is completely exclusively your precious metal. There are multi-buyers getting involved. Amazing. Lynn, you've got three. Maker in London, you've got four. Geraldine, Marion, Anne, Lynn, Rachel, Pauline, West Midlands, Catherine, Gabrielle, Sarah, Valerie, Buckinghamshire. Hello to you. Linda in Nottinghamshire, Natalie in Gloucestershire, Lynn, Abiola, Mora, Elaine. Congratulations. I've got 19 available, but time is ticking. You get all four. How about we break through uh, a, a, a huge milestone? How about we take each of these beautiful clasps under £10 each? You've got to remember, you know, these have been, I would imagine, probably handcrafted. I don't know. I, I don't know. But how do you do that machine-wise? You have to have the perfect tension in your box clasp. These are all precious metal. The gold, the silver, there's not any addition of any other um, metal whatsoever. It is one of the most luxurious. It's like a bullion bar, isn't it? Don't you think? Shop ahead on the rose, shop ahead on the sterling silver, because you know if we're bringing you an amazing deal on the gold plated, we're gonna do likewise with the other. Wow, that's eight pounds, eight pounds per beautiful, eight pounds 75, sorry, eight pounds 75 per, um, per class. Let me show you once again how it works. Um, so as you can see, I, I, I don't struggle opening this even without it being on a bracelet or a necklace, but if you just, Give enough tension, push down ever so slightly. Can you see it just slides out and then it springs back up. You can see the quality, you can see that craftsmanship. These are the class that you see in your uh, sort of more antique and vintage jewelry um, because of that level of security. I mean, I'm giving it, you can, I'm giving it, here, click it, a real pull. Hang on, I have to, you, it's not going anywhere. You have to physically press down to pull it apart. So really, really strong and secure down to the final five shop ahead on the other colors as well so you've got the rose gold you get four of those as well and the silver is available they come with the little jump rings so all you need to do is literally attach be directly onto it not or whichever it is the technique that you're doing don't forget you can shop ahead on that beautiful bracelet that we're launching there's only two of those left so i'll leave that there amazing well done diving into the rose gold Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you're a business, which I know so many of our audience are, um, people will have a preference, won't they? Um, and I seem, I recall, I, I'm, don't, don't hold me to this, but in my head anyway, I recall a moment, a pivotable moment really, when rose gold became as fashionable as it is today. I think it was around about 2014 and all of a sudden you started seeing this wonderful pinkish, warm, um, precious metal color that complements absolutely every single skin tone. People will favor one or the other, won't they? Many, many of us will wear all of them, of course, but rose gold is that one that um, I think both silver wearers 
or yellow gold wearers will actually gravitate towards. So pretty, exactly the same design. It's a presence of copper. They put a, a small amount of copper within the precious metal um, to, uh, to basically create that really beautiful blush like pink. Exactly the same. So you just press it down basically to, to, to release the tension on the box clasp. You can see that wonderful security. You can see the quality of the precious metal. Um, and then likewise, you need to press it down to sort of click it into place. But look at that amazing quality. Unfortunately, again, only 50 available in the rose gold. Half the stock has already gone. You know we're not stopping at 79.99. You know that. We've already dived into the first of the deal of the day. Dived, dove. It's better. Dived. Dove in. Which one is it anyway? Um, what's that? Sorry. Are they closed jump rings? Let's have a little look. Hang on. I might need to bring it closer to me though. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Yeah, they're closed. Closed jump rings. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. So what that basically means, really good question. Who texted in about that? Did someone text in about that? Alison, Alison in London. Yeah, they are closed jump rings. So I guess your beading threads and your silks aren't going to disappear, are they, down the um, down a, a, an open jump ring? So you can be directly onto it also. That's a really good point. You know, normally we'd actually have to buy the closed jump, jump ring separately, wouldn't we? So that's added expense. Taking it straight away down, matching that price point, £34.99. Nancy, Shaolene, hello to you, Catherine in Bristol, Tanya, Anne, Mary, Gabrielle, RuPaul, hello to you, Suzanne, Yimei, uh, Alison, Lynn, Morag, loads of multi-buyers getting involved. Um, we only have 50 of the rose gold. Only had 50 of the yellow gold. You can see the 925 stamp on the reverse. Um, one thing I haven't really spoken about enough, and I perhaps, well, let's do it now, um, is the fact that you actually have those multi-link opportunities. That is what, that is what um, our buying team were most excited about. Eh desk just moved um they were saying that you know it's it's we don't often get the multi-row ones they tend to be in those flat designs which are nice they are nice but they're not quite so hmm, seamless i guess do you get do you can see where i'm coming from you know the ones which got like a flat bar and then they've got jump ring jump ring jump ring jump ring all sold together they're lovely don't get me wrong but they're not quite as seamless as these, if that makes sense. And it does make a difference. I think class make all the difference. Um, OK, right, here we go. Oh, I hope our call centre are ready. Have we had the call saying they're ready for this? Because we're going we're gonna to bombard them. Um, OK, let's do the housekeeping first. How many have we got, Roscoe? 200. Had. We've actually got 125 right now because they're already flying on pre-order. OK. The silver colour is always the most popular colour because if you think about it, it goes with your platinums, your white golds and silver, of course. The clock is on your screen and we are counting down to when the graphics will appear. Precious 925 sterling silver, the most popular global colour is what's on your screens right now. And I understand it. It's the most lustrous of your precious metals. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful in its design. Dan, sorry, I think I've left the jewellery over there as well. I beg your pardon. Um, if you are looking for the perfect luxurious clasp, and it's something I've really sort of uh, focused on during this uh, deal of the day, the fact that you can get lots of different, you can get cheaper clasps. I'm going to say it, you can. You can get cheaper clasps, but they won't be this level of luxury, if that makes sense. You know, here's a piece of, a piece of jewellery, a bracelet that Anne and Sue have created. If I show you the front first, you can see how perfectly positioned those beautiful pearls are. You know, there's, they're not sort of gathered, they're not twisting in any way, shape or form. And that is because we've used, spin it round, this gorgeous clasp. Can you see? And uh, Alan Sue have beaded directly onto those, uh, those closed jump rings. Look at how beautiful that piece of jewellery is. Stunning. Classic, isn't it? Classic, 
high-end luxury jewelry. The graphics are live. Go, 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 go as fast as you possibly can. 200 might seem like a massive quantity. Again, remember, think, cast your mind back to when we brought you your, um, your early bird this morning, those extender chain stroke charms. You know, and 300 of them absolutely flew out the door. These are going to do exactly the same. 200, uh, sorry, 2.5 grams of precious sterling silver and everything, every single component is 925 sterling silver because there's no other additions. Um, in, t in speaking to the designers, I think it was Claire said, when you, when you start your smithing journey, if you go to university to do this, that's one of the first pieces that they actually learn. And it is one of the hardest pieces that you will actually learn um, to create. Because I'm going to take this bracelet off for a moment. You, it, 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 it's, it's physics, isn't it, as well? You've got to have the right tension. If you don't have that tension then it's not going to be secure. You're going to be able to slide it out. You need it to spring back like that door wedge. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the, look at the quality of this bracelet. It is engineering, absolutely, because you have to be able to, sorry, I've just realized my thumb was in the way. If I turn this way, you have to physically push down to get it into place. Look, and that's not going anywhere, is it? Not going anywhere. Look at the quality. You can see that beautiful quality. And by the way, because those closed jump rings are the size that they are, you could very easily put more strands. You're not restricted to just using two. You could put more than two if you wish. Um, the call screens are all red. Well, I've got three full rows of names, but um, it's making its way onto four now. Lots of multi-buyers getting involved on this as well. I wish we had more. 200 might seem like a big quantity. Actually, not. probably not. Probably not going to be enough still. Um, £34.99. That's making each and every single one of these beautiful bullet clasps. What did we work it out to be? £8.75 £8 per bullet clasp. Oh, I just think they're so linear. Think of all the designers as well, like uh, um, Charlie Barron bullet clasps. Aren't they? He always used bullet clasps, doesn't he? Your luxury piece, your luxury jewellery houses will go for this design. You know, um, there's, I was looking at some vintage jewellery the other day, uh, Art Deco pieces of jewellery, and they were using your box clasps. Um, they weren't necessarily the multi-row, but they were box class. And they've stood the test of time because they are as strong and secure as they are. Alison, well done. Maura, Lucy, Ayrshire, Jackie, Aberdeenshire, Natalie, Valerie, Teresa, Cathy, uh, Gloucester, Nicolette, Susan. Um, just a second. Half the stock has already gone. I'm just going to call the call, uh, move the call screens over here just a moment. And the reason I'm doing that is just to show you how busy we already are. Two full rows of names. You disappear off the bottom of the screens just down there. Um, and then you've got on the other side of the TV monitor, you've got people who are in the process of checking out. Listen, we're very quickly going to make it that TV screen completely jam-packed full. Well, it's already full because, like I said, you're on the bottom screen as well. Because this, in the sterling silver, they're, they're all silver, but the gold-plated and the rose gold-plated should be more because you've got precious metal on precious metal. We're going to take it lower because of the quantity. And I guess because we've actually got exclusively 925 sterling silver. 200, as I said earlier on, might seem like a big quantity. It really isn't. Because this is the, these are the class that I would reserve for the best quality gemstones, the finest pieces that you create. You know, the ones like, the, the, you know, the Cellini spirals of your sea beading, which spend hours, you spend hours upon hours upon hours of. You know, the, the Olmec jadeites maybe, your Burmese jadeites, your top grade pearls. This is what I would reserve exclusively for. This level, this level of luxury. As I said earlier on, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a bolt ring or a lobster claw, claw clasp or a trigger clasp or a toggle any of a mag I love magnetic clasp too there's nothing wrong with them but if you are looking for that level of luxury that level of security as well then it would always be my recommendation to get hold of the bullet clasp we have taken these two an absolutely amazing seven pounds fifty each you get four as 
I said, if you do commissions or you're making for your nearest and dearest and you're wanting to make them something extra special, maybe for their wedding day jewellery or, I don't know, a, um, a commemorative piece, I don't know, something really, really, really special. This is the kind of class that I would gravitate towards. Um, and clearly you all agree with me because the course screens have gone completely nuts. £7.50, well done everyone. Um, stock update, Roscoe? Six, 59, 59 of them have le uh, left. Look at those call screens, lots of multi-buyers as well. Um, we can't physically squeeze you all on the screen, you disappear off, basically. I imagine um, there's going to be people who got involved at the very beginning of this deal of the day um, who have actually added to their quantity, um, decided to multi-buy. It is one of those components that I would love to say would be part of our um, essentials collection moving forward. It's, uh, the reality is, and this is me guessing, I might be wrong, but it's probably unlikely because there's that much more um, um, technology, I sp not technology, sorry, engineering, craftsmanship that goes into, uh, into a bullet class to, um, to your more traditional toggles, for example. £7.50 each, and you've got two. Muriel, you've got three, amazing. Um, Elaine, Margaret, well done to you. Jackie in Essex, well done to you. Tracy in the Channel Isles. Irene, Maker in Essex. Cardiff, Suzanne, hello to you. Lucy, Ayrshire, Jackie. Uh, Aberdeenshire, Natalie, Valerie, Teresa, hello Cathy, lots of, uh, lots of multi-buyers getting involved as well. Congratulations every single one of you, £7.50 for this level of craftsmanship. This level of detail amazing 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 keep on dialing through i'll keep you updated on the quantities There's about 40 um remaining uh within the vault so good luck everybody okay we are about to launch i love this design it's so beautiful and like i said we bring you sterling we bring you essentials your more traditional shepherd hooks don't we but then we'll also bring you designs like this which never been on screen before they are brand new um, but there's only 70 available take a closer look because instead of just being your you know like this no no disrespect that's that's a traditional shepherd hook isn't it yeah where you've got that kind of flat sterling silver you might have little beads sometimes we have a wrap around it as well and you've got the loop at the bottom which is what you attach to so not only have these got a very designer inspired shepherd hook greater investment of sterling silver if i turn it sideways you can see um, means it's less likely to buckle or distort or bend you've also got that beautiful parve setting on the front there like mel like, like the finest quality melly diamonds but it's this part here which excites me it's almost like a lovely uh, a twisted knot isn't it like a ribbon that's a perfect description actually like a ribbon of precious metal and then like rhythmic gym gymnastics at the Olympics. Yeah, I can see that. And then can you see, if I turn this that way, can you see you've almost got that little button of sterling silver that has a peg inside. So if you have half drilled pearls, whether they be drops, whether they be buttons, I think drops would look lovely because that, that ribbon, especially with Adam's inspiration there, like the rhythmic uh, gymnastics, they create that spiral, don't they? That corkscrew. This would literally be wrapping itself around your beautiful pearls. These are ultra limited. All you need to do, and look, my six-year-old could do this, with a steady hand is put the tiniest dab of your jewelry making glue um, so maybe your sort of hypo cement or your E6000, you get hold of your half drill gemstone. I'm saying pearls, but you could choose any. Le uh, secure it, make sure, let gravity sort of hold it in place, leave it overnight, job done. You've just made yourself some absolutely stunning designs. I was going to, originally when I saw this, I was talking about Saturn, you know, Saturn's rings where you have that sort of orbitable um, beauty. But I love what Adam, director Adam has just said. It's, it is, when you see these rhythmic, rhythmic gymnastics and they create that beautiful kind of spiral effect, don't they, with the ribbon, that's what this is going to do. You're going to get that beautiful ribbon of sterling silver um, and parve brilliance wrapping itself around. Like I said, we'll bring you traditional shepherd hooks and your earrings designs always, but this is a different level of luxury. I love it. 
all that sterling silver with your melee um, parve luster in the cubic zirconia you get the pair obviously there is a greater investment of sterling silver into this pair um, than your more traditional shepherd hooks who wants these under 20 pounds i'm trying to remember roscoe what we're taking this to oh yes as i haven't decided yet are you going to be spontaneous That's a great deal at 19.99. It's a great price point. But Ross says, I think I can do a bit more. Okay, if, if, there's got to be enough people though. This is how shopping TV works. We'll have a quantity, and in an ideal world, Utopia, if you like, will bring something to air and maybe it sells out on that one auction. Fantastic. Everybody's happy. You know, we've spent a, a period of time on one product and we haven't got to repeat it, so more, more broadcasting time. Okay. That it doesn't happen all the time, obviously. But there's a way that we can maybe influence that. We have 70 of these. If we can see that you like this product, and the way you show us is literally on the, on the, on the TV screens, on the monitor. Um, if you pick up your phone, if you put it in your basket, if we can see that you like it, then we can take it that little bit lower, and then it is looking more likely to be a one-show wonder. So if you love this, there are 70 available opportunities, and we will take it lower if it is looking like it could be a seller or as close to. Is there enough people there yet? Is there? Okay. Uh, Ross, you did actually say, L, there's enough people there now, to be honest. We are going even lower. Lynn, Charmaine, Janice, why don't you? Meath, Mary, why don't you? Midlothian, Gwendolyn, Irene, Valerie, why don't you? Cardiff, Helen, Vanessa. Wow, that's a big price reduction. I'm feeling La Peregrina drop pearls. What do you think? Text in. What do you think? What would you go for? I think the drops, or maybe button pearls would work as well, because then they kind of tilt themselves forward, wouldn't they? Beautiful. So many of you there this morning. It's lovely to have your company. If you're tuning in thinking, where's our Alison? Sadly, Alison's a bit poorly. She's a little bit under the weather, but we are still sharing her demonstrations. We did so in the nine o'clock hour, and we will do so as well in the, um, in the masterclass. Her jewellery has literally blown me away today. Um, so make sure you're with us for the masterclass. I'll bring you the kits, and then we'll dive into that really record a demonstration um, and I'd love to hear from you do pop me a message come and say hello tell us what you're up to um, are you loving these amazing deals yeah you're stuck with just little old me for the foreseeable but I promise we'll make you fun um, we might we might be able to get Alison on call for the masterclass technology playing ball, playing ball um, to introduce her demonstration. So that will be lovely, won't it? Won't it? We had 70 of these. I'll leave them with you. Congratulations. Um, okay. Oh, this bracelet is beautiful. Earlier on in the show, Ross, earlier on in the show, we had those, um, those jewellery houses, those designs that brought this. And it was... It, yeah, we were showing them kind of with the paper link, but there's different versions of your paper link, like there's different versions of your Figaro, etc. cetera. So um, this bracelet is an investment of sterling silver. And obviously with precious metal, the greater the gram weight, the more expensive it tends to be ordinarily. But you shop with jewelry maker, you know that's very different. This is a heavy weight, 925 sterling silver bracelet. And I wanna show you if I can, some of the other design houses that bring you versions of this. Have we got that? Yeah, let's flick through these. So Pandora, I know this is a necklace. I'm more showing you the link if you like. Yeah, 125 pounds, nice, it's nice. Can't really get an idea of perspective there though, can you? I don't know how heavy, that might be under magnification. Anyway, it's lovely. Next. Next, there we go, Misoma. Chunky, oh, they specify chunky twisted link necklace. Lovely, 310 pounds. Another one, 155 pounds, slightly more delicate link, beautiful. But, but again, the reason why I'm showing you these is the fact that not necessarily to price compare, we know that we're gonna bring you a better price tag than like some Miss Soma and Pandora and Gucci and, and, and Tiffany's and Co. You, we all know that, don't we? Um, but it's to show you how on trend this style is. They are absolutely everywhere. Is there any more? 
Gold, yeah, absolutely. Another one, very similar actually, this one. There was what, 295, that one's 95, lovely. Really, and that's very dainty, I know that bracelet. Very, very, very dainty. Um, but it's everywhere, isn't it? You could go to Tiffany's and Co and you'll see this kind of design. You could go to Gucci and see this kind of design. You could go to Thomas Sabo. Um, absolutely, Ashley Clark, they're all working with these kind of statement, uh, playing with the sort of the links as opposed to being sort of your standard, more traditional curb or belcher chain. The design is in the sterling silver. Now, this has never been on your screens before. It is a complete piece. As jewellery makers, I already know so many of you will be going, oh, L, I deconstruct that and I'd maybe use this, this, this and this. Or you might say, L, I could attach, I could open and close um, jump rings on there I could put further charms on there I might you might put resin in between those lovely links um, you might solder directly onto there which Claire demoed only yesterday how many do we have remind me 75 available opportunities for this weight for the gram weight five and a half grams with this level of precious metal this amount of precious metal I think that's a fantastic deal Fantastic. Even the more delicate, daintier bracelets that we saw earlier on were round about this price tag, much, much, much smaller. If you popped along, I had, um, I've got a, Tif uh, a Tiffany's & Co bracelet that, gosh, I'll say it, look, my ex gave me years and years and years ago. Never wear it for obvious reasons. <laughs> Never, ever, ever wear it. I've got, I've got you know, zero sentiment to it whatsoever. But uh, you, I think we all know it would have cost three figures, wouldn't it? A sterling silver Tiffany's & Co bracelet. It would have done. Um, but this, I can tell you, is, is probably heavier than the bracelet that I have at home. And I actually like the links more. Plus, it wasn't gifted from an ex. There's a win. <laughs> Always a bonus. How? Here we go. Tiffany's & Co. This is the new design, actually. Tiffany, I, I love this design. Um, Beyonce is, I, I, has been the face of this, this design. It's lovely. Um, we need to speak to our buying team to get some kind of version. It's really cool. Um, let's show it though. It's called the link bracelet. They do it in gold as well. It's astronomically expensive Super super expensive. Yeah, two thousand pounds. Let's round it up, but it's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely I do really like that um, You know, it's not going to be anywhere near we're not we're not stopping anywhere near 99 pounds either How beautiful is that is this piece? It's a finished piece of jewelry but of course, being the talents that you are, you can um, further embellish it. We have a quantity of, what did you say? 75. I'd box this and put it away for a nice Christmas present or a nice birthday present. It's got, it's got present written all over it, hasn't it? Oh, then they the recipient is not going to think you spent £49.99. Not on a five and a half gram, 925 sterling silver, precious metal, you know, really high end, uber designer, um, top quality, precious sterling silver bracelet. Who today, okay, let's just make an announcement, shall we? In 60 seconds, who wants this gorgeous bracelet under £20? Michael, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. How lovely would this be as a gift? How lovely would this be? How giftable is this? It's, you know, it, it's one of those pieces that I think, because it is relatively simplistic, but at the same time not, I know I'm contradicting myself massively, but because it has that simplicity, it's all about the precious metal. You know, gemstones, gemstones um, can, they're quite personal, aren't they? Not every, everybody likes the same gemstones, whereas precious metal, sterling silver, very Roberto coin. You know, Roberto coin is this amazing Italian jewellery designer house that really, yes, they do gemstone pieces and they're very expensive, very, very expensive. But really what, Put them on the market what put them um sort of in uh, in the luxury limelight was actually their links and their designs of stir uh, of precious metal like this it, we need we love gemstones of course we do but it doesn't have to be all about the gemstones it can be about the precious metal as well look at that it looks like two different pieces of jewelry doesn't it 
It like metamorphosizes. Super cool. Under 20 pounds. We had 75 of them. Five grams of 925 sterling silver. Um, you've obviously got that big, beautiful uh, um, lobster claw class, which you're going to need with something with this investment and precious metal as well. There, I, again, I know you can make things like this, but it's about the solder. It's about the components. This is a heavy gram weight piece. Um, for me, I'm thinking, gosh, there's loads of friends and family that I could think of that would absolutely love this design. Uh, Sue in Edin Edinburgh, you've snapped up two. West Midlands snapped up three. Well done, Trevor snapped up two. Amazing. Nicolette, Alan, well done to you. Ruth, hello to you. Alexandra, Jill. Christine, Mary, Trevor, Lorna, Claire, uh, Surrey, Frederick, hello to you, Marion, Tracy, Sheila, Stephanie, congratulations, Suzanne. 75 is not a massive quantity, believe me. Um, this is the kind of bracelet that, yeah, gosh, that's how exclusive is 75? You know, if we had a thousand, I still think this could be um, one of those uh, one of those auctions that would potentially sell out. There's so many of you getting involved. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, if you have just tuned in, have a little look back on the website because we've brought you lots. It's a very silver heavy Sunday morning, which I love. Um, and there's still more to come. Still got more amazing treasures to bring you as well. Um, let me give you a little bit of a sneaky peek as well. I'm going to tilt them towards Michael. Hang on. Mm. Can you see that there, Michael? Is that all right? Is that all good? Those are gemstone encrusted slider bracelets. Yeah. All going on pre-order which has got, you've got sky blue topaz, citrine, peridot, garnet, turquoise, and, oh, tanzanite. Um, all heart-shaped. Let me just show you one up close, actually. Probably better, um, because you can't really see them. Oh, my goodness me, these are stunning. When did these launch? Oh, they're beautiful. So beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, are they... They're all on the website right now. Stop, they're not starting there, are we? 86.99. No way. These launched with what, Carol? Okay, so I've never seen them before and I've just heard what they went to. If you missed that opportunity, each of these gemstones, tanzanite, turquoise, garnet, etc., they went under 20 pounds. All available on pre-order right now amazing shop ahead um let's bring you now um oh yeah oh i've got this one it's i've got this one i've got this bracelet it's lovely I wear it all the time it's so pretty dan have you got like a cushion a little cushion a little pillow for the just look at that Look how pretty this bracelet is. Um, I think we started doing these, it wasn't that long ago, maybe a couple of years or something like that, but thank you, lovely. Um, because, uh, look at how beautiful this, bra this bracelet is. It's simplistic, it's what I would describe, yeah, as a cable, there we go, perfectly. Um, so you've got these wonderful um, interlocking ovals, big investment of 925 sterling silver and you can see look how lustrous it is when we first launched these i think i bought like so many of us we bought big quantities and they were like one of my go-to presents of that christmas i think they if i again forgive me if i'm wrong but i'm fairly sure we launched them to um our jewelry maker audience um just before so sort of the christmas rush um because then you just attach solder onto not you don't have to solder if you don't want um attach your charms or literally give it as it is, because it is a potential charm carrier, isn't it? Um, and they flew. They absolutely flew. Uh, oh, this is our Alison, isn't it? Guest designer Alison. Love this bracelet. Um, I'm thinking you could wire gems into those long li links, of course. Um, I would do an ombre. Obviously, as an ombre tarry, obviously. That's your middle name, isn't it, my lovely? It's your middle name, Alison Ombre. Love it, Ombre. Um, is this going to where I think it's going to, Ross? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's got for the for the amount of precious metal. This is one of the most affordable sterling silver bracelets we've ever done. It's not one of those. It's not one of those really tiny, dainty links. It's quite a chunky link, twenty centimeters. Look, and if I sort of. Isn't that crazy? I don't get it. Twelve ninety nine. I don't get it. And we had like five hundred of these. I think it was something like that, or big quantity anyway. Look, it's not a small bracelet. It's got a big gram weight invested into it. Um, have we got the gram weight there? 
5.2 grams. How are we at 12.99? When we first launched them, there was there was we, we we bought loads, didn't we? And it was definitely one of those that was reordered, um, reordered. How many have we got today? Hundred. Okay, that's a bit. Ah, oh, it's not as many as I'd have hoped. Plus, with the size of those links, it's one of those bracelets that can um, that you can absolutely wear shorter or extend. We brought you the extensions. We brought you the extender bracelets, uh, um, uh, the extender chains earlier on in the show. Lincolnshire, Manchester, well and two, London, Alexandra, Catherine, Christine, Nottinghamshire, Fiona, Chrissy, Manchester, Anne. Nice to see you as well. Told you it was quite a sterling silver heavy show. Lots of our amazing luxury pieces. Um, lots of our essentials as well that we tend to see in the build up in the lead up to sort of uh, 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 to Christmas, I guess. Can you believe we're about a month away from the jewellery maker 13th birthday celebration? I don't know where the time goes, honestly. Um, oh, South Sea Pearl slider bracelet, just ahead of those beautiful um, heart sliders that we just showed you with the Tanzanite. Oh, my goodness. So from the coast of Australia, South Sea Pearls, Akoya Pearls, Tahitian Pearls, are considered to be one of the world's most desirable. Um, I often refer to them as the Mariah Carey pearls because they are relatively diva-ish, the South Sea pearl. Um, and that's because uh, you, you think how vast the oceans are. Um, you can imagine like culturing pearls or growing those pearl farms would be quite an easy thing to do, uh, or, or my mind does. Not the case, in particular with South Sea Pearls, because they're very deaverish. They only like the minerals and the temperatures in one tiny location off the coast of Australia. So they can't grow the pearl. Uh, they can't simply grow the pearl harvest to a larger size. They are renowned for this really beautiful, as you can see, quite a golden light colour. They form, form from um, the Golden Lip Oyster, which is one of the biggest oysters uh, uh, that actually produce your pearls in the world. Um, and you, you mentioned South Sea, we should expect a high price point. We should. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. So we should expect, have that expectation of price point. And that's because, you know, these are, these are harvested in probably some of the most dangerous waters on our planet, shark infested waters. And it's not a case of, there you go, little mollusk, I'll pop you into the sea and I'll come back a few years later. You know, these are pearls that are <clears throat> literally nurtured, cared for. Every single barnacle is chipped off and removed um, over their culturing process. So, like I said, the divas of the culture. Oh, my word. 29, after all that, yeah, after all that, 29.99 for South Sea Pearls. Um, you know, we could, we, we could talk about the fact that South Sea Pearls in a single pendant would, prob would be more than what's on your screens, but I think we all know that. Amazing, well done. Make sure you check out your baskets. Um, are we ready for those beautiful hearts? We're going to start with the Tanzanite. These are all separate auctions. <coughs> I can't believe this. So it was launched by our lovely Carol um, a couple of weeks ago. It's the first time I've, I'm ever seeing them. They're stunning, absolutely stunning. You know, what we're bringing you now in a slider bracelet is, 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 is so exciting, if you like, you know, how we've developed this beautiful product. Um, I'm going to start with the Tanzanite, but all the other gemstones are also available on pre-order. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Now, you can solder onto these if you wanted to. Um, these have... An amazing quality tanzanite you can see there in the center that just glides and slides down your um, your box chain look at that quality vanadium rich um, in its saturation the idyllic blue from this one locational gemstone look at the quality of the slider bracelet so again you can solder onto this if you wanted to you might want to ball the ends um, is it reticulation I think that technique correct me if I'm wrong 
Look at, yeah, I agree. Adam's just saying, look at the quality of that tanzanite. Stunning. You can take it off if you want. You might use the chain for something else and then maybe put this on a, a corded bracelet if you want or maybe a longer line chain. You don't have to. Just because we've got that chain in the centre, you don't have to keep it there. It takes a little bit of a, um, a little bit of jiggery-pokery, but you will get them, um, get them back through. That silica mechanism in the centre will hold on to whatever material that you wish. I can't believe we did this. £17.99. pence, Absolutely stunning. In fact, what we've just described is probably what I would do. I would take this, I'd probably use it with one of the longer lengths of chain, maybe a metre long length of chain, and this would become like a long style Mari uh, lariat style necklace. How lovely would that be? Um, and where it actually, this becomes the pendant then, doesn't it? You've got half a carat just shy, half a carat of beautiful tanzanite. Um, the box chain is about what, 25 centimetres in length, but use that for something else, else if you wish or keep it as it is. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh, dial through, free phone telephone number if you speak to our wonderful contact centre. Um, now, these are quite limited. We've got about 20 of each or less. Um, I'm doing the turquoise next. So you can shop ahead. You know, I've given the price promise. They are all going under £20. Well done, Marishka, Nicolette, West Midlands, uh, Maureen, amazing. Lots of you there. Uh, let's do the turquoise, which is always one of the most popular. Um, now, there's 23, so just over 20, I beg your pardon. Oh, beautiful. Turquoise is associated with often lots of different meanings behind it, depending on the location that you're referring to. But a good luck gemstone believe to bring you good fortune and then team that with this a very definite heart can you see that you've got the perfect cleft within your turquoise there's the slider bracelet turn it that way you can see the investment of 925 and internally you have that silica which is what holds and caresses the precious metal um, there's 23 of these available oh like I said I didn't launch these so these are surprise uh, price points to me a week ago with Carol. I'm not surprised they flew. Did we have big quantities of them originally? A hundred of each, yeah. I'm not surprised that they absolutely flew. They're beautiful. I would personally remove that chain, and I can only speak personally. Um, I would remove the chain and I'd put them on, onto a one metre long length chain and it would actually become like a, a pendant in the centre. Um, I think that could definitely work. Text in your ideas. Like I said, it's just little old me here. So I haven't got a guest designer that I can bounce on. Text in um, and give me your ideas. What would you do? What would you do with this one? Are you planning on removing it? Are you planning on using it with your cord? Um, pretty much sold out now this one, so well done. Um, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. You think hearts, most of you will think of that lovely red colour. Well, I certainly do anyway. So perfect if you're gifting. Not just romantically. It can be sort of family and friends. Pretty, such a good quality garnet, this one. Look at that wonderful intensity of colour. Can you see that? That lovely intensity of colour. Again, heart cut stones. We know the challenge of faceting your um, gemstones into a heart. £14.99. pence. Love it. Absolutely love it. I remember the first ever slider bracelet and I love the progression that we've seen within this wonderful product. You know, the development of it, I, I, and there's, I'm sure, still more to come. Um, 14 99 well done. You've got two grams of 925 sterling silver. We've got 20 or less of these. Um, again, that intensity of colour that you get within this, gar this gemstone. Here in the studio, it looks quite dark, but when you actually get it out into natural sunlight, you are um, looking at a gemstone that will glow. It will quite literally glow. That's when you see garnet at its finest. Um, they were 20, again, straightaway collectors getting involved. It's a birthstone too. Uh, Peridot next. Love it. Let's do the Peridot. Have we got less than 20 of these? 19. Ah, oh, it's a lovely colour of peridot, isn't it? You know it's going under £20. For the lengths of chain, you know, even if it's... Sorry, I realise my finger was blocking it then. For the lengths of chain, you know, it's, what, 25 centimetres. I think that's a great price just for the box chain. So you might deconstruct it, uh, deconstruct this, as many of our viewers do. Have we got any ideas? Have we had any text messages in? 
you know, I personally think just feeding that you, yeah, deconstruct it. Hello to you, Susan, saying uh, Mark was on with Carol and he did a marvellous demonstration using these sliders. So well, so well worth watching. And um, it was last Sunday. Thank you. At noon. Thank you so much at midday in the masterclass. So I'm guessing that Mark would have shown how you kind of deconstruct it then, I suppose. Um, well done. Let's do, let's do what do you say? Citrine. Let's do the citrine. Pretty. Just over 20, 24. There you go. It was on the what? 26th. Sunday the 26th, if you want to watch that back. Um, the demonstration using these sliders. 12 99 Huh? It's even lower. 26 of these available. It's pretty. Beautiful. I love this slider mechanism. I would probably use them with cords. You know, things like the macrame. And I, I, I don't know, I wasn't able to watch last Sunday, but... I'm guessing Mark would have maybe done a little bit of macrame and maybe you could have actually used the slider bracelet instead of doing like your more traditional Solomon's bar, for example. I don't know. I'll take a little watch with you guys as well. When I, uh, maybe when I get home. 12 99 only. There was just 24 remaining of this opportunity. We've brought all bar one now. So this is the penultimate. As I said earlier on, there's been quite a lot of lovely sterling silver component additions in today's show. The last one is topaz, sky blue topaz. So pretty. Love it. Imagine them all layered up together. And I'm, and I'm thinking, I don't know, correct me, I might be wrong, but if you were to, if you do solder, if you were to ball the end, the very end here, ah, so what Mark, oh, there we go. So Mark's put gemstones on the end of these. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Clever. So he's wrap looped onto this, onto the actual box chain. But I wonder if you could, you know, is it reticulation where you basically um, heat the end of a chain and it creates that ball of sterling silver? I wonder if you could do that with this so then it just becomes like a complete and solid without any addition. Yeah, so you've got the balls on the end, so the slider won't actually come out. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Right then, everybody, 12 99 Congratulations, everybody. So uh, there we go. We just uploaded some of the uh, makes from last weekend. Now, coming up after the break, we've got some wonderful colours of jade. We've got black, yellow, green, white... Um, if there's anything in particular that you want to see, drop us a message. Remember also at 12 o'clock, you've got your lovely masterclass with Alison. And she might not be here in person, but she's most definitely here in heart. We're going to bring her kit and we have got her demonstration that we're going to be showing you as well. So don't worry, just because she's not here, you'll still get your demonstration. Don't go anywhere. More amazing deals. The wonderful colours of Jade Eye after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up. This Sunday, we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I just looked clock the time. It's like half eleven. Where's this morning gone? It's gone so fast, hasn't it? Is it just me? How fast has this morning gone? It's like goodness me, it's only like an hour and a half left on the show. Wow, and you've still got loads. We're gonna squeeze loads in that, sorry, um, in that hour and a half. It's not the Joy Maker mug, it's the fact it's got my lipstick on the top, which isn't particularly attractive, is it? Um, okay, now, Colours of Jade coming up. Um, some of our most popular, not just here at Jewelry Maker, globally, of course. Um, and then we've got your masterclass with Alison as well, still to bring you. I'll bring you the kit. Um, we'll dive into the recorded demonstration that Alison has sent to us. Um, I was very, very, very privileged um, to be able to be part of the launch of um, our Black Jadeite Type A Black Jadeite Master Carvings. It blew my mind in terms of the detail, um, in terms of the quality, in terms of the artistry. And I've shared this with you before, and I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll perhaps we'll show it a little bit later on in this hour. But when it comes to um, to jade or whatever colour, um, and it's a carving, which is all the rage at the moment, it is about that wow factor. And this is going to completely blow you away. But what makes black jade in particular? so exciting um, and so sought after. What makes it that di distinctive colour? And in the West, we refer to it quite romantically as piano black, don't we? Um, in the East, they refer to it as imperial black. Um, but what is it? Because bearing in mind, these are not dyed. Moving forward, you might well see, um, you might well see sort of your type B and type C. What is it that makes black jade black? Or more accurately, dark jade dark the reason dark jade and this article says this is as rare um, is very rare is because it requires a long time um, and special conditions to form it due to its natural chemical structure we need to know the color here is not black nor is it charcoal or gray Dark ink colour is not a natural base colour in the universe. And I love this article because it's quite quirky in its writing, in, you know, in, in the words that it shows. It takes a long, long time to grow from an emerald green, as we know as imperial green, to the deep black um, under the influences of cosmic rays. I love it. I love it. I think this website, and I can't remember because it was a long time ago that I put this PowerPoint together, but I think this website was very much into the metaphysical side of, uh, of gemstones as well. But it's true. It is accurate. It takes a long time, much, much longer to form black jade than any other colour. But it still carries the nature of dark green under strong light. So if I was to get, say, my phone and put that light behind, you'd see it's actually a similar to colour to the background of this PowerPoint. So technically speaking, a piece of truly authentic dark jade, it requires billions of years to form from green to dark green and finally to dark ink colour. 
three times longer than any other color of jade dye in the world. And it cannot be replicated by hand. Um, time is the best evidence. So we can encourage, so for example, tanzanite that we've just seen, we can encourage tanzanite's color, can't we? Um, a little bit of heat treatment will encourage those beautiful blue colors. And by the way, that can be done by the sun as well. The only thing that will transform a jade of green, imperial green color to this beautiful uh, piano black is millions of years, millions upon millions of years. And it, it, it costs a pretty penny ordinarily. So I'm gonna show you this article, which I love. This has gotta be one of my favorite articles that speaks about the wow factor of jade. Regardless of the color, it speaks about the wow factor. Sotheby's, who really are probably one of the three big names where we'd source gemstones of this grade ordinarily, um, wrote that for hundreds of years, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and superlatives, jadeite has a certain understated chari uh, charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is muted, enigmatic glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural reverence, uh, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade it has played a consequential role in history, from serving as a mysterious object, object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While the uh, term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess, I always struggle with this word, inimitable, in, in, yeah, green colour. Jade eye is by far the rarer of the two and the focus of this guide on jewellery. Uh, when asked when, how you, Sotheby's Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite, he said, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. What experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor, which seems maybe frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as commodities, but rather as works of art created by nature over millions of years, I might in insert there, and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the splendor of impressionist uh, landscapes by the canvas height or width um, or the ratio of its colors, the beauty of jade eye in all its variety and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. How poetic and perfect is that description? It's not about the four C's. That's easy with the diamonds, you know, with diamonds and, and all your other gemstones. Jade eye is so much diff different because especially when it's in an, uh, an artistic form like this, quite literally a piece of art that is millions of years old. And when we said wow factor, is this not what Wan Hao Yu was describing? Do you want me to show you the difference? Which are you saying wow to the most? This one, which apparently is a dragon, I can't see it, but and is more of a charcoal gray color, and it's $830, or this one, which has that imperial black, which is perfectly car uh, carved into these amazing, amazing flowers, layers of flowers. But even beyond that intricacy, stay with me, because I'm just gonna pivot this round, show you just how beautiful and slender, lace-like um, that fabulous piece is, and show you that the reverse is also carved. This is that wow factor that Sotheby's talk about. You know, I, I, again, yeah, let's show those, Ross, because again, this is a lovely color of black jade, lovely color, it's much more matte, much more matte than yours. Um, but look at the price point. Appa again, I can't decipher it. Apparently it is a dragon. I, can't, I can see the tail, but I can't see the head of the dragon. Um, and you've got the Pearl of Wisdom there as well. So this is on first dibs a while ago, £1,552 on just a simple chain. 
When we talk about the wow factor, look how lustrous this piece is. I think they're crying out to be the most beautiful pair of earrings. And I was privileged to be part of this launch. I was privileged to make some of the jewelry for this launch as well. And I tell you what, it was a complete and utter joy. Type A grade, whether you refer to it as the more traditional West, uh, Western piano black or whether you stick with the traditional Eastern reference as imperial black. You want your black jadeite to look, uh, be as dark and deep in color as physically possible and you still want it to have that silky like luster. 13 carats in these beautiful lace like slices of one of the oldest gemstones one of the most, well, one of the rarest gemstones, of course, and placed into one of the finest artists that exists on our planet. So if we show you, look, first dibs, or what, yeah, first dibs, 1,500 pounds. This is far more intricate because it's actually narrower. Hollowed out, you know, far more intricate. What about the one previously at $830? I tell you what, let's beat that next price point and still not be done. I volunteered to make the jewelry for this for this launch, and do you know why? Because I know even I can't make that. I can't I, even I couldn't fluff it up because you know this. All you need to do is attach a shepherd hook or a pendant bail. You've got all those openings straight away. Look how beautiful they would be in a pair of earrings. We've just taken a thousand pounds off that price tag. And we are no way near the closing price. It's natural, genuine, certified type A jadeite. Two no what do you mean ready for my price? Is that not where we took it to? I chose to put mine with seed pearls, literally on a long line necklace. I had some seed pearls and some little individual, I had four mil black jades from my stash as well. That's all I did for mine, alternate it. Really beautiful, so beautiful. 129 pounds, you can get hold of it today for 32 pounds and 25 pence. And I know, look, I, I, I know if you, if you are thinking about earrings, it's double that price tag, but still, when we compare the likes, something that was far, <coughs> excuse me, inferior in terms of not just the quality of the carving, but the quality of the crystal, the quality of the translucency, the quality of the color. That $830 piece is by far in the shadows of what I hold before you right now. Um, and it's what, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, that piece of jewelry. 32 pounds and 25 pence only. Um, of the launch, this was actually one of my favorites because I really like that sort of teardrop shape. It's crying out to be beautiful earrings. It could also be the most amazing pendant, don't you think? Make sure you do check out your baskets though. Um, piano black, it's not, it's not a, it's not a blackish color, is it? Even though under light, you will see it's actually that inky color that that article was referencing. But as we're seeing on our screens right now, it is a jet black color. Um, I've, something's just dawned on me as well, and I don't know, have the details because um, obviously this photograph was taken a while ago. But that first dibs piece, Ross, it doesn't say type A. That one does. But you know the jet black one doesn't say type... Oh, no, it says certified untreated. That's okay. That's okay. So that, I mean, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Great color, 1,500 pounds. That's the, rea that's, that's, that's the reality. That's the norm. That wasn't. Okay, where to next? Oh. I've never seen this piece before. A galloping horse. Oh my word, this is beautiful. There was only ever 50, I've never seen it before, it's lovely. Oh, so you've got this wonderful medallion. Um, it's all about wishes and uh, success, is that right? How beautiful, so you have this prancing, galloping horse. Look at the movement, even down to here. You can see the movement of the horse, can't you? It's hard to sketch a horse, let alone actually yeah, especially, in, yeah, in flight, that's a good, mid-jump, gallop, mid-gallop. It's hard to sketch a horse, let alone carve it into the gemstone. And if I turn it flat, look, look, you can see that elevation, you can see that 
um, beautiful, beautiful shaping within. Dan, can I borrow your phone for a second? Just because I think with these carvings, it's always nice to see that lovely translucency because I'm looking from this direction, obviously, and I can see the light filtering through. And I think this one's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's give it a try. The galloping horse, which is all about sort of success. Get that. Oh, oh my goodness. Ready? Look at that. It, there was only ever 50 commissioned. Dave launched this. There was only ever 50. 15 remain. Um, Ross is saying, L, this is a mega deal. I can't believe what Mr. Troth took this to. Because not only, not only have you got the most beautiful work of art, it's the light and shade of this, isn't it? It's the grey, it's the black, it's the white jade. Remember, you know, that, that, that piece that um, Aspreys are talking about with the colours of jade, that's for however many millions upon millions of pounds it is. And I'm not saying this is millions and millions of pounds, but you do get those areas of colour. You get the, the black, here we go, sort of around the sort of bezel of this panda, uh, uh, pendant. I can't talk, one second. <laughs> I said pendant. Um, this pendant you get those beautiful sort of warm fern greens this is carved literally by hand 50 in the world in existence oh something just dawned on me if you've got an, equ an equestrian background as well how lovely would this be if you you know if you're passionate about horses You, yeah, I mean, how amazing would this be? Maybe you know somebody that's, uh, maybe you know somebody that's actually, uh, I don't know, does show, uh, um, I'm, I'm not a question as you can guess. I do love horses though, but um, this might be something that you might display alongside some of your achievements, because remember, it's about success. How beautiful if you've got that equestrian background. At £499 for this level of artistry, well done to those of you that have already checked out. I, can't, I don't know what it's going to. Ross, again, he's, he's keeping it. I agree, it's a £199 piece. That would be, a, here at Jewelry Maker, because I, I say that very blasé, don't I? Oh, it's £199, yeah, that's amazing. It wouldn't be £199 anywhere else. You know, if you were to go somewhere like um, um, Bonham, Sotheby's First Dibs, you wouldn't see this at £199. No way. Uh, Ross? Did you, mean, did you mean to do that, though? She said, yeah, I told you it was a mega deal. Do you know what? 50, there's only 15 left. They're going to go galloping out. <gasps> Sorry. I know. I'm not proud of that one either. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. I don't, and listen, I, I, I'm not a question. I don't ride horses, but I appreciate horses. I appreciate how, I appreciate how beautiful they are as well. You know, they, it, it, they are stunningly beautiful animals, aren't they? Um, my little girl the other day, she was kind of saying, uh, uh, she, she does gymnastics. She was like, mommy, I need a new hobby. I said, right, okay, right. Straight away, you think this sounds expensive. Um, I need a new hobby. And we're trying to get her into kickboxing, but she's not that keen. Um, and I, okay, right, fine. Tell us what you want to do. Is it going to be crafty? And she's going to know I want another like physical or hobby. I said, okay, horses, mummy. I want a horse. I said, like, you're not having a horse. You're definitely not having a horse. No, no, definitely, definitely not. As much as I love the idea, we do not have the time for a horse as well. But um, as a little girl, I always, uh, always wanted one too. But they are beautiful animals, aren't they? Um, loving this. Congratulations at £99. The areas of sort of light and shade, the depths, the movement that is created in this handcrafted piece. This is literally done by hand. Just amazing. You know, you can map out diamonds and other gemstones with a, a computer technology. You can use machine lasers quite literally to facet certain gemstones. This is done in the same way, in the same manner um, as 
as your uh, as the jadeite carvings that were um, were created million uh, sorry thousands of years ago not millions of years ago the gemstone was created millions of years ago but the carvings obviously thousands of years ago literally rubbed um, it in an abrasive manner and polished with wet bamboo that's fascinating that they still use that amazing uh, technique the final five Elizabeth Christine Tracy sorry Jane in Worcestershire I'm curious Jane Jane um, are you, because you have I can see you've multi bought my lovely have you got an equestrian background i'm curious text in if you have text in if you have text in to anybody that was lucky enough to get that have you got an equestrian background i do love horses they're so they're so beautiful aren't they very beautiful very very beautiful i love animals all animals to be honest the final one text in is it yeah on the verge on the verge of selling out amazing everybody um who remembers what was it who what was it oh the a t series of the horse no not the a team no and not lassie who was the horse black beauty there we go black beauty go on that of course i know you don't dan does nobody remember okay that's show definitely show my age <laughs> i remember watching it nobody else does um okay Shall we do some lovely yellow, type A yellow jadeite? Oh, that, that horse would be nice on this one. I'd put the horse. Because you have those little little moments of black jadeite running through it as well. Do you see where I'm coming from? I'd probably use like a black silk and then on this long strand of type A yellow jadeite, or honey jadeite as it's referred to. Um, yellow and honey, basically they come under the red umbrella. It means that it was formed on, on part of the boulder um, close to the skin where it starts to oxidize. Um, very desirable. Again, in, in, as a point of reference, if you look along uh, to places like Pillar and Stone or uh, Mason and Kay, um, if if they have a yellow or red or orange colors within their jewelry pieces, they'll be like one of, it'll be a tiny suggestion of yellow. It'll be, you know, a, a single rondelle. It's not necessarily going to be the full necklace. And the reason why I'm highlighting that is because of its rarity, it's, it's, it's natural rarity. This is a gemstone that, um, or this rather, this color is one of the rarest colors. Reds is the rarest color and it comes under that umbrella as well. You can see how you get this really beautiful, beautiful warm egg yolk yellow glow. Um, amazing, type A grade. I'm just gonna move that away for a second, one sec. There we go, ooh, ooh there we go. Um, and I know I haven't got many of them. How many have we got? 10, it's a long strand. It's a lovely strand. Using it, introducing it to your Olmec, I think as well would be a nice addition. This is the more o opaque variety, yeah. If you imagine you're like traditional honey, you know, not just jarred honey, but where you get it in the honeycomb and you, where it starts to crystallize and looks ultra delicious. Um, when we went on holiday to Turkey last summer, um, it was one of the things I was addicted to. They had the natural yogurt and, they, and then they had the honeycomb. So you could just literally scoop a little bit of honey out of there. Um, but it looks like this, doesn't it? You've got that really beautiful, delicious variation of color. Um, you can get hold of this for what, what, 66 on your split payments. Amazing. Well done. Um, okay. Oh, I'm glad you said that. This is one of my favorite strands of yellow. Jadeite. This is beautiful. Um, again, it's natural in its color. Type B and type C. It's easy to dye a gemstone. It's very easy to do that. Um, and I learned something this weekend when Dave joined us for the launch of, was it Sakura when he was talking about um, the fact that our sister channel have actually started introducing type B and C. We've kind of been preempting it. We've, we've, we've predicted that. We know that type A grade, if Sally Hure is struggling to work with type A grade, then obviously it's going to happen to us as well. Um, so our sister channel is there. They're actually working. They're actually offering now the type B and C grade. This is still currently type A here at Jewelry Maker, but it is becoming more and more and more challenging. This is one of my favorite strands of yellow jade that we actually purchased because it has that. And I always described it as that egg yolk yellow, didn't I? Um, it's almost like dippy egg yellow. Beautiful and completely and utterly natural. It's a shorter strand, five and a half centimeters, amazing quality of color. We're gonna do it in two price crashes. First price crash, remember, is not what you're paying. 
It's not what you're paying. There are 21 of these available. Um, I wonder, Roscoe, could you get that, the, the yellow jade, uh, yellow jadeite slide? Just because I'm thinking of the cabochon, I'm thinking of the bracelet, you know. Uh, what? That's not where we are stopping. 21 available opportunities. Let me just show you, um, this is actually a conversation between Dave and um, on, a, on a photograph and they said, look, I'm inquiring about your jade out ring. That's Dave, sent the photograph. Um, yes, this yellow cabochon price is uh, $3,800. There we go. For that sink, and that's 18 karat gold, lovely. 18 karat gold, but the value is in the yellow, yellow jadeite. On this same PowerPoint, there's a simple stretchy bracelet, isn't there? which I question that. I, I don't think that's type A, even though it says it, just because it's really, I find it odd that they've got the same bands around the same area on every single one of those beads. I don't know, it's just, I'd question that. But how much is it? What, 799 US dollars? 799. You could re recreate that bracelet and, uh, and we're not even stopping here. No, wait, there's not enough people. If we're gonna go even lower. No, another 60 seconds. What are you gonna take it to then, Roscoe? Really? Who's good at their percentages? So, you know, you know that, you know that bracelet? How about if I said that bracelet, it is right, the, the number I've got in my head, isn't it? That bracelet is going to be times 10 the price that we're taking this strand to. 10% effectively. And it is certified, laboratory certified type A, dippy egg yellow, I love that description. Dippy egg yellow, natural jadeite. We are down to 14 already, collectors going, yeah, okay, that's amazing. We shouldn't be in a double figure price tag. Um, red and, and all the colors that come under red, remember this is yellow because it's at the, uh, the surface of the boulder. You're talking about skin, literally a, a skin of a boulder. Minuscule amounts of the boulder will actually transform into sort of the reds, the oranges and the yellows. Um, it should be one of the more expensive colors and it is one of the more expensive colors elsewhere. Pop along to Mason and Kay. They haven't got yellow, they've got orange or red, which is lovely. And, the, and when they say red, is the, the, the tiny pieces. It's an off-red color, absolutely. 79 pounds and 99 pence only. 10% of the price of that stretchy bracelet, which I, I, I don't know. I think it's always good to be a little bit skeptical when you're sourcing gemstones, particularly if you're sourcing them from them elsewhere. I'm not tarnishing everybody with the same brush, but I find that quite, um, it looks more like an agate to me, that, ne that bracelet that we were looking at earlier on. Um, $79.99, all you need to do is literally pop, a, 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 pop it on elastic and it's, it's done, job done. Uh, £26.66 on your split payment. Good luck and well done to those of you that have already multi-bought. Congratulations, make sure you are checking out. Um, I love this strand. I was hoping you were going to squeeze these in, Ross. This is prob this shape is probably my favourite shape. We rarely ever see it, um, and that's probably because it's wasteful, because it's quite reminiscent of a Marquise. Um, it's got to be up there in terms of one of the most wasteful cuts. Big carrot weight on this one. Um, the rice bead shape, I don't know, it's just, it, it's beautifully linear. Um, you could just literally put one on a, on, on a cord, I think, or some leather. I think it's very much like a, um, <clears throat> like a, a unisex piece, uh, piece or strand, or jadeite's unisex, obviously. Um, I've seen these used as little feature beads, maybe for things like your gurus or your longer line necklace. Not necessarily putting them all into one amazing piece of jewellery. You know, use them sparingly because we don't get them very often. Type A grade, and this is that wonderful soft sage green. Um, soft sage green, not it in the same way that you would do the rounds. Bless, Adam's just come in and said, do you want some coffee? I was like, I genuinely haven't drunk the one that I last had, so I'll give that. <laughs> Bless you, ultra efficient. How many have we got? How many have we got? Roscoe. 11. Just little pops of the yellow jadeite in between, what do we think? Or would you maybe go something like the black jadeite? Imagine that on the bottom, how beautiful that would be. 
We, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times we actually see these drums. We are not stopping at 99.99. Um, there are 11 available opportunities. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that luster across the surface of them. Amazing translucency. Just using Dan's torch again, if I just put the light source to the back of the hand, you can see how each and every single one of these glow. Um, I've said it so many times about the fact that, you know, and we throw, throw around sort of Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams on a regular basis if we're talking about jadeite. This knotted, you know, one of the first ever PowerPoints I, I created for jadeite shows two uh, jadeite necklaces, not necessarily with the best possible colour. Um, they were about 12 mil, I think they were off memory, about 12 millimetre in their size. That, that auctioned back in 2011 for two and a half grand, I think it was. You're at 199 pounds for what is quite possibly a larger carat weight. Amazing, well done. Um, I've got, yes, this one here. Yeah, I've got it. It's got the money coin in the centre. Pure white jade. Can you see the money coin? You often see a Picsu sat on these as well. That's a symbol, uh, symbolic of wealth. You also got your, I think these are lovely, like a lotus flower motif all the way around. And look at that beautiful surface luster. All these, uh, what they refer to as piercings, um, are opportunities for us to literally add, I don't know, beading thread, clasp, jump rings, whichever it is, uh, to transform your piece of jewellery. Sorry, Ross, what was that? One price crash. I like this because it's kind of a, quite a global design, I think. It's not necessarily very much, uh, it's not solely a Chinese influence. It's quite a global design. What? Pure white jadeite, 49 pounds and 99 pence. That's why there was a reaction on the web and on the phone lines before I saw, yeah, okay, you saw the price before me. How beautiful is this? Again, pure white color. Keep dialing through. We're squeezing in as many of these amazing colours of jade deals as we possibly can. Hand carved, type A grade. You do realise that fast forward however long it might be, I don't know. Um, it's going to be a case of, I'm saying, hand carved, type B. Hand carved, type C. That it is, it is going to be on the, uh, on the horizon. Somebody's just requested to see the yellow jadeite strand again. No problem. Here we go. Um, five and a half millimetres in this eyes. Again, I love this strand. It's one of my favourites. It's got like a really dippy egg yellow. You know, when, when you do boiled eggs and you've got that really bright, fresh, fresh eggs so that are nice and vibrant. It's got that beautiful quality of colour. Two Helens have still got it in their basket. So good luck, Helens. Helen in Suffolk, Helen in Dumbartonshire. Um, amazing. Good luck to you. £26.66 on your split payment or 79 Lancashire, I can see you there. There is still a couple of those, not many. Um, let's do the VARs. Um, VARs in... Vases in Chinese culture are steeped in history. You see them not just in your jade. You see them in um, in sort of on uh, Chinese canvases, don't you? Um, have you got that information, Ross? You know the the meaning behind a vase. We were using words, and it will it will sink into my brain eventually. But um, we're talking about blessings, weren't we? rectitude because Ross was saying he's the de you know if you were to look at what rectitude meant in the English di in English dictionary it would have a photograph of himself it's all about sort of integrity and uh, um, uh, morals isn't it things like that so um, yeah really re really positive symbol anyway the vase and I know that it can mean different things for example a Buddhist vase which ha usually has flowers within has got a different meaning to that so here we go I'll read it to you here um, the vase in Chinese symbology um, is a rebus for peace or safety because the word for vase ping or for peace ping yang are pronounced the same and the vase which holds flowers from all seasons symbolizes peace throughout the year. Um, a treasure vase is also one of the eight auspicious symbols of Buddhism. Uh, Gourd-shaped vases take on further meaning. Although they were literally used to contain uh, medicines in Chinese belief, the word itself means holding. Um, the word for gourd, hu lu, excuse my pronunciation, pronunciation seems to have, um, it, yeah, it has a relationship with the word, uh, what's that say, protection, sorry, protection and blessings. Beautiful. So you've got the meaning. But beyond that, it's also got the interlocking links. You've got never lose sight of the fact 
to these this has been carved out of one solid boulder of type a jadeite you can open and close jump rings solder them together no problem or make paper link chains that's easy isn't it we did that as a child but to to do it within a solid gemstone that's physically as hard as steel well i'll never ever ever lose sight of how amazing that is this deal is unbelievable it's one of your good luck vases with the connecting link how many do we have oh 40 available it's been on air once with that interlocking jump ring so that's i mean look how beautiful that is this would be on a long line chain for me like a meter long length of sterling silver something that i could see on a regular basis beautiful type a grade i love you know this this one reminds me of and i'm not saying it is of the same era which is obviously obviously not but you know when you go back to your really um your ancient your uh, ming dynasty uh, um you know your, your your 12th century all those amazing master carvings that we've admired um from auction houses where they are very primitively mined very very they didn't have the tools and equipment that we have today of course this kind of reminds me a little bit of about of that and that's not me being disrespectful i like the fact that it is that little bit more rustic and it is a little bit more sort of um like the first original car Carvings. We're going to bring you the most unbelievable deal. There is 40 available, or rather there were. In Taipei, Burmese Jade. Already collectors getting involved. Okay. Who wants this? Love it with all that auspicious meaning. Who would like this under £100 for a type A jade? You know, remember, imagine holding a piece of a boulder of jadeite. Exciting, isn't it? Uh, holding a boulder of jadeite. And then what they do is, um, you know, they, usually if they're talking about beads or bangles or something like that, they'll slice it. So this would have probably been sliced originally because of the actual dimensions of the, um, of the carving itself. And then they're like, no, I'm not going to do a bead. I'm not going to do a cabochon. I'm not going to do maybe um, um, a, a sort of a ring, if you like, whatever it might be. I'm going to put this into, I'm going to artistically create with this one. I'm going to create something hugely auspicious and meaningful. I'm going to go with the actual vase. But even beyond that, I don't just want it to have those beautiful rolled over handles. Can you see on the side? I want it to have the technology or oh, the technique of piercing in the center. And I also want those interlocking links. That in itself, particularly the top part for me, has to be the most challenging. To have a solid, uninterrupted rarity of jadeite, the risk that goes into creating with this is, is, is immense. On Mason and Kay, as we speak, and we met Mason and Kay, um, or not we, the, um, it was actually the the team who went over. So Dave actually formed a great friendship with Mason and Kay when he was over in Tucson. On Mason and Kay right now, you can get a vase pendant. You can get a vase pendant, which actually has the interlocking links. But there is one fairly colossal difference. And it is the price point. $1,350. Mason and Clay are exclusively about jade. That's all they sell. As you can see, Mason and Clay, jade excellence since 1976. Let the jade find you. I love that. Absolutely love that. But there'll be one of that jade vase carving, I should imagine. There'll be one. And it's $1,300. Whereas we're at double figures and we're not even stopping there. The same auspicious meaning. One, I mean, 33 pounds and 33 pence. Again, I'm visualizing it on a long line necklace, something that, you know, because you have got those interlocking links, I th you think it's one of those that you would possibly sort of admire um, and hold all the meanings and belief behind the vase itself. In 18 seconds, we're taking it lower than what already is an unparalleled price point. Um, in terms of that sentiment, blessings, what did we say? Rectitude, uh, protections. What a giftable piece this would be. A huge price jump about to appear on your screens. 
It's been on air once. You've, you... There's the interlocking links though. Is that what it was launched at then? £16.66 with the interlocking links. Even down to, check this out, you can't really see it on that recording. You know, when I hold it here in the studio, the interlocking links, do you notice how you've actually got that flat bail? This is intended to be the front. You can see that you have that lovely flat surface here that is intended to be the front of the bail. This level of artistry, I mean, when, I know they're very different pieces, I know they're very, very different carvings here, but, it, it the, really what commands the millions of pounds that's, uh, is, it, is it millions? I can't, too many digits for me. I can't work out that price point. Sorry, $150,000, I can see it there. And to 230 is what they estimated. Quarter of a million then, okay. Still far more money than I can afford. Um, it's, it's not about the Buddha, it's actually about those interlocking links, isn't it, that, bu that, that builds up those hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, and as we sp spoke about, the vase is one of the most auspicious meaning. It's the perfect gemstone to give to your, um, to your loved ones and your friends, your nearest and dearest and family. You know, it's, it's one of those because you've got all that wonderful meaning. You could do the write-up. We could share those, you know, those words that we showed on our screens a few moments ago. Um, that's an amazing deal. £49.99 or £16.66 um, on your split payment. And well done to you getting two. Lynn, Maya, Virginia, well done. Multi-buying, well done. Valerie, multi-buying. Alla, well, multi-buying, congratulations. Rachel, new customers. Maureen, Karen, Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire sorry, Mary, uh, Kim, well done. Uh, you've got it in your basket, but we only had 20. We only had 20 remaining, um, and it does look like we are actually over-allocated. So um, we'll uh, confirm those on a first-come, first-served basis. Well done. Now, I've got one more jadeite to bring you. Um, we've still got Alison's beautiful masterclass, which is um, very different to this hour. So you've got some really lovely seed beads. You've got some lovely components. I tell you what we're going to do is put these kits on pre-order. And for those of you that are on social media, you would have seen Alison's amazing, amazing designs. They are stunningly beautiful you know wow worthwhile taking a look and if you if you're not on social media don't worry because Alison has filmed a demonstration for us to show as well but you can shop ahead and put a pre-order on those right now so we can sit back and enjoy the demonstration okay the finale of your colors of jade this is another mega deal says Ross in my ear we don't get four mils very often do we in jadeite that's because it's wasteful but imagine wasting something that is even more exciting than just jadeite. Type A, natural, aqua. That refers to the water content of your jadeite. It refers, you should, if you hear the word aqua jadeite, then know that you will get the most beautiful translucency. Yeah, we, we use the term quite a lot, jemmy. You know, look how gemmy that, that, you know, that, that jadeite is. This is a mega, mega, mega deal. And I'm fairly confident there will already be people getting involved and dialing through. I need some four mils desperately, desperately. So have we got quantity of these, Roscoe? Have we? Oh, that's a bigger quantity than I was expecting. And this is the kind of thing that I would do. I'd team it alongside something like seed pearls, four millimeter jadeite and you know a pendant just like that really simple really 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 simple in terms of its construction however um yeah ultra 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 rare um very gemmy beautiful translucency you can see the quality and that is what we're um, talking about that wonderful aqua that wonderful aqua presence in six seconds the phone lines are going to erupt says ross um we've got 70 available I could probably count on one hand the amount of times we bring four mil jadeites to air, or I, I, I've brought to air anyway. We don't, don't do it very often. Might have had them in kits, but individually in a strand, very rare. Adam. <laughs> he said, heck. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's not inferior grade, Ross. It's actually one of the premium grades. You can see yeah, it's the water content. You know, little bubbles of jade. Says Ross. Oh, isn't that lovely? 
It's the water content. Remember how jade forms? Millions upon millions of years ago, movements of tectonic plates, and I'll say this whilst you're all flooding in on the phone lines and on the web, movements of tectonic plates, um, um, you know, collisions effectively, and those tectonic plates without being too scientific, because my brain can't be that scientific, but I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, a geologist. But those, um, those tectonic plates basically will pivot and they plummeted through the ocean's crust. Through the ocean's crust, only then, and under very specific requirements, gemologically um, and geologically, will this gem gemstone potentially form. So there is a water content there. Sometimes you can visually see that water content, hence the aqua jadeite. You can see it in this strand, can't you? You can see that beautiful luster. You have 60 seconds to get hold of this strand. Amazing. Um, on the closure of this auction, you can multi-buy. I'm going to be joining on this because I'm desperate for four mil jades. Wasn't imagining that I'd be able to get the aqua jade, though. So as we dive into this break, then we will definitely, definitely, um, I'll be joining you on it as well. Um, coming up, add the vase if you wish. That's still available just about. Have a little look back at the, uh, um, at the colors of jade. You can shop ahead and pre-order um, on your beautiful kits. We're going to have a quick chat with our lovely Alison because she has said she can dial through and then we'll show you the demonstration with the kits as well. So there's still lots to squeeze in between now and the top uh, and the top of the show. Remember, Ross did actually upload. Um, he did actually upload the kits onto pre-order, which let's just to give you a little sneaky peek. Look, there's Dragon Class. How amazing are they De uh, in different colours also? So shop ahead and pre-order on those. Loads of lovely sea beads. Amazing inspiration from the talent that is Alison. Check out your baskets. I'll see you after this. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help
jewellery makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Welcome back, lovely Jewellery Makers. Oh, I can't believe how fast today has gone. It's, it's phone, phone, what we were just saying. Ellie was just saying to me, I can't believe you can talk for five hours. I can't. <laughs> I, come out. I already said fart earlier on air. Didn't mean to. I meant to say part. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're in the last hour, um, and we've got our lovely Alison, who's going to be, who's going to be. Da Are you there now? Oh, she's got. Oh, let's say hello. Hello, hello, my beautiful lady. We're missing you. I missed you too. You're a trooper. Thank you. Oh, how are you feeling, lovely? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, bless you. Well, thank you so much for dialing in, darling. And That's I've been okay. admiring these pieces on on Facebook. I love this. Alison, they're unreal. Apps. I don't, I haven't got pictures of this up yet, but. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, and you've got the dragon colours. Anyone would think, Alison, that you're a Welsh girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's my. Gorgeous. But. Right, sorry for the noise sound. Right, I was doing the other two just so you had a sample of how they made up. So I'm going to hold that up there. So you've got mm. the other two kits yeah. together. Right? Mm. And I had a brainwave. Okay. Make three bracelets and the dragons will interconnect. So you'd also then get the necklace. Oh my goodness me, you've literally, t you are, what, what's her name? Daenerys. You with with, with, with with the three dragons. Oh, I Khaleesi. don't know. You are Khaleesi with the three dragons. That's a genius idea. I was just sitting there going, oh, I must, I must do some with the other two. And I thought, oh, these are really gorgeous. Why don't you make three bracelets and make a necklace? A lovely, lovely idea. So you could make this, but you'd have little dragons in between. Oh, beautiful. So what's the technique that you're that you're holding up right now, Alison? So they're both this Kalini spiral, which I'm going to show you how to do on the demo, including how to taper it. Okay. I've also got right. So this is a 21 inch necklace. Okay. You you can make this out of each kit. Each kit will make you at least one of those. But I worked out, because everyone always asks how to do the necklace. Um, you need to do the full spot, the full dragon scale all the way around. You've got the amber at the bottom. Oh, wow. You don't need the amber all the way around. So between the amber and the, dra amber and the dragon scale, yeah. you need 572 dragon scale. Yeah. You need a tube and a half of eight O's. Okay. One large tube, a 22 gram tube of 11s, and your little small tube of 15s. And I think we've got um, a bundle of them, haven't we? We have, we certainly have. Um, Alison, we're going to, I'm so excited about this. And we're, it's okay. No, um, we have got those bundles. We're going to bring, I'll tell you what we're going to do for our lovely viewers at home. We're going to start up, look, give, giving you the opportunities. I'll show you the kits. The demo's going to come up about half an hour. 
So just because we've got three kits that we want to introduce. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of quantity, because we all love dragons, don't we? This wonderful mythological creature as well. In terms Absolutely. of quantity, oh, there's that there, we've got less than a hundred of each of them. <gasps> yeah, and and I do mean seventy nine. Seventy nine is the highest quantity. Um, and it's taken us. Oh, it, these came out pre COVID the first time we had them. Okay. It's taken us that long. Um, oh, what's the gentleman in, in the, the, the amber gentleman? Say that again. What's the name of the amber man? Uh, Marius. Yes. Marius. He, 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 he made these especially for us. Did he? So these, oh my yeah, goodness so it's me. taken us, what, three, four years to get them back in? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, so it's taken that long to get them back. Little, yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's show that now, shall we, Alison? Because you, you showed on that lovely yeah. necklace, the amber at the bottom, which obviously you're going to share at the bottom, aren't you? So that you can admire. And the other one's there. Oh, and there's amber on the bracelet here. So there's only three kits, so we'll start bringing them to yep. air. Remember, 79 is the largest quantity. This is the silver. Um, so this is the silver colour. Look at the detail on the dragon itself. Oh, he's incredible. And he is double sided he's again. He is absolutely stunning, isn't he? So you've got the fangs yeah. there, you've got the dragon scale, and then obviously down to the other side, you actually have that, um, the lovely tail of the dragon. These are two feature amber uh, ambers here. This, this is the, let me see what the shape is, see if I can remember it right now. Um, slipper it, there we go. Thank you. You've got your slipper it beads here as well. And then you have the ambers, which are those other kind of kite-like shapes. Two tubes of your sea beads, which is your purple lined amethyst AB. And then you had, sorry, uh, what was the color of the red one? Sorry, Ross. You just, you, if you go back to the previous screen. That's all right. I was just at the bottom of it. Yes, there you go. Um, and then these are your, ooh, dark pink lined amber. How lovely. So one of three kits. You get all of this lovely amber, which has taken, going by what, I didn't realise that, Alison. It's taken three yeah. years to get these back into stock. Um, you get these lovely little slipperets here. Um, you get your four, where's the four millimetre rounds? Are they four? Three. Right, so um, when we originally had them, um, and I think there's a, a photograph of that gone off, um, I made a, a little dragon pendant thing. Well, quite I a remember big one. that. So they were the eyes of the original dragon pendant. So you can make more of those um, or alternatively I would perhaps place them there between the here and here. You want a four mil, if you're going to have a, a gem, you want a four mil to go in the in the class. Okay. But I wouldn't put the amber in there because you'll lose it. So put, a, put a, another four mil. Yeah, one that you there. don't mind hiding. Yeah, glue that and then you can have an articulated head on him. Oh, how I'll amazing. How amazing. Um, okay, now, jewellery makers, we are, for, for everything, so you can make that bracelet from this, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you get loads left over. Okay, so one kit makes a full bracelet, um, yeah. but you get loads left over. If you multi-buy, then obviously you can make that really lovely long line necklace. But we have got the bundles yeah. to go. So technically, you don't need to multi-buy because we have got bundles to bring you as well. £29.99 pence only. Um, you know, this, these class yeah. are unbelievable. Absolutely. The I'd pay £29.99 for the dragon yeah. clasp. Absolutely. The, the clasps themselves are amazing. Um, I, I did add um, some 15 nose to it mm. um, to do the spiral, but you can do it without. Wait, hang on. Oh my goodness! Sorry, I'm just, I was just, I was just looking at the inside. So they're super easy to attach to because they've kind of got that loop mechanism inside, haven't they? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the inside um, is, is like hollow. Oh, wow. Right, so we're not stopping it there. And glue it. Glue it and in. It's fine. You can see it's quite secure. Okay. Because um, it's, it's got a good depth in there. Okay. 
Right, I tell you what, I've just looked at the call at the time. I tell you what I'm gonna do is we're gonna bring this kits to air and then um you've got you've got a lovely lengthy demonstration with Alison as well. So um yeah, let's bring get all the kits available for you all because we're not even stopping at twenty nine ninety nine. <gasps> Can I just ask, what? is that going to be the price across We've got, we've got, we've got different kits to bring you, different colourways to bring you. Um, okay, not necessarily the same components, so not necessarily exactly the same price point, but you know that we will always bring you the best possible deal. Um, how amazing! They're limited, though. They are very, very limited. If you've never, ever, ever embarked on sea beading, what a wonderful opportunity for you to join oh, on the, uh, join in on the adventure um, with Dragon. So this is the. Do you say the Cellini? Cellini spiral. Cellini. Cellini. Cellini, Cellini. Cellini, lovely, lovely. Um, and there's three kits, so good luck. You can shop ahead on the other kits. We're not stopping at $29.99. This is the silver, which is always the most popular. Quite unconventionally, and I'll be honest, I'm to blame for this. Um, unconventionally, we started the silver. We don't normally, we normally need the silver to last, don't we? I don't think it really matters though, does it? Under 20 pounds. I'd pay, I'd pay more than that for the dragon. What? Yeah. Hang on, I can't see the price because my little window... It's nineteen ninety nine. Oh, my gosh. I know. That's, that's a great... Just for the amber beads, that's amazing. Exactly. These are amber. These are yeah. cherry amber. Cherry amber. You've got your beautiful uh, um, dragon, which I love him. Yeah. He's absolutely stunning. Slipper it, and you've got your two different sizes of your Mayuki. That, for me, that's a great deal for the three, uh, you know, yeah. the, the, the slipper it, the Mayuki tubes. Never, never mind absolutely. the actual dragon and everything else. Okay, let's bring you the other wow. kits, because like I said, time is against us. Um, I'm going to bring you the ones with the... Right, hang on. I can be tidying up this afterwards, can't I? Um, I don't want Adam shouting at me. Here we go. He won't do that. He He's wouldn't. So... Oh, really? Let's do a price pledge, shall we? Alison, how do you feel about this, lovely? Yeah. Go on. How about... Rawr. Sorry. I just I felt like I needed to, go... I needed to do my dragon impression. Rawr. How about we make a price pledge? <laughs> Each and every single one of these kits. Yeah. This isn't meant to happen, by the way. Under 20. No! The only way to get hold of the clasp is within this kit. They are only available in this kit. Yeah, made a price promise. Sorry, bear with me. I know I'm blocking the view now. There we go. And there's your slipper it's. It's a good word, isn't it? <gasps> Under 20 pounds for all three of these kits. All three times against us. Uh, 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 we've got we've got to do it, yeah. haven't we? That's what we've got to do, Alison. We've wow. got an amazing demo right, to I'm bring you. Keep dying through. Limited though. Um, okay. So, so we've, got amber, we've got Baltic amber, red amber with the first kit, and yep. then we've got butterscotch amber with the red one. I'm laughing because <laughs> um, Adam's like that. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, right, let's know, do the, So the bracelet well that you've been showing, yeah. if you could hold that up, is out of this kit then, yeah? Yeah, it is. Now, it, the, the, in terms of the description, they're described as pink, but they're far from pink, aren't they? No, they're not pink. No, much more, much more red. So I think, I think um, our lovely Welsh friends are going to be joining on this one. Perfect oh, opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to create... Uh, um, your 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 beautiful flag. Okay, so within this you get honey amber in the four mils and also in those beautiful um, uh, kite shapes. Plus you get your lovely dragon. Let's not forget him. There we are. Um, you get these really beautiful colours of Mayuki as well. This is absolutely flying out the door. Under £20. Yeah. Pounds. No, we shouldn't have gone to that price point. Now, um, we need to dive into your demonstration because it's a lovely lengthy one, isn't it? it isn't it, Alison? So all we're going to Get well soon, Sorry. my darling. Do Thank get well you. soon. Sending you and John lots and lots and lots of love, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Um, we're actually not leaving Alison, though, because you've actually got a wonderful demonstration from her all about the inspiration of these wonderful dragons. Don't go anywhere, because it's happening right now. Hi, Alison Terry here again. In this demo, we're going to make a dragon uh, bracelet with a special additions. We've got some amber dragon scale beads as well as the uh, glass ones 
And we've also got this amazing, amazing dragon head and tail clasp. Stunning, stunning to work with. So let's get going. We're going to be doing a technique called Cellini Spiral. Now, this can can be a dragon bracelet. You can multi multiply it up to make a full on uh, necklace with the dragon scale with the amber beads down the bottom. Um, you can save your amber beads for something else if you want and do just the um, Cellini. This is with just the dragon scale um, check glass beads. And this is same bracelet as that. Um, mostly apart from I've not got the amber in it um, and I've done it full full the same size rather than graduating it for the dragon so there's lots of variations you can do with this um, so with this kit I've actually added in some um, 15s we have some 15s some um, 11s some 8s some uh, check glass um, dragon scale beads and some amber dragon scale beads these are stunning 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 and of course we've got our clasp so to start off with this one there are again there are variations but the one i'm going through we start off with 15 beads this is an odd count cellini spiral um i'm a great fan of odd count um because you don't have to step up and i'm not a fan of stepping up it, to me, it's a step that I don't have to take. So I, when I do a spiral, I tend to do it always odd count, which means we st we s we don't have to step up. We just keep spiraling. You're going to start with five of your um, 15s. I'm going to pop that there while I talk you through it. Um, two of your 11s, two of your 8s, two of your dragon scale, two of your 8s and two of your 11s. Now, if you'll see here, I've laid them out. So I've got my 15s, 8s, uh, sorry, 15s, 11s, 8s, dragon scale. Now, we've got two different dragon scales and we're going to, I'll talk about that as we come round to it. But what we're going to do is alternate them. Um, obviously, you don't have the same number of, of the amber ones as you're going to have of these because they're specially designed, specially cut for us. So if we had that quantity... Um, two things one it would be a lot more expensive and the other thing is um, and I haven't showed you this but I've basically kept them to the top because I don't want them sitting on top of your wrist where they could potentially get damaged it would also make the bracelet stand a lot prouder on your wrist than without having them there it lies a lot better on your arm um, and, and you get all that full effect of them on the front so that's why um, we don't have them on the underside. OK, so Cellini Spiral. It's a peyote stitch, peyote based stitch. We're going to tie a knot in this. Um, so it works on the principles of old peyote, but we'll go through that as we go around. So I'm going to try a double knot, just a loose one as you're trying the second one. Just make sure you don't catch any of those 15s. So you want it fairly loose. You don't want to pull it really tight because we're now going to start our spiral. It doesn't matter which way your spiral goes. So if we look at these two examples, the spiral's actually go in opposite directions. I do them both ways and I don't really think about it. So it's obviously whichever way my brain's going at the time. So it doesn't matter if you're right-handed, left-handed. It doesn't matter if you go clockwise or anti-clockwise around the spiral. So long as you're consistent, you'll get the result. All you'll get is, like I say, one, one going one way and one going the other direction. So don't worry at all if, you, if you're um, left-handed and I'm right-handed. It doesn't matter. I've rolled up a little bit of paper to create myself um, a mandrel to hold it with. It just makes starting a lot easier. After I've done maybe an inch, I'd normally take this off. So that just helps. And we're going to start off by going through our first um, our first 15 past your knot. 
Now we're going to start the peyote. So with peyote, you go in every other. So we're going to pick up, pick up a 15. Come here. It helps if you talk to them. Miss the next bead and go through the following bead. OK, now they'll sit a bit funny because until I've gone all the way round, but you get this effect. Don't worry if they sit slightly side by side. As you go around, this is going to tighten up slightly. It might be a little bit loose. So we need three of our 15 beads. So we, we miss the next one. Go through. So we've come through that one. Miss that one. And go through there. So every other one we've gone through. When did that start? There we go. And you can see there you're getting this little uppy downy that's very typical of your peyote stitch, this castellation. Now we want our third 11 -0, uh, 15, and we're going to go through. We're missing our next one, which is the first 11, and we're going into the second 11. So this time when we pull it tight, our 15 is sitting on top of that first 11. Right, so this is a clue to what you keep in mind when you're doing the Cellini. The easiest way I've ever remembered it is whatever bead I come out of, that's the bead I pick up next. So the next bead we're picking up, we've just come out of an 11. So you pick up an 11, miss the next bead, go through the next one. Okay, so... That's now sitting above the 8 -o. You can see this is already starting to spiral. So we've gone through our 8 -o. We're going to pick up an 8 -o and go through our second. So we're missing the next bead, which is our first check glass dragon scale. We're going to miss that and go through the next one. Now, initially, they'll sit a little bit funny. So don't worry about the dragon scale beads. They will sort themselves out. You've come out of the dragon scale. You're going to pick up a dragon scale and go through. Miss the next bead and go through that eight. Just the eight. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now what I try and do, because you've got this, um, oh, it's easier to see on there, this V at the bottom of your dragon scale, I try and have it so that it's sitting like that. So this bit is down. So instead of being pointed up, they're all being pointed down. So we've come out of an eight. <coughs> Sorry. Pick up an eight and miss the next bead and go through the next one, which is your second eleven. And pull. Okay, so we've come out of an 11. So we need to pick up an 11. Miss the next bead, which is the first. So the knot is just under here. So we're going over that first 15. And we've now effectively gone onto the first row. So there's no stepping up. You're straight in onto the next row. So we're going onto that. That's the first of the... Uh, 15s that we added so we're going to go through that 15 we're now going into all the gaps so we've done our we've done our hardest row on peyote we're now going in the gaps and you can see this spiral starting to happen we've come out of a 15 so i'll do one more row we've come out of the 15 and we're going into the next 15 so we keep going like that come out of a 15 we go through into our next 15 so the 15s are the only ones on this form that we've got multiples of on a row so you should always see three on the row whether you're looking at it diagonally or horizontally you should only ever see three so we come out of that 15 <coughs> go through the 11 
then we're going to pick up our next bead we've come out of an 11 pick up an 11 go through the 8 so you're coming out of an 8 and I'm starting to pull this a bit tighter you'll find it forms um, a bit of an oval it gets a, a little bit of a twisted shape and I'll show you that in a minute so we're going to come out of that um, 8 now it's, these get quite close together but what we're actually aiming for is that dragon scale. There he is. So we've come out of the eight. We miss the next bead and we go through the dragon scale. Because the dragon scale are actually thinner than the eights, it can try and get a little bit lost. But as soon as you put it in, you can start seeing it get into position. OK, so just remember, apart from the 15s, all the others should only be one by one. So now we've come out of the dragon scale, I'm going to introduce one of the amber dragon scales. So I've come out of a dragon scale, I pick up a dragon scale, it doesn't matter which one you have. And then I'm going to go miss the next one and go through that eight. Come out of the eight, pick up another eight, go through that 11 come out of the 11 so I pick up an 11 go through that first 15 okay and you can very definitely now see that spiral so the spiral if I hold it level is at an angle as well because these are the bigger beads so it'll angle down towards the narrower beads this is why you get a bit of an ellipsoid um, as you're stitching it so I've come out of the uh, sorry I've come out of a 15 you see straight away you'll see it as you're going along um, the 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 first way to spot a mistake is if I've come out of that and I've put an 11 on it's not immediately next to an 11 so it's like well hang on and that's an alarm bell because each one should be next to the one on the previous low row that's the same so if it doesn't match then you have to look back and say, well, hang on a minute, what should I have done? Which bead should I have been at? So I'm going to go through that 11, uh, sorry, that 15, come out of the 15. So I'm picking up another 15, going into the 11, coming out of the 11, picking up an 11, going through the eight you can see it's getting a lot easier now um, as it starts to take shape and just keep it on a, a reasonably taut tension make sure your dragon scale is sort of sitting where they should so I'm going to come out of there now I know I want to go through that amber dragon scale and you'll watch the, the dragon scale below make sure your your thread goes above it and as you pull pull that pops into line tilt that one down as I said and they start popping into line because the 8 sits above your dragon scale so now we've come out of that dragon scale I'm alternating them so I'm going to pick up one of the check glass dragon scales and go through there so when you come round next time what you'll find is that will almost tuck behind there so you have to go looking for it so just just to be aware, it's harder to find the check glass after an amber. <coughs> so just, just, just remember that. You'll soon get the hang of it, but just, just remember it's a bit harder. Right, I'm going to finish this row. And then what I'm going to do is show you how I decrease. So we've done the start. Coming round. We're now into... We've come back to where we were right at the start. So that's that's our full rows. So when I decreased, I'm just going to take that off there and you can you can see how it's starting to spiral around. So this section here, what creates this Cellini spiral is because these are so much smaller as you're going round, the smaller bit actually pulls it in. So you're getting like a cinched in part, but it's moving round all the time. So you get this natural spiral happening just just because of using the different size beads. If these were all the same size beads and the same colour, you wouldn't notice it. 
at all, apart from them being at a slight angle. So as you're going round this time, and I'll show you on here, as I've got, I've done a whole, I've, I've stopped using the amber. So when you've used all the amber, I've then gone to just the um, dragon scale beads, the check glass ones on their own, and I've done another complete row. Now on this style, you're doing 13 beads for a circle. So from that, that amber there round to this amber there, <coughs> there are 13 dragon scale beads either either sort there's 13 there are 13 eight beads that side there are 13 eight beads that side there are 13 elevens there are 13 in each of the rows of your 15s so there's 13 beads so you know once you've gone round you've got to the 13 now there's a slight spiral on there because we're spiraling round but he will sit like i say so you've got the smaller ones you could actually drop those and just do um an extra eight if you wanted in the middle of there to make it flatter if you wanted and it will sit even closer to your wrist but i don't i i find that's quite quite comfortable just remember when you're making it you make it bigger because when it sits on your wrist you've got that much depth so it actually becomes a bigger diameter than you need um if you got the um bangle sizes that we've done recently um you can use that to make your size because you, your bangle sizer needs to sit on the inside and that gives you a really really good indication of what size you want um so once we've got to here what i've done is i've just stopped adding in the um dragon scale and gone straight so i've just literally skipped over it so that i've got two of the eights then i've gone round again and i've you can see just here where i've gone from two eights and i've pulled them together and gone to one eight so i've reduced it down to one eight i've gone round again now on this it's probably easier to show you on this side so i've gone down to um the eights then i've done the same so i've just got one row of the eights there now my my focus i've gone round again done two rows again and then I've done the same with the eights and just dropped the eights. So we're down to the 15s and the 11s. And then I've come all the way down to here and ended up with just the three um, 15s going round. And that gives you, just do that for um, half a centimetre or so. And that gives you enough to basically pop into there and it gives you a good um, firm connection that you can then glue into there and it fits just nice so once you've glued that end once you've done one end you need to turn around and do the other side so finish off your thread once you've once you've decreased i'll go through um adding in a minute and then when you've got to the other side just go back here and when you restart again i'm going to pop my mandrel back in when you restart again, if you notice, you've only got two of the um, 15 sticking up. So add in your thread and you want to come out behind there because you want to come out of the that one there, the last. Let me get my needle. So you come in out of this one here, the last 15. You're going to add on a 15 and then go into that uh, 11. And then you're doing exactly the same pattern. Whichever one you come out of, you're going into next. Um, and you can then decrease at, at a rate of whatever or continue it the same size all the way to the end. It's your choice. Um, to add in, so to, to finish off your thread, three, thread it back, change direction three times and you'll be fine. Um, when you're adding in, because it's a spiral and it's, got, it's hollow in the middle, I just knot the end, feed it up, through through the center come out roughly where you want to go go through a couple of beads and then carry on sewing and then you can just trim off the end uh, to to within like half a centimeter or so but it's actually contained within the spiral and no one's ever going to see it it's the quickest and most and easiest way to add in your thread but you still have to finish off so still thread through you're finishing off and that's how you make your dragon bracelet 
Ah, oh, isn't that wonderful? Wasn't that wonderful? Ah, oh, amazing camera as well. I have to say, I'm going to assume that was our John. That you're giving all the zooming in and everything. Well done, everybody. These kits are, if they pretty much sold out, I think, actually, across the... Um, they're on the way. You can still get them, but there are a lot of you with it in your basket. So good luck. This is the one that Alison was demoing with. Um, and then you can get those other beautiful colorways. But um, at the beginning of this hour, Alison did say that you might need a few little additions if you wanted to make the long line necklace, for example, because that one that she was showing, magnificent, wasn't it? Um, where the amber was at the bottom was actually 20 inches. So um, if you would prefer to make a, a necklace as opposed to a bracelet, then don't worry, we've got some bundles for you as well. Um, we're just recapping the kits. The graphics are still on your screens, but you're talking single figure quantities now. Um, which one, the bigger, the bigger sizes, which would you prefer me to start with? Because they're very different. They are very, very different. Let's start, I tell you what, let's start with this one because it makes sense to me. Um, I forget what these are actually called. Uh, uh, Magatamas. There we go. See, I'd have never remembered that. Um, your Magatamas, which are kind of like a rhombus tube. Does that make sense? It's like a tube, but then kind of pushed on the one side. So it kind of, uh, you know, almost creates like the dragon scale. Plus, then you've got um, your lovely opaque turquoise 11 O's. You've also got your galvanized gold 8 O's. And just put this one down, metallic light bronze 15 O's. So if you are wanting to make one of the longer line pieces, Obviously, you're going to need more of your seed beads to actually um, include um, in that amazing technique, the beautiful jewellery that Alison um, 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 was demonstrating there. Um, already people getting involved on this one. Fabulous. So it's got your 8Os, your 11Os, your 15Os and your Magatamas in there as well. $12.99. Is that right? With Magatamas? Um, they're an unusual bead, so you can see they're not just your, your, your sort of your, your Delica or your um, traditional Mayuki because they have that almost like a jutting. It creates the perfect um, dragon scale or the back of the dragon scale itself. $12.99, lots of multi-buyers getting involved. I'm excited to see as well all of these wonderful creations on the back of Alison's demo today. Please make a promise. I know Alison would reiterate what I'm about to say. Um, that you send a photograph into the Wall of Fame um, because it's always wonderful to see your creations as well, especially following such a wonderful, inspiring masterclass. Um, have we got quantity of these then, Roscoe? 70. Okay, not that many. Not that many available. Um, and there's multi-buyers getting involved. Tracy, Janet, hello to you. Marishka, Karen, nice to see you. London's multi-bought, Jane, Virginia, Elaine's multi-bought, Judith, Gordon, hello to you, Pearl. Um, Brenda, Mary, Maureen, well done to you. I've still got one more tube of sea beads to it bring you and they're all about the 15 o's as well um so they in fact should we do them next should we do them next we are running out of time this morning has completely flown by hasn't it it's gone so fast i always lie the 15 o's down just so you can actually see the colors because the ones i have here in the studio have got the um, got the stickers on. There we go. Um, oh, sherbet rainbow. That's pretty, isn't it? You've got aqua green, aqua sky blue, duracoat pink neon, opaque red, and purple salon. Beautiful. It is very sherbet like, isn't it? Those lovely colours. Twelve ninety nine for all five of those tubes. But I know this is going to appeal not just to the technique that we saw with um, Cellini spiral. Not just your Cellini spiral, it's going to appeal to those of you that do things like your looming, um, your Kiss Cross, I know, use your 15 O's if you're doing your micro. Um, I hope I've got that right. Lots of your different sea beading techniques will include these variations of sizes. We see 15 O's very rarely, actually, very, very rarely. I'm going to leave that one with you. Keep on dialing through. We're literally shoehorning as much in as we possibly can between now and the top of the show. Um, shall we do some lovely little sterling silver components? Beautiful. Oh, these are sweet. Really sweet. See if I can pick them up. Hang on. So, sterling silver charms. You have a star. Beautiful little star. Then you have like an Alhambra clover shape. That's lovely, isn't it? And then you have, if, oh, oh, hang on a minute, the little bird. Perfect. A beautiful, dainty little bird. The saga of the bird in, in Sewing Street Studio. I was hearing all about it yesterday from John Scott. 
Um, it was little blue tit. I, I, I know. We all don't know how this little blue tit found its way into our studio because there are no windows and you need a key fob to get in. So there we go. Um, so you're getting all three of these, 95 sterling silver, um, especially with the sterling silver components that we've brought so far today. You know, if you go through throughout from eight o'clock this morning, we've brought you some wonderful components, haven't we? From the extender chains to the launches of those bracelets to the slider bracelets, um, 9.99. That's £3.33 for a 925 sterling silver charm. You can't say any better than that, can you? Um, amazing. Okay. I can very, very, very quickly bring you a most beautiful strand of jade. It's going to be a closeout deal as we close out this Sunday um, Sunday show and ultimately the weekend. Um, it's been a fabulous weekend. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, now, this launched, I'm going to tell you, it launched at 79 um, close out deal. Like I said, we have got seconds left on the show. So um, make sure you check out your baskets. It's all type A grade, completely and utterly natural from your beautiful aqua whites to your wonderful fern greens. Wow, that's low for type A grade. $49.99, Ross. It has got you. Yeah, you've got those kind of the aqua uh, sort of bluish light presence in the in, 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 you know, when white is so white, it almost becomes glacial blue. Do you know where I'm coming from there? So you've got that in this strand and then it ombres beautifully um, down to the darker greens. Um, we are running out of time. Well done, everybody. We've brought you some fabulous deals. I think you'd all agree from uh, throughout the course of not just today across the weekend. Um, well done to every single one of you. And thank you so much for joining me and putting up with solely me. It was nice to actually have Alison live. Uh, message us live in the studio I hope you've enjoyed your Sunday I hope you've got a wonderful Sunday planned as well please promise that you'll send in your photographs to the Wall of Fame because we'd love 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 um, to see those uh, those creations as well um, coming up on Wednesday did I just hear right we've got our lovely Debbie Kershaw love our Debbie um, so looking forward to seeing you then I'll try and be lucky in the Wall of Fame get your photographs in have a wonderful Sunday afternoon do take care and we'll see you soon Want to know what's going on in the next show?